All right. There we go. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, the first session of uh, a new multiplayer that I'm not taking part in. I'm not. I am going to be an observer in an Anbana dev clash, uh, which I'm super excited about. Uh, we are using a bit bucket uh, special version of Anbana uh, with a few little tweaks um, that we'll get into when we get into the game. Uh, but also, just there is there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of players. So if I were just gonna quickly head on to the player map mode, you can see that there's a lot filled in all over the place, and also there are people playing in South Sahal because we're playing with it and there's things to do here so I'm going to be uh, interested to uh, talk to some of the players down here some of the people who may have worked on various mission trees and such in South Sahel so we can uh, learn a bit more about this continent which I am unfortunately kind of ignorant about right now um, but yeah I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting into this obviously it's an Anbana multiplayer with 51 people so far. So it might be the case that it takes a little while to get everyone uh, in and ready because these are modders. These are not people generally who have uh, a ton of experience with actually playing in multiplayer. So we'll, uh, we'll try and get it uh, sorted as quickly as possible. But I am also joined, and I will undefin myself so we can hear them, I'm trying to. I think there's actually been some map edits done for this. Yes, there is. Hello, uh, I am ah, also joined like... here oh, by hey. uh, the two Fs, Father Loris and Finn Death, who will be casting with me. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Hello. So, Finn Death, what have you worked on in 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 Anbana? What what's what's your role here? Literally nothing. I'm nothing. Just a streamer. <laughs> just a streamer. Okay, same as me then. <laughs> Sound and Father Loris. You've made comics. I know that. I have. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. That's all I've achieved in my life. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> very good comics, though, to be fair. They so, are. They are very good comics. Can't be, can't be denying yeah. that. Um, it's been a while since I've actually casted place, yeah. without playing, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, you can also do some focus in. You can um, list some tactical details and just sprout out random lore bits, or you can make stuff up. I can make stuff up, yes. <laughs> It'll be official lore. Oh, there if it's go. official lore, I'm, I'm immediately going to be saying that uh, the leader of Bursar Tensha's here is uh, named Celadora. Her name starts with a C, not a K. Um, <laughs> no, there we go. Look, it's, it's official lore. now. It's, on, it's, a, it's an official... Uh, sanctioned Anbana Dev Clash stream, so there it is. I'm looking forward to like mispronouncing every. Oh yeah. In Anbana. Same. Sure. I, you know what? You just need to own it, right? If yeah, you pronounce, yeah. if there's something unpronounceable, you just say it anyway, and you just yeah. get away with it. Like Dame Star. Right, let's try and so, find a nation like that you can't pronounce at all. Oh, I already know this one, and if uh, if we had Wagensu here, um, the last time I said this one out loud to him, he creased laughing. Um, his his new nation that he's done a, a mission tree for, Ogelahovar? Nope, that's he didn't he didn't like that pronunciation. <laughs> Where is that? Ogelahovar. It's it's uh, just south of Corvurian, you know, the, the bit where you in the mountains. Very, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's it's just the glass hold. It's, yeah, it's, sorry, so sorry to intrude. Beautiful. Kind of um, did did the I gave you remember you should have like admin perms now. Oh, perfect. So any problems you have, you should be able to fix them. Sweet. Um, perfect. Fantastic. If there's any other issues, let me know. I I kind of like rudimentally set this up while I was also helping people uh, fix their U4. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of checksum problems. I had to like help like nine people reinstall the game and like purge their mod. <laughs> so I was like triple tasking. So if there's any other issues, let me know. Um, um, we're hoping to start in about five minutes, but perfect. We're missing about ten people right now. Uh, there was little over. There's over ten, but a lot of people already told me if they wouldn't be here. So we're missing ten people that should be here. And we'll already we've got goes. fifty-four. So that's a pretty stacked that's lobby. A pretty healthy number, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, if, if we hit um, in 10 more minutes and someone's not here, I'm probably just going to tell them hot join halfway in because yeah. we'll have like a hot join section halfway into each session. Sounds good. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah a... I disabled talking in the announcement channel, by the way, because I saw people talking. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, I'll let you guys continue what you're doing. Let me know when you want to start doing like interview stuff. Um, yeah. I'll check the form and see how that went. Yeah, right. absolutely. I'll drag people in when they're ready to get interviews. All right, sounds good. Sounds cool. like a plan. All right, cheers. So some of the map changes from regular and banal, the version that is on Steam, obviously, was South Aho, but we'll, we'll get to this. We'll get to this. <laughs> All right. But some interesting changes as well have happened to places like uh, Far Hales, where there are a couple of paths through the mountains now. So it's not just a wall of, yeah, you're, you're not going to interact with each other, which is, mm -hmm. I don't know, I quite like it. I quite like the, yeah. that there's paths there. Um, there are also a couple of new islands in the Bulwa area, which this isn't my fault. This isn't any mods that I've in <laughs> installed here. It's just the fact that it's still in flux. So we got a, a new yeah. island for oh, so, Elisna yeah. and another island as well for Baharkand, uh, which, you know, could introduce some interest there. Um, so the, the law behind this, I assume, too. is like um, they've, they've, they're out of shift, like some sort of temple shift has happened. Oh, yeah. The island yeah. is <laughs> slightly off. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. Volcanic activity. Reason, it's just yeah. volcanic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lines, lines, lines on maps were drawn, and then a volcano, and things changed. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. all good. But put a magical twist on that. A magic volcano. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. No, this is where the last genie was um, kept, and then when he exploded back to his home realm in Day of Ash and Sky, he created the island. There yeah, we go. That's he created it. some lore. He I'm, I'm sold. It about like three degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold. Also, we got to make sure that we don't accidentally click on a nation because it's oh wait no you can just go straight to the observer mode. Right, okay yeah, never mind never mind fine, yeah. okay yeah, i didn't realize that fine. it's been a while it's been a while yeah i oh god i remember my previous multiplayer games when i used the whole so it's basically people would always just click to different nations then go back to their own nation i'm just like what they the fuck you're gonna break the game like that they literally do yeah yeah uh there's a couple cool. of other changes as well i don't know if these are permanent uh but anban cost is now called order of chroniclers which I kind of yeah, like. I kind of like it. At all, but <laughs> fair enough. Although, if you ask Hoya, who's the developer of the Avon Cause, he will probably mold. I'm. I would assume so. Mm. <laughs> Don't tell him. Well, we'll see. We'll see if uh, he gets his way then or not. Uh, <laughs> and also, Horantar. But, but we'll wait on this one until we get into the game. There's some very interesting changes that have gone on over there. <laughs> 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 Uh, this is official. This, this is going to be in the. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Box. This is this is going to be the release version uh, next week. <laughs> That's a lie. Don't 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 trust. Don't trust. No. <laughs> Good. If we all go over look over to Lint here, there's something new there as well. I'm fairly sure. Um, in South North, of Lint here. South of Lint. Here. No, south the south part. There was something new. Um, I think like that yellow yellow nation to the oh, right I there. See. No, yes. Like not not in the India thing to the right, like to the right of the continent where it's just forest. That yeah. is not going to be in the main part of the mod. I don't think that's literally just um, something added for this um, little mod okay. game that we're playing with. Interesting. Yeah, this this no, is we lost the leechman for this. Yeah. <laughs> the leechman. Also, this is a this is a fantastic opportunity for uh, Father Loris to. Uh, teach us how to speak Welsh, because I'm sure that's Welsh, right? That's uh, the, the province name right. here is. Uh... Yeah, it's, not, it's Welsh. There's, there's, there's not enough L's to be. Welsh, oh, true, okay. true. Yeah, yeah true. Um, I Laren can't also got split either, up a lot. So... Okay, all right. Oh yeah, how do you pronounce Larenkar? Well, I mean, I've said it. So, but would, <laughs> would you call it Larenkar? Do you call it something else? Larenkar. Just, just Larenkar. Okay. It's Larenkar. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do the. Are. Yeah, Larenka. I do the emphasis on like the Larenkar instead of Larenka. Larenka. Yeah, but. <laughs> Larenka. Okay. Larenka. <laughs> Dude, it's sure. a French way. Right? Sure. Right. Yeah, it's a French. So name. players in this region, we have Amanda playing Avarin, and I'm of pretty course. sure she is the only person who can play Avarin. Uh, everyone else who's tried has cried, uh, from my yeah. experience. Yeah, it's hell. I mean, she, yeah. I'm fairly yeah. sure she made this mission tree so yeah. she knows how to um, navigate it. Yes. Oh, God. Like, 
when I tried it when it first came out, I was just like, how do I fucking get out of this bankruptcy cycle? I was I was, hard start. I was initially going to try it, and then uh, I was warned against it, um, and played something else instead. But it's, yeah, it's pretty good. If you want like a really hard challenge, I mean, I'm not good enough at the game to play it, but I can see like it's quite good it's having a lot of fun with it. It is probably one of the most challenging starts. In Amazon, yeah. yeah. And she's not alone here it's either. Simple. She's got um, Susurus here playing Brela. Uh, yeah. We have a Hoya in Arakabron. So these guys can uh, these guys can all interact with one another. And in South yeah. Aeland here, uh, other than this Ingani uh, River Doge. Um, yeah, of course he picked the Leech Man. Tag. Yeah, there will be. They're not here yet, or they might not be turning up. There will be a Degakian and an Amean. And having played uh, yeah. both of these nations. I'm I'm rooting for Degaki and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what really? You're rooting for the blue man? How dare you? Of course, I'm literally playing them in a multiplayer right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Although I started as well, I didn't start, but I'm uh, <laughs> the nation was formed by Octikayan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Have you ever tried doing the Larancast Armenian that's in the south of uh, Teichent? Have you ever tried that one yet? I have not. What nation is that? It's a, basically it's a blue nation right there. You see. Um, oh, Amean? Yes. Yeah, Amean. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Mm. I I played this in a multiplayer when the mission tree wasn't finished yet. Uh, we <laughs> finished like two sessions, and then the second block of that mission tree was uh, made available. Uh, so we updated our mod to include it, and I enjoyed the sec first and second blocks. And then the third block made me hate the game. Um, this is the yeah. siege thing, isn't it? That's I say, like, hey, yeah. just, do you want to lose all of the gains that you've made over the past few uh, centuries? Uh... Why, yes. <laughs> <laughs> God. Is this Paradox uh... Dev Clash? This is Anbanar Dev Clash. It's yeah. with the Anbanar yeah, modders. We couldn't pay any of the Paradox devs to, you know, join in, so... <laughs> they, Look, they have they value the prices they, very highly. They've done, previously done Anbanar Dev Clash. Yeah. Like, yeah. A long time it's ago. how I learned of Anbanar, because I was yeah. invited to test the mod to see if it was good for multiplayer before um, Paradox did it, um, because I was friends with the EU4 community ambassador at the time. So I, I playtested Vern in a multiplayer to see if it was worthy enough for Paradox, and I gave it my seal of approval. Yeah, oh god, it, it was so ancient, that map there. It was like, it was literally yeah. just Kanor, you remember? And it was like, mm, yeah. Mark Gawed, that was uncolonized. I seem to remember that. It was just... God, it you was, can see it was great. changed so much. It really, I think Ambalar really, like, grew its wings when they added the Serpent's Fine. I think yes. that's yes. where, like, 100%. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, Bulwa, I, I really like Bulwa. Bulwa's very good, yeah. yeah. Bulwa is quite fun, especially with the whole and changing of the incident system yes. uh, we have with Japan. It, it pretty much just expanded it out and made it more story-orientated. Yeah. And it used to just only be locked to one religion. Now there's multiple religions that use the incident inst um, system, so it's just absolutely great. Fantastic. Yeah. I do one thing I have to say that it's the most unique about Abner in general is literally just the Dwarf Bar itself. Yeah. It is so different to yeah. ordinary vanilla EU4. There's yeah. not really much like it. Um, it's funny, I was recently looking into the Lord of the Rings mod, and they have like more than just what we know from Lord of the Rings, and there is a mountain range um, that I saw far to the east. Um, and there's uh, there's provinces within the mountains, but instead of it being like, you know, individual little provinces, there's provinces that go the whole way through the mountains in just a big snake. We had a we had a good laugh of that. <laughs> so they just tried to implement the deep roads um, aesthetic there. Yes, basically. <laughs> They're not as interconnected as they are in Amber, unless there's a secret path. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. And also what just the lore behind it as well. Yeah. Hmm. But I really think we should start the game soon. Otherwise, we are literally just going to have to rehost the lobby. Probably. Um, I. Um, we. I wonder if it's everyone in the lobby ready right now. I know no, no, Not no yet. everyone's ready. Um, Siggy, get your arse oh, yeah. into gear, I'll, man. I'll ready up. <laughs> okay, and we can always just have people hot join in. Um, yeah. I'm a cop. Need to ready up. And Amanda. Okay, 
Right. Definitely think one of the things as well that Enbanar really expanded upon over vanilla to make it pretty unique is just their use of disasters. Just yeah. You will never... Disasters. Until the Ottoman disaster rolled around uh, in the latest update, you there was nothing in vanilla that came close to just the, the level of detail in the Anbanar disasters. Um, yeah. It's just so good. Yeah, and it's also it's they're really punishing but really rewarding if you manage to navigate them. Yeah. Um, usually in the Anbanar um, disasters, but the, most of the disasters originally, the old concept of having disasters are just hard hitting pretty much came from a Dwarvar when he ho was still um, leading the Dwarvar team. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. And he has his own uh, province named after him as well. Yeah. Uh, Hiho Dovar. Yeah. Oh, Did I say that chat. right? <laughs> I sure, sure. <laughs> it's massive. See, personally, I would actually, I would actually have pronounced it ahead of it, but uh, who knows if I'm, I'm, not, I'm totally joking. Um, but yeah, you you can become very, very wealthy as well if you manage to unite the whole Dwarva. It's so yeah. trade money is specifically, and production is just absolutely cracked there. Well, that, that end node, yeah, and King's Rock. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Alright, so what are your absolute favorite nations to play then in Avenir, like in general? Like, do you have anything that you just always come back to no matter what? First Artentias. It was the first one that I played a multiplayer in that wasn't the test game, and mm. it remains my most favorite because, like you said before, the, uh, the, the religious incidents for <laughs> the um, Old Sun Cult sorry, New Sun Cult, are, they're just so good. The writing is phenomenal. Um, and yeah, the just everything about it is just awesome. Uh, I love it. First Art Tench is Very good. perfect. All right, what about you, Father Loris? What's the one tag you always come back to? Well, Lambert can answer that. It's got to be some kind of goblin. Hey, it's the goblins. It's the goblins. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love those little fuckers. Uh, <laughs> I love the military. I love them. I, I think them. I think mine has to be um all right. I think it's in Halith. It's that one city of generals. I always come back to that one because I just like mess messing around with it, trying to make it look as weird as fuck. Which, Having, na um, which nation? Yeah, it's that. Oh god, what was it? It's that. It's a love Langhui. Lang 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 Hui. Lang it's like that little Hui. orange. Yeah, you know where that little orange circle is? That's uh, next to the blue tag. Um, up to the north. Ah, yeah, nearly there. Just yeah, that one. That's the tag I always Je come Jiangdu. back to. Jiangdu. Shang yeah, Shangdu. There we go. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, Jiangdu. Yeah, yeah. for amazing military pips. Yeah, they the amazing like, military. Uh, Leaders are amazing. Right? I have got to yeah. got to give them a run. We have uh, a Jiangdu player in our current multiplayer who's doing very very well. I'm going to have yeah. to give him a yeah. try. They get really Has he tried, tried making it so that he can turn to himself to left-hand path and then just trying to culture convert all the north to hobgoblins because that's what I like doing with oh, Jiangdu. I, I don't <laughs> believe so. <laughs> Fei Tian uh, is like my favourite over there. Like, um, Fate is such a good tag. I mean, so just as Oops. soon as you uh, experience the joy that is instant sieges through firebombing <laughs> oh right, my yeah. god oh you yeah. feel like such a badass Yo, yeah. they are actually really unique it's wonderful it's just having sort of air combat in eu4 yeah unimaginable yeah. and also like the sort of little port system they've got it's just really nice to yeah. sort of just mm. build those everywhere and imagine your little <laughs> little postman going around the world it's just neat it's really nice yeah it's got a really nice All aesthetic right. too the arts uh well, wherever they source the art or made the art, I don't know. Um, but did a really good job on it anyway. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm and looking forward there's... to trying a bunch of new nations in uh, Tharhal, though. Oh, I'm yeah. So um, looking forward to ex exploring, especially like the halflings. I want to I want to do stuff with halflings. Yeah, the Sar halflings. Yeah, they're, this, this, this island here is where the halflings used to come from before they migrated off over to Kanor and eventually um, also splitting again to become gnomes. That's literally their homeland okay. right there. So it should be a lot of, um, a lot of fun to see some mission trees dealing with that. should also be fun to see the lizard men getting um, realized a bit more because like, below ye's mora, mora, so 
I don't know what the troll horde's pronunciation is either. <laughs> we got lizard men, right there. Nice lizard folk yeah. in in uh, and banana. I did not know that. That's awesome. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah they're basically their whole thelio is literally um having super advanced empires, then collapsing and then just rebuilding them again. And they think they've done it like three hundred times in lore. It might be more than that. Like are they a empires. separate race to kobolds, or are they sort of? Uh... Uh, yeah, they're basically. definitely separate. Um, kobolds okay. are basically the spawn of dragons, uh, essentially. But they're not really spawn of dragons, but they're they're created by dragons. It's, I think the lore is right now. Right. Um, but Mimo, the lizard men are aliens. Oh, so, cool! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're aliens because the precursor decided to um, when they crash line, the precursor decided to hit them with a mallet to stop them from getting back up properly. So they they just keep having a cycle of rising and falling. Okay. Cool. You know, I feel very, like I heard this Warhammer before, inspired. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know but I think I I kind of reject it as oh he's just trolling. When I was told this before, because apparently no, apparently I was I was not lied to. Yeah, but that's for, that's Warhammer fantasy. Yeah. Style, right. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's uh... no, that's great. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... And do you know what this universe's version of um, Australia is? Insia. Um, well, it's, it's just slightly more dangerous, but no, it's that little um, thing in the bottom of Sarhol. Uh -huh. You see um, that little sort of... I don't Pac -Man. say bullshit, it's, it's a, but it's bullshit. It's, it's Pac-Man. Let's go with Pac-Man. <laughs> I, okay, I yeah, there like we go. It's a mermaid's fin. How about sure. That? It's lovely, isn't okay, it? yeah, Sarhol's fin. Yeah, there we go. There we are. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Cameo used, used to be... There used to be an angel in Sarhol that was sort of a... Um, used to try and be a counter towards the... The Dark Troll Horde, like not Dark. They were the here, Hank right? Horde. In yeah. Melkibet. Yeah, they're, 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 they're no more. We have no more angels in the set. Well, I mean, we do have angels in the setting, but it's like literally they're they're not in uh, Abner, so you can no longer play as the angel. Well, uh, which you know, sad, but yeah, I like it when uh, fiends from different planes <laughs> invade. Yeah. Gives it a bit of charm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a really cool little mod for Civilization 4 called Fall from Heaven. But that was like the main mm -hmm. crux of the mod. Oh, like mid game yes. angels and demons would come into the world and fight each other. Yes, Fall cool. from Heaven. I used to play that. It was Civilization 4, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Good. Yeah, it was a really good mod. God, yeah. I remember it's like my friends introduced it to me when I was in uh, high school, like early years of high school, and we just used to play a lot of MP games with it. And although I never yeah. could get the grip of stacking units on top of each other. I, I Yeah, we played for a good while until we discovered a, a lot of the nations were horribly over, <laughs> overpowered. Like the hippos were <laughs> yeah. so overpowered. God, it's so Yo, I think I played with the demon mind. faction. Yeah, there, were, there was like two. There was one trying to bring about Apocalypse. And there was the one, the Infernal. I think I was along. playing that one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're pretty fun. Who, who am I playing? I'm not playing anyone. I'm going to be an observer. Yeah, all three of us. Observe, sort of, gang. Yeah. We are, we are, we are the angels in Anbana right yeah. now. Yeah. No, absolutely. We're the, yeah. I, well, I actually, I, like I think that. I'm. I'm just gonna say that I'm just that big malignant entity in the sky that's stopping people from staring <laughs> to space. If you're looking <laughs> at me in space, I'm gonna drive you insane, and you're gonna kill yourselves. There we go. Okay, so we've yeah, got we've got an angel, we've got movie. Cthulhu, and yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that happens when I meet people on uh, like in real life. So, yeah. Space madness, Mr. Tucker. Uh, yeah. like. So, tell us a little bit about the lore behind these, like, um, Yes Cal Mora. Because that jumps out at everyone who's looking at uh, Yes Mora. Well, basically, I think what the lore is, it's not exactly 100% set down, but I think, like, what it is right now is um, back in the age of giants, where giants were, you know, still around, uh, I think some giants pretty much sold. A lot of their trolls to the the hags, the night hags of uh, Yes Nora in the Shadow Swamp. Mm -hmm. They just sold them down. So eventually, it's like millennia later when um, basically, yeah, no, there's not really too much lore, but it's like millennia later they've gone this point and, and there's like a troll champion. I think it's kind of like an Alexander the Great sort of figure, except you know, trolly. Mm -hmm. right. I think it's his name is oh God. What was it, Magmung or something? I, I don't know. Someone's going to tell me and just say no. It's something else. Yeah, probably. But yeah, no. Yeah, they so, also get really unique traits. In uh, the... is this like a sort of like cursed hag forest filled with? Seems like it. Is that the sort of gist? Yeah, 
this is death. This is like basically this is like one of the areas that is directly connected to the um the I'm I'm trying to remember what the actual name of it is in D and D, but I'm just going to call it the Death Realm. So it's basically Shadow Fell. The, yeah, the Shadow Realm. Yeah, that's where basically it's like when the Ashen Skies happened and planes collided, and we have in the Deep Woods and also the um, Erdand, whereas where the Fave Realm sort of kind of collided, but the this is where the Shadow Realm collided. Uh, nice. Because yeah, I I noticed there is like a sort of central area in a similar sort of. Uh, oh yeah. Any it's chance of some teleporty up. nonsense where that can link to other places? Because uh, I don't think there are any plans, sadly, for the use more to- more of. A- hey, we never know. Maybe Thank we you. can always ask the dev team to add one to Incia. Yeah, so yeah we got it's like a, a freeway there. teleport forest worlds. You got the yeah two yeah. forest worlds. I bet evil forest world. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, also a lot imagine. of space here for another continent that can totally just pop out of nowhere. Oh. Oh yeah, th- that would be true. Although then people would be complaining about, wow, we don't have enough sea. We can't go, <laughs> can't go sailing. Uh, we're about to start. By the way, just heads up. There's like a there's like a chance it crashes on start because we've been sitting here for a while. But you know, it is what oh, it is. Oh, it's uh, almost guaranteed yeah. at this point. But we can try. Yeah, guaranteed. But it's a uh, so like finally face. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're about to start. So see you guys All in right. there. All right. Yeah. See you there. Ah, right. Anyway, the plans. You want to me to explain what the plans for Incia is so far? Like, basically... Uh, yeah, go for it. I, I was What I've learned about it, or have been told about it previously, I think no longer applies, because I was told it was something to do with, like, Attack on Titan Titans? I don't think that's still true, though. Um, that, that might be, like, a really early concept, but basically it's, um, this continent was a precursor testing site where they just sort of did a lot of biological experiments. Um, like, they do have... Kaiju are still there, but, you know, they're not... They're just, like, random kaiju. Like, Mothra would be right. one example. Just a giant moth is probably possible <laughs> here. Um, there's there's also... There's a giant worm in the sort of desert area in the south, as far as I remember. Like, also low, low, low worms. Well, there's another race. There's going to be a new race that spawns here, though. Um, and they start pretty much uniquely in 1444 as a, just awakening... Race. They're called the Mechanim. They're like Warforged. Oh, so, uh, yes. Oh, Perfect. Yes, they're the Warforged, and they're going to be have an interesting mechanic. I think it's like last time, last I remember, they were going to not be able to replenish manpower until you visited each of the Gene Temples things. Um, but I, oh yeah, I see someone in your chat is talking about Insect Men. Um, they are no longer going to be a race. I'm fairly sure. Like it's sad, but the three kings should have had their time to shine. But you know. Um, I think they're still going to be in lore around here, so you're still going to have like mentions of Ant Men around the forest of in- um, the Drain Forest of Incia. Right. But yeah, right. this is Turbo Australia, as in danger level. The that's what it's supposed to be. Ah. <laughs> well, I love Warforged, so I'm looking forward to trying that as well when it ever gets in. I mean, in two years. Yeah. Well, <laughs> to yeah, to be fair, like uh, Sahol's in. A lot quicker than I expected it to be. True. It doesn't feel that long ago that Fancy China was added, right? Like, yeah. I mean, it was about a year ago that I did my Azkare campaign multiplayer. That was the first oh, yeah, time Azkare, that, yeah, yeah, that was the first time that Halas was in, and we used the bit bucket for that. So it's been about a year, um, maybe a little bit, a year and a half until yeah. Sarhal came in. Mm-hmm. Like, um, got a faster development cycle than most Paradox games, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, God, though. I think, like, Halus, like, before Halus came out, it was in a sort of development hell for a long time. Oh my gosh, so... we are going. Oh, oh. Nice. Hooray! Lobby for 29 minutes and 3 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a very cursed, cursed launch. All right. Okay. I I was worried there for a second that I had accidentally clicked a nation, but no, we're just we're spectating the lobby host. Yeah, we should be fine. Fingers and toes and all that crossed. Okay, right. So it's like basically when everyone's saying we should probably just sort of um, look at the whole world and see the player map mode to see who's playing what. Um, right mm-hmm. now, we've ha- kind of split people up into teams um, based on what their their discipline of working in Avenar is. 
but I do hear that some teams aren't going to be entirely loyal to their teams, so who knows. <laughs> I'm fine with that, honestly. Wish. That That's oh, the best way to play. players arrived. This is actually blessed. All right. Blessed for now. We'll see. Yeah. Fingers crossed that they do remain loyal. Ah. Okay. Oh, wait. Now I'm observing Father Loris, who is observer. I've clicked on Father <laughs> Loris's nation. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. We're having a three-way observe right now. I'm observing Lambert's stream, and you're observing Father Lord's. Oh, <laughs> it's perfect. We should mention like some of the like three D art assets for in the next update. So, for example, if you go to like <laughs> panel. Oh yes, the, there there is a lot of new three D art. Can I? Before you mention all of the good ones, let's just have a look at the jokey one. If you want to okay, head on yeah, over to Corinta. <laughs> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it's not the Neko Korin! It is indeed Neko Korin. Uh, the flag Neko as well. <laughs> I am so disgusted right now. It is Let beautiful. Let it's Targwin who's playing <laughs> Korin Tar. Uh, it is... Oh, easiest way to check. How, how do I just... I don't think there's no, anyone... Oh, yeah, it is Cargwin, Car yes. Oh, Cargwin is playing it. All right, yeah. God fucking hell, Cargwin. <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, there's some serious models. If we go to look at any Null Nation, like Sukluct or Sokka, we should be able to see some of the more unique-looking ones. Oh, lovely. Uh, that that model is amazing. Very like yeah, amazing, it right? is yeah. absolutely amazing. Like, before, I seem to remember, I think they had the Aztec skin, but they sort of took out the he head inside the um, Aztec hood, so it just looked like a big giant void, as far as I remember. They had just big mouths. Yeah, My... just big giant mouths. One, another really good one, uh, south of Aodad, in the desert of Harath. Uh, that's... Mm -hmm. uh, right. Yeah, there's some, uh, some lovely little animations there. Uh, I, oh, I think yeah, I know what I'm... you're talking about. Yeah, let's see if it pops up, because it should pop up, even if it's paused. There um, it is. There she is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there there's the worm. All hail the worm. Oh, it looks really good. Lob lobby open for half an hour and still two people didn't get here in time. <laughs> that's right. We receive a worm. It's uh, chill. It's chill. That's real good. Just, just start shaming these people every time yep. they're late. Yep. That'll be the next SMH. couple of weeks. That's one on the death note list. Oh, no. Wait. Ugh. Okay. Oh yeah. Have you ever? Have you guys ever actually looked at many of the different sub mods for the Abner, like uh, on the workshop? Because there's some really unique ones. Like to the right of this desert, there's like there's one that basically makes a sort of caves oh, system yeah. in Elantia, and it have sort of like Runeborn being dark elves, sort of drow esque behaviors. That was an interesting sub mod I found. I was well, I didn't find, but Abner servers made it wear enough. We kind of liked it. I do like Drow. It is one mm -hmm. of my favorite D and D races, so I would, I would, I'll definitely check that one out. The one I yeah. do remember, I'm not having played, but um, seen on the workshop, is adding a whole new like Arthurian style country uh, as a as a large island off the coast of um, where the Kobolds are uh, in Kanor. Oh, so it's just off the coast of the Dragon Coast. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a whole Arthurian Roman kind of deal there. Um, I don't remember what that mod was called though, but that looked I think interesting. In your chat said Starling Isles. Starling Isles. It could be that. Um, but yeah, that looked interesting as well because it definitely feels like there could be space for a large, like England or British Isles sized island. Yeah, an Albion, Albion sort. Yeah, of like an Albion kind Albion. of deal. Albion. I could definitely see that being uh, a decent addition. I wish I was observing instead of just on Haraf right now, so I could look around. Yeah. No, sorry, you're stuck on Haraf. Yeah, to talk I, about we're just gonna we're just gonna watch before. the worms. That's all, yes. that's all anyone's tuning in for. Wait. I don't, oh, this has been new content. That. No one cares about Sarhol. It's just the worms. Yeah, the worm. The worm is the peak of the um, next update. Nobody needs anything else except the worm. Oh yeah, the Harafi are an interesting um, Runeborn tank. They're kind of basically nomadic um, desert wanderers. That's their whole deal. They just sort of wander around the desert of the Haraf, hence the name. But you, 
Wait, why does the desert have worms? Why not? Um, have you seen Dune? Yeah. We they liked it. So they're like, yeah. yo, we could do that. <laughs> yeah. And just think, these aren't the largest worms you'll see in the desert. No. Oh. There's what, a bigger what, one in Insia. It what it's what makes Ambanar so good. It takes all these like lovely little tropes from all different bits of fantasy mm -hmm. and yeah. sort of puts them together and adds like little bits of flavour on top of it. It's not trying yeah. to do something completely uh, off the wall, original, and therefore really annoying right. and insufferable. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's <laughs> taking inspiration from lots of places and growing upon it, which is the best sort yeah. of fantasy setting, in my opinion. Agreed. And also trying to match it up with the D and D sort of set, so you can try and have a D and D adventure in Avenir if you so wish. The, that is yeah. a framework. Me and Lambert have talked about that. Uh, we both really want to do. A yeah, D &D campaign I really want to play a D and D campaign. Like, yeah, I, I think I, I pretty much started some with some friends of mine in, um, at university. I just like We just only have three sessions in thus far, and my party are just psychotic. Absolutely psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> I think but, what, yeah. what I'd love to do, because when I played as Order of the Iron Scepter, right, the, uh, <laughs> the one that turns into necromancers in Escan, um, yeah. I was... Yeah, when, Estil, when, yeah. Yeah. When I was playing as Estil, right, when I formed Estil and going through the missions uh, to turn, um, I can't I forget the name of her, into a lich. Verena, I think. Verena, that's it. Name. Verena Esca, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, it read like a D and D adventure. It really did. She was. Um, I, I could definitely see while reading these events in the mission tree um, how it would fit into a D and D game um hiring some adventurers of the party to go and steal a book from anban cost um uh, because it, she needs I, it to I turn it into a the, thing i thought it was the the you know the aldrisian order i think it's like it, one of, their one of the, in there yeah it could have been but either way it's like yeah. sending them on a, a on a on a fetch quest for a book lying about you know what you intended to use it for and then you know if you were playing this in D, &D you bring her the book and she's like ah i can now be a lich wait i need to stop you now and then you're fighting a lich. oh it's so good it's so so <laughs> i really want to play D, &D in anbada it's such a cool world yeah it is pretty cool i mean right now within the abner server there's like there's not official D, &D um building like but i think it's like uh, Stern is going to be trying to sort of establish a bit more of a D&D &D, um, rule set for Abner, so just add all the races that we have that are playable into it and try and give them some stats. Yeah. That would be fun. Definitely I mean, could see that, We're yeah. not doing that yet, but it's just on the docket at some point. I would love to see that. I'd love to see that. It's like, you know, there's yeah. like different campaign books, like uh, Taldore Reborn. You just, now <laughs> we could have, you know, Anbanar, the D&D &D adventure or pathfinder if that's more your style i i i don't know about pathfinder like because pathfinder is a bit more um attached to gods being real and the thing is with abner is that it's not known whether the gods are real or not like there's a bit of mystery in it so i don't know like you can probably have a pathfinder detached from the god system admittedly so i I have I actually have no idea about Pathfinder. I've I've always played the game uh, Wrath of the Righteous, but yeah. I was invited to play a D and D campaign, so I started with D and D. Um, if I had been invited to play a Pathfinder game, I would be into Pathfinder. It's it's basically how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're actually doing a five E campaign using Anbana right now. You'd love some source books instead of having to refer back to the wiki all the time. But the fact that the wiki is really nicely fleshed out can't hurt, though. Yeah, no, the wiki is much better now than it used to be, because it used to be full of misinformation, just randomly, blatantly wrong stuff. <laughs> but the wiki team's been kind of reshaped to be a bit more, like, you have to do this, and you have to sort of make this confirmed right now. This has to be actual lore. It can't just be something you've made up in your head. Yeah. Yep. All right, just... So we're looking at the player map mode then. Let's see who's in the Dwarvar. We have a um, Mountain Shark, a Azra Expedition, uh, a yeah. Skewered Drake. Uh, yeah, there's one Skewered Drake. Oh, is Arg Ordston actually being played? It is. Yeah, Does it have a mission tree now? The lovely duck you am? No. 
think so, actually, no. It doesn't, but it has, like, the best ideas. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I always pick these ones in, like, if it was, in years ago when I was doing an MP in the Dwarf, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to pick the, this nation. It's it's a good spot to actually spawn the Obsidian Legion. Yeah. Which, my favourite Dwarf tag? <laughs> I mean, I, I have a soft spot for uh, Duragar, so I, I could definitely mm -hmm. see it. Uh, one yeah. of your favourite tags, Valoris, uh, Greedy Grin yeah, is being Grin, played. Yeah. 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 Um, Greedy Grin, they basically just make everything into gold. Makes sense. I mean, yeah. when they're so close to Virgil Gulen as well, definitely helps. Yeah, Virgil. Uh, yeah, and then I, finally I we have Kanzad. Uh, I'm rooting for Mountain Shark. I really want to see the old clan uh, pop up this game. Sure. Well, of course you'd root for Mountain Shark. You're a goblin stan after all. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but the, the new content I... for all clan is phenomenal like oh did yeah fantastic job with it did they um uncomment how to do all clan because i believe it got um shut down for a little while because yes bit too... but they've they remade it because it was right. apparently breaking the game oh yeah no oh so they... someone is also playing in, in crack to whom roar oh yeah the cracked dwarves god they're, I... just, they're just like one of the only dwarves that just you know just isolated with other dwarves and they don't have the same ambitions of uniting the dwarvar uh -huh. for some reason but, yeah, it's interesting. I'm, I am surprised we uh, we don't see uh, Wugensu playing anyone who can form Orgelova. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, actually. Did, like, who, who's he playing right now? Like, Wag is playing as Bianfang. Oh, Bianfang. All right, okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I know he's definitely not going to be playing as a dwarf. <laughs> I was just thinking, what if he's picked Ruby Hold or any of the uh -huh. other tags that spawns the dwarf expeditions? Um, I think. So, who are the players in Saul? There's, there's Saul. three. Uh, there's three nulls. Right. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about those. Uh, what's the ambitions of the nulls, Saul? Ambitions of the nulls of Saul. Well, I believe with the at least with the Sazel bulked um, nulls, they are demon worshippers. They basically. Um, they basically try and make packs um, like warlocks do with demons, and every so often they they want to they want to try and combine together. You know, like orcs in 40k, right? They try and combine towards a wag. Gnolls mm. do kind of a similar thing, but they try and unite underneath a uh, demon possessed um, Saz um, Sazobain. I think it's, it's Sazobain. Sazobain. I don't remember vernacular there, but they just click try and go on a big rampage until they get stopped ultimately, and then they just sort of split up and. Start fragmenting, and uh, then it, yeah, I think um, Zoka is in, in the north. He's like one of the closest candidates you can get into having a new Sazobine, like the fourth Saz, uh -huh. um, sort of um, unholy crusade. He's like just one of the closest. Um, although in canon we know that Zoka dies to the Jadari, but yes, maybe not this time though. Right now, yeah. Zoka obviously starts at war with Jadari, or the war starts really early. And whoever yeah, wins the like... war, the first oh. battle between Jad and Zoka, they, basically they have wins. The generals have to be in the um, fight against each other for that. And right now they are. Mm -hmm. I I know there's other things to look at, but I want I just want to watch the battle that will happen here. I think I think Jad might lose this one. Got a hunch. It depends well, if... Well, no, but the Jad has 10% extra discipline, though, is the thing. So it's 7 it's shock. Is... Although, yeah, Zog has 10 shock, so maybe one. not. Okay, yeah, he's not engaging. It's not going to happen. Uh... Although, it might it'll, happen. It'll, like... it'll happen eventually. Uh, yeah. Depends what happens but... when this is sieged. Is he going to come south? No. It's, it's got to oh. be 14 versus 7. Oh, he's coming. No, in. he's... Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, we're not going to catch them. Uh, no. By one day... One day Jadar, oh no, what Jadar is going to eat that 7k to the north, isn't he? Oh no. If he tries to go in seeing, oh, he doesn't have a general, and then Zoka comes to reinforce, there might be something there. Yeah, yeah. maybe. I mean, it depends like how fast the Zoka general-led army actually responds, because the Jad could probably wipe, wipe that 7k out relatively easily if they don't reinforce in time. True. Well, Sudan, you know, we got a player in Sudan. Uh, oh yeah, right. Um, like, sometimes Sedan joins Sokka? Like, is that been some of my experience in some of these games sometimes, where just Sedan just goes like, I'm gonna join in this war against the oh, Jadari. Oh, I think the AI yeah. is actually messed up a oh, bit. Oh, there's yeah. a battle going oh. to happen. Yeah, yeah. I it is occurring. Oh. Away. 
Yes. I Who think... are we voting to win here? Do we want? Oh, to oh, Jad. Jad, Jad absolutely Jad demolished. Yeah. Yeah. Jad does yeah, nothing in the fire phase, but in the shock phase, they. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Docker yeah. is over. Black Yay! Views from the south. And let's see, is, does Sarian get their lance back? Maybe. I yeah. mean, they got. They, it's I, a I, mission I, for it, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I mean, I think there's also an event as well. But basically, when the like, no, it might actually just be the mission. Then my, um, basically, I what I used to do like before they fixed it was, you know, Hasir is your vassal. You just give all Sarian's land to the north to Hasir, and when they pop the event, so that they never would declare the reconquest war. Oh, but it's happening. Damn. Jad Sarian. and Sarian going at it. Yeah. Okay, who yeah. are we rooting for? The new Sun Cult or the Chad? Uh, I like New Sun Cult way more than I like the Jad religion. Well, I'm wrong. That is heresy, good sir. Actually, I, <sighs> think, I think Jad's pretty much going to lose this one because he, uh, yeah. he's very weak. They Bit should tapped. have given the land yeah. away. Like, I only trust a player Jad to win now, I'm going to be honest. Because the AI will, all, will never just stay in the desert. The AI will try and advance into Saryant to push the advantage. Well, Jad has 8,000 men and Saryant has... Oh, so yeah, it's uh, going to be a it's foregone it's conclusion. A human military on is a human military. You have to keep that in mind. And you've got Jadar as a great general. Meanwhile, their generals aren't They're... so great. Uh, Although, six six shock on Sarian. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> lucky fucking roll. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the the god start for Sarian. Let's be honest. Well, Sarian's winning that. <laughs> I, I I can just point out we're, we're, we're focusing. Wait, it's not even. It's Beagle Torrent on Sarian. This isn't even a. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, no, okay, Beagle's this winning. is this isn't right. us just looking at AI while we've got a multiplayer going on. This is actually <laughs> yeah, this is a player. Yeah. Interesting and valuable things to look at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe we can convince Beagle to convert to Jad. No, no, New Sun <laughs> New Sun Cult has the best like flavor and lore. I think. In the it, entire game. This good... is amazing. Oh yeah, no. Uh, I especially like the one where they all get invited to a party. Yes. That was a great one. Samar Child yeah. Masquerade. Absolutely yeah, glorious. Nothing bad happens there. Not one little bit. Silent as the Grave. Got to be my favourite one. Oh yeah, no. Absolutely. You you get presented some nice gifts in that one. Yeah. Absolutely. There's nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad looking at that wasteland there. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we'll, we'll come. We'll place? come back to to Sarian later after he's uh, ruined Jadari. Uh, where should we have a look at? There's obviously no player wars going on so far, but we need mm -hmm. to. Uh, if people in chat see blue flames uh, in this panel on the right, you need to spam it in chat so that we can uh, we can see it quickly and uh, and what have a look the, at what's going on. A Shadow Dreamer player, uh, just north of Jad, actually. Now, Shadow Dreamer. Yeah. So the orcs, Shadow attack. Dreamer. Yeah, yeah. Now, Bay can actually form Karashar, so it might be interesting if Bay managed to Wait. play other games. Now I'm just wondering, um, could you play as a Jad Karashar, or can you only play as an old Sun Cult Karashar? Because I don't quite remember. I'm not quite sure, like... actually, myself. It's been a while since I played Karashar, and I did it at someone else. But Yeah. Um, I think what I did it was Mass Future I used. I used to form it as... But... Admittedly, I was just trying to get the highest amount of development possible in the province because, right. you know, if you colonize the entire Dwarf Bar and then you just do click that button, it uncolonizes the entire Dwarf Bar and puts all the development in that one province. Uh, yeah, I did the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, um, we actually have a Halfling player in Halfling yeah, Island. It felt all oh, it's Ox True. Segdia, which shouldn't be too hard, and then get into Akasur, then mm -hmm. I think we'll have a Karashar in the game. Play a Karashar. Yeah. Should be very interesting. No mission tree, uh, but. Maybe if he unites the Summer Isles, that might be a thing. We'll end up yeah. seeing some interesting stuff happen there. Yeah, sadly, no mission trees. I don't think I don't think there is a mission tree in Star Hall yet. Like, I mean, it's had a lot of reorganization at the moment, but it's going good so far, though. Oh uh, yeah, use Malta. I keep saying Malta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if we look at the ruler of that nation, we should see some new... Uh, Ardemag is the sort of conqueror thing, but we look at his traits. Um, if you hover over his traits, because it's um, legendary conqueror, the, there is not like the great conqueror stuff. This is like one specific to this tag. Right. 
Yeah, so it's like basically they have their own unique sort of um, traits that they that are really overpowered in my opinion. But I mean, how long how long do uh, swamp trolls live? Is that like that's the thing? Uh, in lore, it's around like ninety years, I think. But um, this but they just get delegated to the non long lived um, territory. So yeah, they're not gonna live like beyond a hundred years. And what's the uh, what's the rationale behind them getting permaclaims over this whole area? The rationale is they want land. They're hungry. They get land. Fuck the people that live there. Fair enough. And also, you know, get some sacrifices for their night hag masters or mistresses, I should say. Well, it is happening. Yeah. Uh, the night coven. Or score across versus other religions when you are the only person of your religion. You might as well just have a war score cost reduction. <laughs> yeah, they do have war score cost reduction. It's always a good pick. Well, actually, I don't think getting religious ideas is a good pick. Admittedly, this is religion's not entirely finished, as far as I remember. Like, they're going to be... Like, altru has been trying to add a lot more to it. Right. Um, As far as I remember. I'm just wondering, is the gnolls that are scrappers still in? Like, there's like, there's, like one city where the... And they're surrounded by uncolonized land. I think with gnolls, like. Uh, let's have a look. Like, didn't, no, I mean they're like a different religion than the uh, other gnolls because they they got a sort of scrapper religion, I think. Scrapper. Uh, uh, I don't see. I don't see it. I don't. Yeah, no, it must have been removed. Um, Why remove content ever? Oh, just just pile everything on top of everything else. Nothing ever needs to get reworked. All right, it got changed. The setup was too problematic. All right, so, so be, all right, it's the Karanganga. Okay, so we it was the hard to just said I can't even say any of these names. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what's what's quite interesting too. I mean, a lot of people will be interested in interacting with content, right? So mm -hmm. if we go to like a trade map mode, the new uh, there's a lot of stuff that flows into the Dame's Head now. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting. It's like Dao Nako. Uh, flows mm -hmm. into Eberfil and Wineport, so we might be able to see some like colonizing. Okay, so this or... this is this is what I'm looking at right now is uh, <laughs> the uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah, basically what that looks Ivory like. Coast, yeah, yeah. <coughs> but uh, there's obviously a lot of wealth to be tapped in there. Looking at all the stuff that flows into it, hmm. so we might be seeing some people from you know well... the Empire of going into there. Yeah, but the unfortunate thing is they're going to have to contend with Ox True with his little halfling empire right True. there. But uh, we have got a wine port player. Um, so Oh, wine. yeah, no, he's definitely going to be colonizing down there. If he survives against a low rent. Yeah, I think probably will. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of good... Um... Oh, look, we've got a halfling player in um, yep. Fizzwall. Has oh, Fizzwall got content? I mean, we've got, we got a port nam as well. Uh... Yeah, hey, oh yeah, that is actually someone playing Invisible. That's uh that's yeah. an interesting Yeah. I, I don't know how the well that one's gonna go. Pick. Yeah. I've hmm. never seen anyone pick Invisible before. Visible It's an interesting city. It's like the it's like Osculiath in a way. Yeah. It's like there's this big river and there's like bridges that have been cut down so nobody can invade each other. Um well at least I think that's it in theory, but Biswall does eventually get unified in the uh, canon timeline and they become the city of dyes. They have dyes just, you know, being the major export in canon. Hmm. Do we have as missions as when they unite Biswall? Or is it just uh, tech and small country? I don't think there's missions. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't the, think there are missions. But the flag changes to just the rainbow, you know, vertical yeah. rainbow flag. Yeah. It's I, I do yeah. I do enjoy the the differences there. Hmm. Can yeah. we do a, a quick overview of the players on each continent? Yes, we can. All right. Let's start with Kanor then, as we are here. Uh, we have uh, Bizarrist Advocate playing as Red Scale. Um, in, uh, beside him, we've got Reverend uh, Belial in uh, Sel Maldor. These are elves uh, in the north. And we've got uh, Paperbugs in Adshaw. Uh, further south, Ooh. we've got a Trin in Portnam. These are gnomes, uh, a gnomish, yep. uh, I guess, city-state. Like city sort of. 
Um, I mean, it, isn't, it used to be called Isle Chan, but they got reduced to the city of Portsnam. I think their whole dealio is um, theatre and also having a sort of alternative um, artificery centre, I seem to remember. Um, but they don't have mission trees, sadly. Plus 20% land fire damage as they finish it. Yeah. Wow, okay, I was not Very aware good. that that was there. Yeah. These See, are some really why... nice ideas. Hmm. And they also have conquistadors just straight up like that. Yeah. Fabulous. Uh, we also have, obviously, uh, a Gil Gamer in uh, North and Viswall and Imic in He's... Rubyhold. Yeah, Gil Gamir is um, a resident halfling expert, so he's just all about the halflings. Yes. Just, I don't know why he picked North Fiswall, but, you know, that's his yeah, problem too. Not, I mean, no, no. why We've go with the easier players. pick of uh, b pick, you know? Yeah. Yeah. If it's free players there who don't have mission trees, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think uh, Ruby Holds. Uh, Ruby Hold does not have a mission tree, Holds, yes. Um, no. This one. But, uh,. You know, if this world does form a small country, that has a mission tree. And a very nice one, yeah. too. Yeah. It's not the most exciting, but it's better than Gowed's, certainly. Hmm. Gowed's was a lot of, just conquer this. It's yeah. uh, certainly one of the older mission trees in the in the game. Mm -hmm. It's a bit aged, but we can't really spend all our time reworking. We probably have to keep advancing, trying to create new stuff as well. But eh. Do you want to talk a bit about this? Uh, the change to the Dwarven religion? Uh, Dwarven, yeah, Dwarven Pantheon. Pantheon. I, admittedly, I must say I'm not a big fan of the Dwarven Pantheon thing, but uh, I mean, like, it makes sense, I guess, for Ruby Hold to still have it since they haven't had too much strife with the fall of the Dwarvar. But it's um, basically they still remember all the um, old old Dwarven gods. Uh, Mima, all the all the people that are remnants in the Dwarvar, they've forgotten their gods and they do ancestor worship as they should. But yeah, it's. I think it's kind of similar to the Elder uh, Elven Forebears religion, where you have to select it's this god again and again, so it's like the blue highlighted stuff. Um, but yeah. I quite like the idea of it. We've got yeah. a Wineport player, and Wineport's one of my personal favourites. Um, Wineport is pretty fun. Yeah. Played by Squid, he's got a decently long mission tree, and also. If he survives and thrives, he has the potential uh, to form Laurent as well, which is... Yeah, but... Eh, I mean, it's... Uh, but wine, wine port's cooler. Wine port is way cooler. It's, um, yeah. I don't know if you ever played them, because you get so many like production bonuses you want. It's it, They really drill yeah. down on one little trope, and yeah. I really like that. And I have to say, <laughs> where he does hone in, so... Um, I do think Rubenet it... kind of does the wine trope a little bit better. Yeah, um, especially also... this far right area of the mm -hmm. their mission tree just turbo powers the the Rubenair province uh, to oh, just yeah. give you so, so much goods produced, yeah. so much you goods produced and so much extra production. The funny I thing about um, Rubenair is, is that when when they expand to the north, they try and remove the halflings from the halfling lands because they think that human workers are better than halflings for some reason, which is a weird sort of. They're a bit more racist than Lorraine. <sighs> I mean, it depends on how high your uh, yeah. grapevines are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The there halflings spend all day just smoking and eating, so it's. Uh... Oh, yeah, no. Obviously, yeah. those halflings, damn them. They're all lazy. There is a fun nation that you can play called Royal Sard, ah, um, yes. which is like. Yeah, it's like a formable, and I, I think it's a bit more of an infantry-focused civilization, but it's like I feel like that's a natural progression for Wineport um, to sort of form the Royal Sard. Right. Uh, Wineport can form Royal Sard? Well, you, like... have to culture, you have to culture convert into ah. it naturally, but yeah. It looks like Mountain Shark is really gunning on uh, beating up Rail Skull, if ever looks a bit, and they use that area. As they should. Um... Uh, with like 20,000 troops already, they're not doing too badly. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I, I do have to admit, I do absolutely have a bias against Mountain Shark because they've ruined so many of my Meyer Mall <laughs> games. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I would I would personally uh, go to... Um, uh, what's it called? Amaldia first as Mountain Shark. Mm -hmm. That would be my pick. Yeah. So yeah. It's interesting we've gone south. Um... Yeah, like Shattered Trident is never really a big threat uh, for some reason. Hmm. Um, it's always Mountain Shark for me, and I've always just been scared of them ever since. 
Yeah, they are quite spooky. It looks like the Ezra expedition's built up a good little uh, army too, so they could probably beat up mm -hmm. someone yeah. like that. I imagine they're going to Krogdia. Uh, well, yeah. it depends. Krogdia is a great tag when you have a an Iron Hammer as kind of like co-op, but Iron Hammer isn't being played, so I, maybe not. Yeah. And you also, I have in the, uh, the old uh, Escasimal crab pot. Do you ever Plus. get annoyed when people from the Dwarbar migrate into Escan or people from Escan expand into the Dwarbar I, tribal I do. land? I do. Yeah. Because uh, that was a big problem. As dwarves, stay, stay in the mountains, you know? Just stay there. Stay uh, what, in your bloody <laughs> mountains. What is always the problem? It's not so much them, because it's always the orcs that do it, so it's not mm -hmm. too much of a problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's when the uh, wood elves go into the mountains. It's really annoying. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, no. get out, get out, get Speaking of game? the mountains, what is your favourite hold to play as in, uh, in the Dwarva? Be it a formable or be it a... Um, uh, one of the ones that oh, stay there, remnants. Just pause a, a second, a second, sorry. I just want to update. Rail has actually been vassalized, so I think they maybe we are going north. So I think they just took a little detour, vassalized Rail Skulker, and then they might go north. To be honest, it makes sense, because it will That's build up their idea. force limit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're going to be disloyal as fuck, but it doesn't matter. You're goblins. You're going to be able to build a bigger force limit off yeah. of that, so... Um, uh, okay. you, you say that... Smart moves by Mark but Lange, yeah. Actually, I can't tell. Yeah, 100% of oh, no, these are. Wait, that, wait, why does it say Hasir? Uh, it's, okay. that, that screen is bugged in Observer. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and uh, Azra is yeah, heading heading east by the looks of it. Going back right, on back the road. The hold thing, like, yeah. I think my favourite hold... Um, honestly, I know this might be a bit cliche, but it was like the first tag I ever played in Abner. It was odd for the Kanzad. I, I love that hold. I, it's a great hold to play in. Yeah, I can't, I can't it's, really deny Kanzad's probably up there for me as well. Yeah, definitely yeah. some cannons. Yeah, it's and speaking like, of Kanzad as well, it is being played by Mike, uh, one of yeah. the developers. Uh, but actually, yeah, that's he's a, an artist, I think. Yeah, an artist. Yeah, I was going to say we should also be talking about what these people have actually contributed to Anbana because we've got obviously developers that do mission trees we've got people contributing art people contributing writing there's a there's a whole host of um contributions that have come into this mod it's really a uh, a really interesting project when you think of it because like we've got a multiplayer game here with over 50 people involved and every single one of these people have contributed actively to Anbana's development. I don't think there's a single mod I can think of that can boast that yeah, kind of... Yeah, most mods are close development. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages to, to both styles, of course. We look oh, at yeah. other <laughs> E4 mods like, uh, for example, Antibellum is made by one person. And there are advantages mm -hmm. to being the only person working on a mod. But there's also advantages to having such a huge wealth of everything um, working on your mod as well. So, yeah, it's uh, certainly a unique method of, of mod development, but hey, it works because yeah, I love this mod. Work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I want, want um, to do I... the community management. <laughs> 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 I, uh, yeah, 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 I think it does work very well. Just, just be one of those community members that just stays only in social or off topic and just only chat there. That's a contribution as well. You're contributing to the morale. Oh yeah, of the morale. operation. Yeah, is it positive yeah. or negative? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh god, but yeah, um, but I would say that's my favorite tag. Like my favorite tag is ironically banned from being played in multiplayer. It's Road Warrior. Oh. <laughs> my favorite tag. Oh, of course, it's a good one. I yeah, have never I played because I play a lot of multiplayer and we always, the first multiplayer uh, we did, I was uh, recommended, okay, these are the tags that you really shouldn't have seeded. We need to ban these instantly. And I just, yeah. I just trusted. So Road Warrior has never been seeded. Yeah, no, but here's the thing I like about them is that if you are playing with a Magma Harma player with Road Warrior, what you want to do is Road Warrior is offer Fasslage to Magma Harma and then keep building up that first limit. So eventually, sure. Magma Harma gets like 100% extra force limit, but Road Warrior, with a, only three development, one province, all the time, can field around 2,000 men, um, 2,000 regiments, which is insane. Wow. 
Seemed like it. Do we have any ogre? We do have an ogre. Oh, and they are playing mm -hmm. one of the well, the most fun uh, types of ogre I find. The ones from the north, which can devour oh, the yeah. world. Now they're a lot of fun. Oh, so oh, we... these aren't the wild ogres they're playing. They're playing the ones that form Magma uh, Harma, I think. Um, oh, I see. Like, yeah, yeah, they're slightly yeah, too fast. So, um, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know if there's been a Let's change a that you can form the... Yeah, look at the mission tree for uh, Galvers. Yeah, they'd form Magargama. They said Magma. Yeah, Magma okay. Harma. Never mind, then. Although they are kind Magma Harma is my favourite ogre tag, though, admittedly, because it's really? like Roman it's like Roman Empire, but mm. ogres. That's what it is, essentially. It's like, you know Goria from World of Warcraft? Like that yeah. sort of like Ogre Kingdom sort of thing. That's what it is. That's what it's supposed to be. At least what that's what Creek designed it as nice. as far as I remember. And I was just always being like, God great. I like this. It's very See, on brand. <laughs> I, 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 I like this. I do prefer eating everything, though, as... Uh, what's, his, what's his name? Rangor, I think the name Rangor, is. yeah. The, yeah. Blood. He's a fun, fun one as well. I don't Have you played those, played them for... I haven't. I've not gone around to it. I very much it. recommend it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Which one's Rangor? It's a collie, I think uh, it's Basically... They're the tags. Yeah. yeah. Um, Frost like, Frost... would probably be the best one. To do because they like, got look a mage at the mission leader. tree. If you look at it, yeah, they've got the mage leader. It's a good like mission tree. Your eighth clan, you from Skirkulki, I think mm -hmm. is what it's called. Yeah, and then, um, and then some like sort of demon doga turns up, becomes your like immortal leader, and you eat everything. But then you eat yeah, everything. He, yeah, and yeah, which, he, which his mechanically mission means is to eat the world. You, where you conquer lands, and then you click a mission, and you delete those provinces. And you get all yeah. the developments in those provinces. In ah, yes. Provinces. I think I have seen that happen. Yeah, yeah. and they no. move to Eskan and start... Oh, you know, Player War. We have and Player War. Oh, first one. Uh, oh, Istralor. my God. Istralor right. versus... Istralor and Theacock. Theacock, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Vy Vycock has, has just allied Moonhaven. Why did this happen? We talk allied with Moonhaven. We need, we need to. And is this a we player? We need to ask questions. It is. Grunky is a player. I don't yeah. think this is actually going to turn into any player conflict. I think this is just a. Yeah, but Istralor is also a player, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Istralor is a I player. Think, I don't think they'll actually, actually engage each other. That's my hunch. Um, hmm. Firecock. Navy's dead though, so it may be something I'll happen a bit. <laughs> God, There's um, 13 uh, Istraloran troops, but they're currently hiding in West Ham. So, we'll see. They're CG. Yeah, maybe. Should be fine. It's like a separate war they're doing right now. Um, yeah, all the developers in Avenir are playing, well, not all of them, but like most of them are playing right here casually, having fun. They're sort of role playing a little bit with it, as far as I remember. Wait, Moonhaven is also a player. That's why they're allied. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, considering Moonhaven and Istralor aren't actually, like, engaging one another, uh, and they've yeah, both think... gotten their ships in port, not blockading each other, I think it's a little bit fake. Yeah. Yeah, a bit yeah. of a fake, fake war, war. Although, I don't know, is that a, maybe a mission tree thing where you just declare war for a succession war sort of thing? Hmm... Well, it's Moonhaven no, Conquest of Watchman's Point. On oh, Vern. No, well, sorry, uh, just looking at chess. Istralor oh. got PU'd by Vern. That's what happened. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's like the Vern ruler just a... randomly died. Yeah, that'll be the, that'll yeah, be the West End thing. Form. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So they're working um, together loyal. to get independence. So, yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> God, that is. Interesting. Interesting. To say the start. Least. Like you get these random PUs. Oh yeah, like what year is it? It's like fourteen forty eight. We don't have the you know in Grombar, like they have sort of the rebellion with um Rovis, like he's uh, leading Florence March eventually. Yeah. That'll be an interesting one to see. Like Adshaw's gonna be trying to fight tooth and nail to get that to succeed because they get a free PU on um Florence March uh, later on in their mission tree. And admittedly, I must say, Adshaw is one of the best mission trees um, related to spy networking. It's a probably, of... probably doesn't have anything on uh, the Ying Zhen. Uh, uh, if you've played as Ying Zhen, their mission tree oh, yeah, the related to spying here is wild. Yeah, no. It, 
they, their spying is quite in, uh, quite good as well. I think Sarasung also has a lot of spying. Oh, yeah. The banned seats. Um, well, we got Ruled Warriors banned. Um, any of the major powers like Laurent or Gawed are banned. Um, Vanille, especially, is banned. We have we um, we. I, I really want to keep trying to make uh, Aelnar in multiplayer work and be fun for people, but it, it kind of <laughs> never is. Never, what you mean? You don't like the fact that the elves become fascist monsters in the new world? That that part's fine. It's more of a case of everyone who wants to colonize instantly kills them in the crib. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, and if they don't kill them in the crib, if they kill them during a horrific disaster, they get like, yes, the, yeah, the Riem Visa. Uh, I yeah. like that disaster, <laughs> but I'm yeah. a masochist apparently. So. <laughs> no, I, I I also love like really horrific disasters. Like I, I do. love the Kin Strife. I love the one that Nug uh, Dan Sry. Yeah, oh, there's another player there's player. another player war. We've got um, Adshaw who has attacked uh, Sestirande. Oh, sorry, Cal, uh, Sel Maldor. Oh, Sel Maldor has actually attacked uh, Adshaw. That's the other way around. These yeah. are the aggressors. So, those damned elves are coming back to finish the job. Ibavar is helping Adshaw. Oh, How very you... unalenic of uh, Adshaw. <laughs> Shadow Dreamer doesn't look like they've escaped the caves, actually. So they went and killed Segdi and they fucked off them. So it's like, I don't think they're going to form couch. But I think oh, Salamandor has fucked up. They Mountain fucked up. And they peace oh, out. Wait, no, hang on. This is a mission tree thing. This is so Maldor tree doesn't have a mission Adshaw. tree. No, no, no. It's Adshaw that has a mission tree thing. If you click on Adshaw, yeah. their mission tree, um, there is one where they force nations to declare war on them. I think oh. that might be one of them. Like, um, wait, hang on. It's not It's not Bavik. It's not... It, no, wait. They haven't done the mission tree. This is literally the player declared war themselves. That's <laughs> weird. But um, like, basically, Illegal. if you look at the Reckoning mission, it, that's I think that's the one where you have to burn Salamandor down. So it's mm. like somewhere around there. Reckoning. It, there. Reckoning is that underneath um, burning the Vic. Like, you have to own Dayland and Salamandor. Um, so, yeah, no, okay. There's no war thing. There, okay. I was mistaken. Might have been something else. Oh, well. But, yeah. Mountain Shark seems to be moving south, so there's someone going to end up there. Let's uh... see. It could be that he's going to search for um, expedition targets. Can can goblins do those or no? They yeah, can. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah, can. everyone can do the expedition targets. Well, so what I, can... I think maybe they're doing is going down to Ruby Company uh, with the intention of picking up Renaissance. On the... That, that is a point, actually. Or uh, also feudalism. Goblins don't start. Well, feudalism, yeah. Yeah, goblins are just. Um, they just they just don't know how to um, become feudal. They don't know how to have vassal states. It's no, just not it's, in their nature. Starting a sort of <laughs> yeah, you start <laughs> squabbling. It's great. Um... Oh yeah, there's a, there's a new lore actually with the kobolds in the Dwarvar. Like because you remember before we used to have it like the green skills had a big migration thing to the Dwarvar. Not mm -hmm. anymore. Now these guys are red skills. Um, oh, okay. So, and they're basically the response from the dragon that um, sacked Kutgir, like, in, um, what was it? No, it was, like, the first time Kutgir fell, it was a big dragon that took took over the place, a big red dragon at the Dragon Wake. Nice. The second time Kutgir fell was two orcs during the start of the Green Tide, so, yeah, you know, there we go, that's the... Oh, 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 I forgot about that. Bjarnrik has a rebellion event chain at the start of the game, so Bjarnrik's no longer going to steamroll the trolls. Admittedly, um, yeah. It looks like they have uh, maybe. Do they start uh, broken up like this, or does this is this happened through the mission uh, through the uh, the disaster at the start? I think it's the disaster at the start. I think because I don't. I think they are a bit more unified than this. I seem to. Wait. I think they, mm, maybe I know, not. I think it's been a while. Up. Yeah. 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 They've broken up. They've had a bad breakup. Just yeah, Bjornrik um, did steamroll the trolls. Yeah, the, they steamrolled the trolls, the trolls and then lost the things in between. Fair enough. Mm, yeah, poor trolls. At least they're still alive. Now, anyway, really looking at other areas as well, 
Escan, uh, another really interesting area in uh, Anbadar that's kind of kind of unique, uh, especially considering the amount of lore and such that is behind it. Uh, I think so it's we've a fan got, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, New Wanderers um, being played by Dadevo. Uh, we've got Korantar being played by Kaguin. Uh, we have uh, Jelly playing the Small Fellows, another offing. Uh, yeah. And then There's we've so got our only this game. goblin in Escan is Clouded Eye. I think it's goblins, aren't they? No, they're orcs. Are they orcs? Are they? Yeah, they are orcs. orcs. Yeah. I think it's actually the only orc being played at the moment in the entire game. So yeah, I think they start with a gold mine as well, so that's probably why they were picked. Yeah. Helpful. Um, oh yeah. So, um, hi. It's like I'm Finn Death. I'm just also talking as well. We should. Um, yeah. We should probably go through some of the. Uh, what these nations do really so new wanderers yeah. they are Keteratan, so they come from yes. like fantasy egypt right? yeah yeah they basically decided you know what this is a war-torn land let's take advantage of this and start our new homeland for our mummy yeah. yes that's true story they have their own mummy that's that's right yeah and i think they become, they have an immortal mummy empire if they manage to unite escan yeah you say, if they actually raise the mummy yeah that's that's the goal for like everyone here it's a big crab pot and they all fight over this one area right yes yeah yeah and it's always so fun trying to grab as much land as you can from the orcs <laughs> and goblins in the area it's just it becomes a big giant snake or mess in oh. the mess in the it's oh. also everyone trying to rush to Castanath as well, because this is really oh, yeah, the no. crown jewel of the region, and in the new update as well, um, mm -hmm. it's it looks cooler too because the it actual does, yeah, walls, walls. Yeah, have been added. The white walls, the white walls yeah. of Castanath. Uh, we got this whole you know Great Wall of China esque uh, deal going on throughout the entirety of northern uh, Castanor. And what country is it that built these then? Obviously uh, the Cast. Cast, um, Castanor is basically the Roman Empire sort of analogy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're basically just like the first human empire from the refugees of Bulwar. They came over here to flee the Nulls and they eventually just established a big kingdom, subjugated the local Hellenic tribes, integrated their gods into their pantheon, and just basically said um, their god, uh, Castellius, is the biggest and mightiest and they sh uh, everyone should serve him. Yeah. Etc. Everyone, yeah, everyone should like indeed serve him because let's be honest. At the start of the game, plus one admin you part. really can't be uh, sniffing at the plus one admin. Although the yeah, one tag that I clicked on admin. decided to not go with that. So that was... I can only think of a few exceptions, like Silverforge um, gets Balgar. bonuses when they have uh, Balgar. Yeah, they yeah. built the walls. Yeah, and I, believe. I think uh, Ibafar has walls, yeah. bonuses for Munus, who's t typically usually the settler thing, but they change it to be a bit more militarily relevant. Uh -huh. So it's actually better for them. It's interesting. <laughs> Someone just noticed Corintar's flag. <laughs> uh, I see that Don't you have. Ask. I see that you enjoy the flag, and I raise you their unit model. <laughs> <laughs> it's really jarring. You can just see this like anime. Just see it's so big, so big. Like Karkwin, why does he do this? Why does he nail Kark everyone? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's I was obviously that's not the only unit models that yeah. are unique. We've got some orcs right next to them. Uh, don't the yeah. uh, was it not? It wasn't goblins, was it? That got something recently. Goblins did get something recently as well. It's goblins like, got unit models. Some... Yeah, yeah. yeah, they did. Um, I think you slowly pan mm. the map over to where I can find some goblins. But it's actually um, there be north... south, I think. Actually, north uh, uh is got some goblins in it. I found. Oh, there they are. There they are. There's little goblins. I can't zoom in right now, not while we're in this screen, but we'll get there. Yeah, they have those funky little shields. Uh, there is also um, new unit models for the kobolds, I believe? Yeah, the, yes. they were like the first unit models that oh, have really? been added um, into the whole um, when the custom unit model craze came about. Yeah. And they're pretty damn good. They look really good, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, they come in one different thing... colours, even. Depending on the oh, scale of color, yeah. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Um, one thing I really would kind of like to see models for is centaurs. Like centaurs yes. are the ones I want to have. Very much um, so. Them. Yeah, there's our yeah, lovely I mean, kobolds. Right now, the... Yeah, look at them. Look at the little boys. I would love that. I, any beautiful models. I'd love added. Like it's, uh, I want to see halflings. 
Uh, also, I like how we looked at the kobolds in uh, dark scale rather than the kobolds that are actually being played by a, a dev. <laughs> yeah, well, we everyone, everyone you, you know how many people over the years have asked where dark scale mission tree. Facts. Well, we we've had proof that everyone's just naturally attracted to dark scales. I mean, it's yeah, people just like to play kobolds in mountains. That's it, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I tell you what's a really fun kobold to play is the golden scales. Oh, Australia. the gold scales. Algrishin, yeah, yeah. It's you know, really there's actually a new. Start, but it's there's, very good. there's actually a new kobold tag um, in the uh, one Shia. Actually, yeah. if we look in the culture map mode. Uh, yeah, I believe see... they've been murdered. Yeah, they've been murdered, but the culture should still be there. Like, um, yeah, there we go. But Jen Jen the, has sorry. murdered them. But yeah, they are a tag at the start of the game. Um, Zer Zerd Gonfa. Zerd Gonfa. It's actually yeah, it's only cool. just happened as well. Uh, Jen Cusy hasn't even yeah. managed to core the land yet. Oh, I tell you what, I did not notice that the uh, Tiger Men have got a unit model too. Oh yeah, they do, the Harimari. Yeah. I, I hope I'm saying that right, the Harimari. Close oh. enough for me. Close enough, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Good. the likes of Rabba Gekur are yeah. um, Tiger people as well. Yeah, you know, I, I, always, I always get like, um, like, you know that... Faramhar in uh, Balwar confused with that um, I do Harimari sure. tag down there. Like, Va Vanrahar just... and Varamhar, it's too close for my liking. Yeah, it's too close. Yeah, no, I can't do it. Uh... Uh, Saidan has done quite nicely. Uh, they did attack Jadari while Saryand was fighting them, and they were initially winning. Um, mm -hmm. But now it looks like uh, they. The Jad supremacy. Jad supremacy is real, and uh, oh, no, but... I don't think Sidon is is long for the world. Yeah. Well, they got five. Well, okay, actually, no. Jadari no, Jad's got easy. like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's go, Jad. AI Jad. Oh, Jad. Jad rolled really badly in the shock phase, yeah. and it's all over. Mister yeah. Twelve stack coming from uh, if you like over into the <laughs> desert. Oh, yeah, is there? So oh. Sir Dad oh no. Is dead. Yeah. Jad himself has uh, teleported over to it as well. Yeah. You know, no, that's just they, one thing about EU4 nice. that makes me laugh every time is that fact that generals just teleport to one side of the globe to the other side of the globe with their armies instantaneously. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, but it's uh, cracking yeah, where every general is. Gameplay. It would be very much more uh, rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely think this is the best, uh, best version. I think it would work in CK3. I think yeah, that's no. something with the travel. Now it would with cool. their yeah. their movement business since the latest update, yeah. Yeah. Whereas far more character focused, right? into the I mean, server, isn't it? But frankly I don't like to me a general is not a person, he's a series of pips and I don't care <laughs> about anything else. Um so I don't care where they are. Pips and doing. one stat and one yes, uh, exactly. and one one trait. Yeah. <laughs> Although it is beyond depressing when your glorious six six uh, general gets something like extra prestige from battles. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who we, who's joining in? Angelic Burrito. Who is Angelic Burrito playing as? It beats me. I don't know who Angelic Burrito. They is. They are guessing. playing as Raven Banner. Um. And they oh, are. What they've worked on is bug fixes, localizations, um, minor gameplay overhaul of early Escan. Um, so that's cool. That's a good thing that they've worked on. Right, I'm gonna uh, quickly go grab a cup of tea. So that's yeah, good. Fair. I mean, it's it's taking a long time for us to load in anyway. Oh yeah. yeah, have you ever done this as a Jadari, just build a boat and then instantly go bankrupt? Uh, no, I don't. I've not played as Jadari yet. It's been on my list of things to play. Like, honestly, with the amount of time it takes to play a single campaign in Anbanar, multiplied by the amount of interesting tags that I want to play, that's really yeah. not enough time. So Jad yeah, no, is one that's on the list, time. but I haven't gotten around to yet. 
Well, I mean, if you look at the government form for the Jidari when we get back into the game, um, you'll see why it's a bad idea to buy bolts for the Jidari. They have, like, like extra um, cost on them or something along those lines. Uh, not... I mean, I don't think they have a cost thing, but it's literally just, like, ship force limit is just massively small. Like, if you go beyond one bolt, you're fucked. Oh, you wow. have to pay, okay. like, 2k a, a month, so... It's just... Interesting. Hmm. So what is the... Have you got a game running at the moment? Like, what? what is the, the campaign that you're playing right now or most recently played in Anvanar? Uh, yeah, it's like, when my computer was, you know, working, it was... I think I was just replaying Estil, actually. Believe it or not. Because, well, you know, like, Estil, I've only played it once before, but that was, like, many patches ago. Right. Um, I think one tag I wanted to play was... Oh, like, I think there was like, it was just like the, the lizards. I think the lizard, I, I was going to wait for a mission tree for them. Like, yeah. see the lizard folk have a good mission tree, and I would like to play that. And yeah, for obviously, me, a, yeah, a lot of Sarhal is, all of this looks really cool, but for me, Anbana, of every mod I've ever played, and also including vanilla, Anbana is the one that takes mm -hmm. advantage of the mission tree system the most. So yeah. it feels like if I want to play Anbanar and I choose a nation that doesn't have a mission tree, I'm like experiencing out, yeah. less than 50% of what Anbanar can offer. And that's just kind of kind of sad. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Although like basically like recently they've been making efforts to make it not only located in mission tree. Oh yeah, yeah you can look at the thing right Force there. limit minus 200%. Okay. Okay, buddy. Yes. We we know we know do vote. We cannot yeah, float. No, vote. I mean, I'm even surprised that AI Jadari have a boat in the first place. What the fuck are they doing? We cannot vote. We do not float. It's just one card. <laughs> oh, yeah, like a lot. Like I I really really want to play these halflings. Like as soon as these guys get a mission tree. And uh, I do a new multiplayer. I'm this is I'm choosing this, and I'm vetoing anyone else who wants to to play on my island. But this yeah. is this is what I'm really looking forward to playing. <laughs> I think I think there's a lot of interesting stuff here. When how did Jadari get a boat? Makes a good point. Oh yeah, how the fuck did they get a boat? Uh, uh, where where the trees? Where did they get the trees from to make that boat? True. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking desert. Go on, yeah, actually, I like... don't have a terrain map mode because who uses that? There yeah, we go. Yeah, no, no, nobody uses that terrain map mode. Not even oh no, uh, you know, making making boats out of palm trees. I'm not sure if that would actually work very well. Uh, yeah, I don't think it is. I think they do import boats um, within the, the sort of deserty regions of the world in real life for that reason. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, we do have players in Sarhol. We've got three gnolls. Uh, we have. Ayar Hashar, which I have no idea what this nation is harpies. all about. They are harpies. harpies. Interesting. I think, um, wait, hang on. Should we look at the... Their primary mostly? culture is Rag Hamidesh. Uh, okay, no, they're not harpies then, but I know they, there used to be harpies up there, so they must have conquered them. Um, Do the harpies wait. have unimodals, by the way? No, sadly not. No, not yet. Um, yeah. That'll be oh, fun well, to watch. I was wrong, chat. I'm sorry. Imagine. Imagine <laughs> being wrong on the internet. Uh, no, Shocking behavior. Never escape it. Yeah, I'll, what, I'll what is this nation things. all about? Oh, the fact yeah, that I they can like... form Paramiraj and Nadimraj makes me think that they are colony any, of yeah. the Raj? Yeah, they're the colony. Well, they're not part of the Raj per se. They used to be part of the Raj. They're like people that colonized into um, Sarhal. That was their whole dealio. Uh huh. As far as yeah. Oh yeah, those are the Lenny harpies. The Lenny harpies are interesting. They're like pirate harpies. That's what their their whole deal is. Like they're just trying to take pirate ships, um, sell the people into slavery on those pirate ships, and then take the ships themselves. Makes sense. That's their whole deal. Yeah. Uh, and then fun. we but... also have a couple of players in the south of Escan. We've got Scamp playing uh the the Jebby. Did not did not know this was the south of Escan. I mean, technically, it's south of Escan. Ah, <laughs> uh, did I say Escan? I meant Sarhol. <laughs> yeah, <you did>. Look, <laughs> it, 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 yeah, like you said, it is. This is Escan, and this is yeah, no. 
south of Escan, you know? It is, yeah, it is... Technically right, perfectly best. It's also kind of east right. of Kanor, so, you know, it works. Yeah, Yeah. so, so works. tell us a little bit about those, then. What to be Astromadi, uh, what's their, their whole deal? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do we, what do we hire you for? <laughs> like, I literally don't know. It's like, you can ask me about any of the other cults, but it's pretty much what's the most of the one I know least yes, about. Yes, Sarhal is yeah. new. <laughs> yeah, it's very new. Um, but we also have, actually... obviously, Gawahiza as well as another country, and these guys are... Uh... Human Ashamadi. Basically, if it doesn't say a race in their culture name, they're probably it's, human. Yeah, they're human or runeborn. Yeah. Like, those are the only two races that won't have the race mentioned in it. Um, I think, like, one of these tags literally starts at war with the other tag, and they're trying to unite. Uh -huh. The Bashidi are about trade and stuff, and they have a merfolk estate. Ooh, interesting. So, yeah, these are guys with the mermaids. Right. Shall we look at the factions? Like, well, not faction, sorry, the estate. Like, do they have the mermaid estate right now? Uh, the estates, uh, da, 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 da. they have different houses. House of Might, oh. Wealth, Wisdom, Glory, Exorcism. Uh, and then the yeah. other ones have got the same. they got the same deal. What's well, quite no, interesting, no, actually. Sarhol's actually starts with people in some which is interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not surprising. I mean, they're not goblins. They're not no, goblins, uh, they're not orcs. I suppose but the note you fall... The uh, Africa, one of its finding things about Africa is it doesn't start with you. Ooh, not oh. sure it's united yet. Alright, okay. But uh, oh, the like... Halfling Island does not, funnily enough. Hmm. Yeah, the Halflings, um, they're just they're just not um, elevated enough. Yeah, they, they, they're not elevated to the heights, the glory that feudalism is. Feudalism, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> a real, a real pass, pass, path forward to humanity, feudalism. Uh, yeah. Uh, they are actually a tribal kingdom, in fairness. So I, yeah. I guess I guess there is uh, something to it. You, there is one thing that I've always found a bit um, unsettling about um, Magna Harma. Like they don't start with feudalism, despite the fact they have a feudal system in place. <laughs> like they literally have a feudal system. It's a Scottish feudalism, but they don't start with feudalism. It's weird. It's like it's like the same deal with money. Yeah, Scotland yeah. uses pounds. But we're not yeah. taking their pounds in England. <laughs> Magargama has feudalism, but we're not accepting that feudalism in the rest of the world. <laughs> I, like, I like my currency. My currency is great. Don't even. <laughs> See, bank uh, of, uh, it's great, but it yogurt. can stay there. <laughs> oh, I don't trust wow. it. I mean, I'm not wrong. Let's actually, let's go and have a look at Aelantir, because we haven't had a look very much at Aelantir. We got the one, yeah. uh, one tag being played here by. Is playing that, I think. Yeah, uh, and yeah, I guess he doesn't he's... want, uh, what's it called the Jahirian exemplars to spawn because he's gone and taken their starting province. Oh no, this isn't their starting province. Or is it LAX? Is uh, a bit more west, like uh, uh, let me see. Uh, Kyao Oran, I think is their. Um. Oran. What? Where the fuck did he? Oh, he's doing the teleporting thing. This is a custom nation that he's made for his sub-mod. If we look at his mission tree, it should be... Um, it's not in the... Wait, oh, he doesn't have a mission tree for well, How does you teleport? It's like a decision thing. It has no decisions for it. I Is, um, it, is it... Are those provinces links? Because it's got FLD hub there. Is it like... Oh, yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. Dormant FLI, FLI route. So do, hmm. can I actually connect? Yeah, I guess they must. Huh. Evil I have burned. So oh, I guess yeah. he's burned. He's moved over oh, here and yeah. burned them. Yeah, of course you have to burn it. Don't have that mind controlling jungle spread. God. Huh. Well, uh, that is something I didn't know was a thing. That's no, I don't think the mind controlling jungle. You didn't is know that it was you? a thing. I didn't know this was a thing. Mm. Honestly, I thought mind it was just like mushrooms. Um, FLI. Oh I yeah, know. like there's there is a mushroom place like in the mid center there. Yeah, I always love looking at that. But yeah, new FLI, FLI stuff. All right, that's cool. That's, that's just interesting that we happen to look at him while he teleported. Yeah, no, we we can call him out for cheating. Oh, we Clearly legitimate, not at all cheating. 
Uh, but we yeah, unfortunately, so the flames. Sega Key and Ender May and players didn't show up, so can't really talk about them. But I, I, I like Sega Key. Yeah. Um, Gilgamir is at war with North. Fis Fiswall is at war with someone. I'm wondering what. Like, which player? Uh, but he's, you know, subject to Gowen. Ruby Hold. Just... Oh, Ruby Hold, no. What? No? How did you manage what? to do this? Uh, Ruby Hold is defending against oh. Gowed in the Gowedy conquest of Rivergate. And every single what? province is currently being sieged. Oh. Uh, Wait. It's... Is the Wixies now a personal union of Gowed? What? They the are. Must be... They are, yes. Yeah, there we go. That's not something you uh, really expect. <laughs> no, you don't see that every day, do you? Um, interesting. I suppose Lorentz also also going to be pretty weak because we've got a few players here who are gunning for the demise of Lorentz, right? We've got yeah. Phil's Edge, we've got Wineport. Portnam has expanded a bit as well. Portnam, yeah. Um, so I assume North Fizz North also wants to get South Fizz Wall. So, yeah, there's, there's a few people who are, who are going to yeah. gang up on. On Lorenz. Yeah. So Gao is going to be a big player this game, I assume. But if Ruby Hold, let's say, wanted to. Oh, lose. Uh, yeah, they have given yeah, over the lost. caverns and Rivergate. So it, it was a smart play for them to, you know, give up those provinces earlier before the capital could be sieged, because yes. when uh, Hold gets sieged down, it's just fucked. You need yeah. to spend money to repair it. And you lose a bunch of dev, too. It's just yeah, nice. it's horrible. Horrible. This, there is a thing you can do if you're ever conquering a hold. If you have a mage ruler and you have dominate to surrender, always use dominate surrender on a hold. Yes. That is just something you need to do. Stops yeah, it from good. getting the siege event. I think yeah. Mountain Shark is considering attacking Ruby Company. <laughs> uh, but are looking scared of a 16 stack of dwarves. Oh, I got right up close to those goblins. Well, no. Yeah, yeah, they're invading. They, they're getting the the wonders of feudalism. Yeah, what is required? Sure. I don't think they could beat them. Twenty five. Uh, what's their tech disparity at? Two versus three is not the end of the world. I guess. Uh, yeah, no, three what, does give extra do... 0.5 land morale, and when you're sitting at a glorious morale of mm. uh, two point <laughs> nine seven, uh, yeah, that, that's. That's pretty large. And they'll be attacking into a hold too, which gives a big rolls. No, yeah. no, looks like actually Mountain Shark has got tech free queued up. So I think they might pop it. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Um what they what I think the land shark's waiting for is waiting for the Ruby company to maybe migrate, because sometimes AI does stupid things like that, like migrate from their hold. But so that Land Shark can then migrate into that hold and just embrace it with just one ducket. True. So, no, or not. Oh, no. no. Oh, they're off. They're that's, off. That's not a thing oh, that right. happened. Yeah. Okay, here we go. what they're going to do here is they're going to purge them. And then Are they going to pop them? Yeah, I think so. I think they're fucking... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, it, initially, oh. the morale was very much on uh, Mountain Shark's favor, but the kills are definitely uh, more for Ruby Hold. Oh, they should have yeah. got that tech. They should have got no, the tech. No, they, they have the flanking, though. Oh no! no. They yeah, but they're no, fucking they goblins. It. They're weak as fuck. Um, yeah. You need to build a lot more. AI definitely migrates and holds. It's going to fast Force Forgemasters left. Yeah. Okay. Shit like that happens. All right. Okay, fair, this fair. is a sticky situation because they could just get wiped out of the game right here. That is yeah, just. Good. Um... Yeah. yeah. Where is Ruby Hold marching? Oh no! Ruby Hold thankfully got caught up by some natives. <laughs> oh sweet. Okay, if they can get this the is the back. wonder. Wonderful part of the Dwarvar, just having natives that are 8k stacks attacking you. Uh, randomly. funnily enough, it was Dwarven natives. <laughs> oh yeah, those Dwarven natives, damn Dwarves, they've ruined the Dwarvar. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, oh. they've popped their mill tech now. They should have done that before the battle. They, they, they have to get there before they siege. Oh no, they've still got the vassal. What's their, uh... I wouldn't start matching immediately though, you'd want to get your morale back. Yeah. Like, your your whole your your province can stand a little while, then you'll be able to attack and get the minus one, uh, potentially would, minus two. No, nowhere near the expander. Because they got the monstrous rabble, which is pretty cheap. Uh, can you get the dev question on the server? Uh, yeah, I can. You've already got it. Sorry, I 
just got distracted because someone's asking for a rule for the um, server that we're talking in right now. <laughs> yeah, Thorfinn don't, yeah, yeah, got that as well. Yeah. Okay. okay. But yeah, I think, I think Mountain Shark has still again. got this. Um, yeah, no, they, they definitely will. It's just, um, it's going it's to be a, a bit of a tough going. It's a what he needs war, to do right? is click allow attach on his army so that the well, five shock won. rail skulker can join him and they go to uh, to defend together. They're too, they're too there, there's they a problem with that, is that he's not going to. Have uh -huh. you seen how disloyal that fucker is? Yeah. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Mount Shark doesn't have the prestige to get it up. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Kavoria is uh, managing to take out Ashenaid, and looks like they're going to have a pretty easy war of it, actually. So. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Oh, Kavoria. You know, Kavoria is actually a really interesting sort of Romanian aristocratic nation because of the vampires. It's just always a... I'm always there are no vampires though. in... No, no, oh, yeah, no, naturally. No, uh, no. Yeah, no. No, no vampires here. This it's was also just, one of my uh, first single player runs in uh, yeah. Anbanar, or it might have even been like yeah. my first, my first ever uh, run for YouTube was as Corvaria. Such a very interesting nation, really, really nice, long yes, mission tree. Spreading some oh, Corvurian yeah. agents And do you know <laughs> what? Ever since the changes to espionage ideas with the aggressive expansion reduction, Corvaria mm -hmm. can get it down to like minus 90%. Yeah, they God can. Damn. You have to Crazy. stack it a bit, though. You have to. Um... Oh yeah, but once it gets yeah. stacked, you can conquer entire nations, and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> you can just conquer the entire HRE, and people only get mildly upset. <laughs> oh, Mountain Shark is attempting to go back, but they have to fight some uh, uh, natives first. Those fucking goblins <laughs> fighting that's a, goblins. It's a very goblin thing, though, to hamper yeah. other goblins. One yeah, thing that Mountain Shack could be doing here as well is if they do vassalize Ruby Hold, Ruby Company, what they can do is build units in Ruby Company that they control as their own, but they have dwarven pips. Mm. Mm. It's something yeah. that I ban in my multiplayers because, oh my god, that's so busted. But mm. it is doable. It is possible. I think, yeah. I think the best thing they can get out of them, though, is the feudalism, actually. So mm -hmm. I think it's probably better to... Conquer. To conquer, yeah. Conquer, race, yeah, and they're, they, they, Conquer and they release. Need to... Conquer and release yeah, is a vassal. Yeah, ca catch and release, yeah. Well, he could capture and release, but the thing is, there is that little um, decision they can click. If we go back to Mountain Shark... Um, oh, they've big, got one, though. That... big one, though. Big one, though. Red Scale is currently being invaded by... Uh, Gawed, so we have more blue flames because oh. North Viswal is just being dragged yeah. along by Gawed. And oh, oh no, what ha why is Red Skill so bad? Oh, it's, it's bad, well, news. There's... bad news for Mountain Shark for getting the shit kicked out of them again. I mean, oh, we no. all know that the Kobolds don't start with feudalism because they don't understand the concept of feudalism, so. Oh, yeah. I love how this, they're so much shorter as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that seems like a bit of a foregone conclusion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, the only way I see Red Skills usually winning against a big major power declaring more of them is that if they, you know, attrition the enemy on their forts or they have a war mage. Like, literally, those are the only cases I see. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, shit. Mountain Shark, they're seven. For... If they lose this. They're done. If they lose this, their their tag is getting wiped out from the game because the AI will absolutely purge Warband. It yeah. will, no question about it. Conquer, uh, and also if they conquer, they take over the vassalage of Rail Skulker. Well, also to, to get 100 percent War Skull, they'll mm -hmm. have to take out stuff in uh, Rail Skulker, right? So, True. Yeah. How are the how's the manpower looking? Let's see if a big side to these wars. Sixteen thousand for Rail Skulker. Nine thousand for Ruby Company. Okay. Yeah, um, okay. It's not looking yeah. as dire as it's, it was the goblins. It's it's. I still I still don't rate their chances very highly. No, no I don't they're either. they're they're not they're not surviving this as far as I'm aware. I wouldn't have engaged in that war to get. Oh wait, hold on. Who is invading there? Oh, Sidon. Yeah, the last time we looked at it, there was like one province sieged, and now it's all of them. And they're just not piecing out. They're 100%, but they're not piecing out. Mm -hmm. Not like they've got... Yeah. They don't have any aggressive expansion worries. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're trying to get Ileana. 
oh. entirely. Yeah, fair. yeah, trying to unite the harpies. I wonder if they're going to try and convert to the Jad. That'd be interesting seeing a Sidan Jad harpy. Is the hunt a good religion? Land Aider yes. Shark is quite good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And lots it's, of event things. Um, that you can get a guaranteed um, war mage heir with the religion. For the powerful hunt. egg? As far as. Um, yeah. That's yeah, powerful egg. Cool. Okay, I. Jad ain't got nothing on that. I don't care. I don't. Yeah, no. Jad has, exactly. the, like, the most. Kind of, dare I say, obnoxious fan base? <laughs> in Anbernar? <laughs> I mean, I can't lie, right? That's not a lie. <laughs> um, yeah, no, fair enough. I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess it's because they, lore wise, end up winning um, yeah, in this area. They... Which is sad. I feel like, you know, you got all these really cool tags early in Bursar Tangent, and Varma, and you made Jad beat them? Like, come on. Ah. Jad does beat them, but then it's like basically after the Jad sort of um, event called the Diadoran, where it's like East Jad versus West Jad, that's when the state starts breaking away in Balwar, and it kind uh -huh. of formed a league uh, defensively against the Jad Empire. Okay. In canon, it's like that's how Victoria, uh, yeah, Vicky Free, sorry, I was getting a bit confused what year am I living in? Yeah, the Vicky Free setup is basically about the Jad just being like that. Yeah. Good, because I don't like Jad. I, yeah, yeah, they they conquered my baby. I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, I think my Sartes actually doesn't get conquered by the Jad. I think it's like they get proselytized to, certainly. Uh, wait, no, I could be wrong about that, though. All right. How is Martin Mountain Shark doing? What is Mountain uh, doing? They marched south, and now they're marching north again. I imagine they had a, a rough fight in uh, Darangrod, yeah, and they're, they're, they're stopped, retreating yeah. again. So I think their best hope, and it's not looking good, is to yeah. fight them on Ednibir. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I think the AI might not just 100% peace deal them because they do have the vassal. They can, so... yeah, yeah, they have to occupy Railskulker to get the 100%. Yeah, okay, so it, there, there is a chance, yeah. And also, if they are occupying Ernatvir, um, loyal or not, Railskulker will aid in the fight for their capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, albeit I would not put my chances that I would instead try and circle and siege both the enemy capital and your capital at the same time. That's what I would do in that situation. I would just siege race them. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what's this siege fit that though? Because mm. Rubyhold is already at 35% and Mountain Shark mm -hmm. hasn't even started. So... Yeah. And it's sieged. What is the, what is the war score? Only minus 32. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay, so they just coming, have to... They're coming north now. Yeah, they, they um, have two, they're two different um, ways they can go about this, so we should be fine. Right, let's have a look. How's the general uh, system? He's got four shock. Um, uh, he's coming He's coming okay. north, but... Right. Oh, Lord, Rail he's coming. Is Rail Skulker really needs good. to, like, march to the Darengrod 3, just so that they have a yeah, little bit they... of breathing room let them start yeah, a siege yeah shark needs to go behind the fort yeah he's, well he's, it's not a fort actually he's actually running yeah man yeah rail skulker ran uh, away this is not looking good there is not an arabia equivalent yeah. he also Sorry, needs to consolidate his regiments before the fight happens yeah he's not going to yeah. win this battle there's no chance against these dwarves now uh, they've just got tech four mil too, so. Of Ruby Hold has. No, the Ruby Company. Uh, Ruby, uh, Ruby Company, yeah. not Ruby Hold. Sorry, Ruby Hold is basically dead. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, um... yeah. The the player is in in chat saying that they uh, think they're dead. So, uh, it, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's happening. He's running yeah. away, but. Okay. If it's you not going to get caught out, and it's going to take him along the oh, oh, Rail Skulk is moving migrate. down. Oh, no, no. Okay, oh, that's a bad move. He's going up again. Oh, yeah. there we go. No, you need to yeah. stop. You need to attack him. You can't take the minus one. You need to take the minus two. Yeah. March, yeah. please. He's gone. He's please, Mountain Shark, march south. He's, <laughs> no. he's a goner. He's a goner. 
Yeah, yeah no. the number disparity is is already like basically. Wait, no, hang on, this gone. might be part of his strategy. He needs to be going to retreat back to his province and then he starts sieging again while they're still <laughs> faffing around. I, there we go, mind I, games right there. I mean, he also hasn't consolidated his regiments. I yeah. feel like you know these guys are. Yeah, you click, click the button now. Consolidate. Do it, do it, please. Yeah, no. I'm doing it for him, please. Sorry, Siggy, please we're judging please, your yeah. multiplayer abilities. Please. Please. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's Jover. Yeah, yeah it's dead. over. Yeah. Uh, the goblins are coming. The winged stars. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> no, not. No, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have some Ruby Hope instead of Ruby Cope. No, we're not. We're going to cope here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, he's decided to retreat towards the better general. It's a good call. Like, it's not going to save you, but... No, the it isn't. Is too, yeah, he's he's not got the manpower advantage either, right? Nah. He's got 4k no. reserve. Uh, Rubyhold's got more manpower than the goblins. So the only advantage the goblins had over there. Because sometimes if you lose the initial battle as a goblin, you can make it back for attrition. But that's mm. not happening. Nah. There we go. There, no. it's, it's, it's the final... Save the final one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the final. Um, just having a bit of a salute in their honor. Like, you fought well, but you're about to die like a goblin. Yeah. Can we show oh, the goblin no, pips? Yes, we can show them right before they die. Uh, yep. They have four pips to Ruby Holds three? One. Okay. No, Ruby Holds. I think. Wait, no, they have only have three. Yeah, see, one, yes. one shock versus. Yeah. Two? Goblins actually have more pips. It's funny, but it's just like they have less tech. They've also run the to the cavern. caverns, which makes sense because that's a minus two in the caverns. Yeah, yeah. And, has, and there's a bit of a chance to get a bit of morale back too. It Can I just point out, uh, gold province yeah. in Underleaf? Didn't realize that. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yes. It's always yeah, been yeah. there. I'm fairly sure yeah. it's always it just has, been yeah. something. Bit... It's just uh. it's just quite expensive to dev. Being yeah, there, caverns yeah. rough mm, plus eighty yeah. percent. I mean, it makes sense. Well, it was going to be tough to develop in caverns, but you, you know, it's, yeah, it's going to be worth it to get the gold. Rail Skulker has also lost its five shock general. It's now only got a four shock. Oh, Oof. this is. Don't forget the dwarven loss, reclaimer yeah. buff that the dwarves have. Um, actually, everyone gets a dwarven reclaimer buff, including now my mom. Oh, they used to yeah, didn't have it, but now they do. Oh, it's copped out actually. Yeah. Oh my god, that is fucking lucky. Yeah, Jesus. plus thirty percent morale of armies is oof. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's going for a siege instead. I mean, if they're going for a siege instead, siege race him. I think that's maybe the yeah. only chance. Has yeah, he needs a siege race him. There is no way he's going to survive. No, otherwise. no, he won't win the siege. He won't win the siege race. Mm. Uh, yeah, because uh, Enlivia doesn't have a fort. Oh. Uh, Rupert Company does have a fort. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, no, you're right, he's fucked. But he is trying, he is trying. I mean, the one way that you could win a siege race is if you get a lucky breach and you assault. And you might be able to sneak a white piece. Yeah. This is, this is a risky play. Also, you have to go for the natives there. I think there should probably be any consideration, like, what piece deal can Mountain Shark offer here that keeps them alive? What well, can they do? Yeah. Um, offer tribute. Suggest offer. Full annexation. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, oh, so not that. 25% uh, no. war you... score is only five ducats as well. So, uh, oh, he got Fine. double natives. He had 20,000 troops and he's down to 15 yeah. now after having to fight two bunches of natives. That is rough. You thought only goblins got the colonist buff. No, they have the Dwarf Reclaimer as well. I'm fairly sure everyone yeah, in Dwarf Reclaimer has yeah. Dwarf Reclaimer. That's right. That's why I find fighting Mountain Shark annoying when I'm in um, Amal Deer. Ah, true, true. I think... I've... Yeah, there we go. It's right there. But then, plus 50% native uprising chance. And you don't even yeah. get to assimilate them. How sad. Maybe... Hold on. Well, goblins so... get mission tree stuff to assimilate the goblins, though. Yeah. So, they do get that. Uh, the holds don't... I... Oh, he's gotten himself a, uh, a siege... Ge no, he hasn't. He's just got a better general. Five shock. Mm, okay. Um, I think... Well, I think he should probably be doing a split both those armies up to try and siege two at the same time, because 
unless that army moves... I think that's moves, what he is doing. Gonna... Yeah. Yeah. We also got to point out, this war is still going on. Um, no, no, it's not really. That, no, that was a, that was a lie. That, that was a lie. The, uh, the yeah, the red scales have have abandoned ship. They fucked off to <laughs> Nymph's God instead. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, red scale exodus. <laughs> okay, if the, if the big guys are beating you up, just bite the slightly bigger guys than you and yeah. <laughs> yeah. their land. God. What would make this even better if there was an ogre tag in the area and you just had the ogres invading the humans there? <laughs> <laughs> or I guess the trolls, actually. The trolls would be pretty good. Uh, let's go and have a look at Av Avarin uh, with Amanda. She has... Avarin. Oh, yeah. She Avarin. has expanded so much. Yeah. He's formed oh, yeah. Stan well. Rada. That's what I'm going to call it. Stan mm -hmm. That's the form. Wait, no, hang on. Wait. That's... So Avarin has a mission tree, but Stan does not? Yeah, no, it, no, because that's not Avarin you're clicking on. Um, that's the one well, of their vassals. Oh. Because remember the whole change where you had um, right. Ashikars become the same color as your overlord? Of... That was the whole thing. I forgot that was a thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Amanda's it, still Avarin. Really fun. Yeah, she still has nine corruption. I mean, this world. is this is unique among Anbanar multiplayer games. Yeah, Avarin is thriving. It, this is a yeah, unique Avarin. occurrence. This has never happened before. It, <laughs> yeah, it requires the one who developed the the tag to be able to do it. <laughs> it's really impressive. She's really yeah. Impressive. She's girl, like she, she's in chat. She's just girl bossing yeah, over she's here. Girl bossing, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> girl boss. You go at Amanda. Just make sure to be everyone in the yin, and it'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. It's really Basically, impressive. Amanda's role, like a a few a year ago, was literally the lead of North Alentier. Um, she was literally um overseeing everything in the yin. So very cool. Yeah, she knows everything about the yin. So. Yeah, yeah, she was also the better. developer of one of my favorite yeah. mission trees in Ambanar, Ascaray. Ascaray. Yeah. yeah. She's a yeah. she's a insider, so she knows what she's <laughs> <an insider. laughs> Yeah, Ascaray is one of my favorite. I think the the mission tree there is phenomenal and such some really really good writing as well. Yeah. Um, and also unique government with the parliament. It's yeah. actually more in depth than the parliament we get in Base U4, so yes. it's just Amazing. Love that. I wish I've actually played it more, because I think I played it once, but I never got beyond the formable. Oh, well, uh, I, I managed to get the cool. formable after the multiplayer ended and I went to play it in single player instead. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so I managed to get the formable in 1780 or something like that. Um, and Hedarian had already died. Um, so, big sad That's on that one. Hedarian, what a chad. Yes. Well, Chad, being an elf mayor turned emperor. <laughs> he just—he never managed to see his uh, his vision come to fruition. Yeah, I mean, but I, actually, I it's will like, say it's like for me. Yeah, sorry. that campaign has—it's burned in my memory for a couple of reasons. One is the most cope MP I've played for a while, <laughs> um, but second, I as uh, as Kare, one of the most incredible things happened. I did 38,000 casualties in one tick in a battle. That's, mm -hmm. Considering the maximum possible is 40,000, I've never seen anything quite so high. Uh, I don't think I'll ever see it again. Stack it up? Like, how did you stack it up? Like, to get uh, I was fighting the undead, and I think they had a full line of cannons go onto the front lines, roll a zero to my nine, and we wiped it out. Um, but yeah, it's I, wild. God, I actually, that's one of the things I actually love about Abner is that you can have an undead army. Like, I mean, I, of course, everyone laments the fact there's no sort of Lich King sort of faction in the Abner itself. You couldn't have free willed undead or like, but like just having an undead army and just standing stacks after stacks and not even caring about their morale, you just keep sending men in. Yeah, it's just amazing. Also, if you get quantity ideas with undead um, army, you just basically get these events that say um, flocks of recruits, um, volunteers for the fight. I'm just thinking in my head, yes, volunteers from the <laughs> graveyards. 
I, I really want to play Undead in multiplayer, but you get such a target on your back when you do that. Oh, yeah, you do. Mm, yeah. Because, um, like, like, Corvuria or Order of the Iron Scepter, or, I mean, anyone can do it, but I also should play Dak at some Yeah, Dak's chain, probably... chain Grasper into Dak. Yeah. Into, well, they start with Dak, but... You know, you know, you have your hatred of uh, Jadari fans. My hatred is of Dak fans. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Court as well is another one that you could do. Oh yeah, yeah Gemrad Court. This is this is an attack that I've I have very little experience with. But do you do you want to give a bit of a overview of what's going on with Gemrad Court? Um, well, basically, the um, at the start of the game, the, the Winter Court had suffered a big defeat from the. Um, I don't know, it's like Alternamo Crusade, like the Autumn Court has invaded the Winter Court to stop them from spreading. Um, so the snack box have been sort of split up. I think it's like Amariel wants to unite um, the Winter Court again and just start... Um, has, has a contract with one of the, the Winter Prince, like one well, of the Archfey, I think he's Archfey. It's like a Fey that offers Amariel help with her powers um, in Necromancy. Um, with the Archfey, so they sort of start raising up the non snack bods. I, I hate their name, but I don't know why. But <laughs> um, uh, basically, the, it's like the, she starts raising up the enemies of the Autumn Crusaders into sort of undead troops and sort of sends them against all the other people, Erdand, um, and just basically eventually just starts uniting the whole thing and then starts an eternal winter sequence, which Sounds is fun. Good. All right, so eternal winter. Does she have, uh, she'll, she'll get on pretty well with uh, Lithiel then, from Eldar, it's the whole Ice Queen girl boss situation. That's the kind of vibe she has, yeah, but yeah. also the worst thing about Eternal Winter is you get plus one devastation in every province, like Ooh. literally as a country modifier, so you need to build forts everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> And you get that as you, your own country, as Jim yes. I suppose you're you're forming something at that point. You get uh, yes. what devastation in your own country. That's rough. That's very rough. Yeah, you need to build forts to um, prepare for that. Like literally, when I first tried, I didn't know where that was. Just like, why is the law of my country so highly devastated? And I look at the multiverse, I'm like, oh right, that's why I'm yeah. fucking myself by being an evil <laughs> witch queen. <laughs> Of course, Gemrod Court isn't being played, but we do have yeah. Arachiprun, which is yeah. of the Spring Court variety. Yeah, um, Oya is playing as the Spring Court guys. I just... Yeah. Obviously, every one of the, the courts have a different religion. They have different things giving it. And Eordilan is like the unification of the four uh, seasons. Seasons, yeah. Ten dev costs is kind of nice. Must... I actually, I, I mean, as a mechanic, I hate the um, the slider mechanic there. Like, yeah, I just absolutely oh, hate it. It's yeah, like even in vanilla, I, it's just yeah. never really made sense. That's why I don't really like uh, playing as uh, Coronite. Or has that changed nowadays? Actually, yeah. I, I know it used to have that slider mechanic, and I'm not sure if it's still the same way. It's still the same way, the but same, I think yeah, they're exactly. trying to. I think like the elves in. Um, and the Deep Woods are having their religious mechanic change from that, which is, you know, thank God I can actually yeah. play the Fae Court religion without Speaking wanting to kill Coronite, myself. Have you seen Coronite? <laughs> Coronite starts doing really good. I think well, they I actually might win the Crab, yeah, Ball, there we go. crab Bucket. If you look at the Tribal Land, they own a lot of Tribal Lands. Very nice. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And it's it's always That's so satisfying wild. when you click that button and it says That's Form really Nation, good. suddenly everything gets settled. So it looks like they, they're going to get a load from Blood Gorger now, and also a load from Bra... Uh, I will Bra say, the last time I looked at Corintar, it was about 1450, uh, 1446. It's been yeah. a while. And South Kestanath was owned by Blood Gorger and sieged by Corintar then as well. So I'm assuming this is another war that they've fought, and it's not the yeah, same yeah. one. <laughs> this, this is Blade. Yeah. This is Blade Breakers War, and they called in as ally. But yeah. it does mean mm -hmm. uh, they can get two extra bits of uh, tribal lands, and also looks like four from Blood uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's like they have to literally physically. Their capital has to physically border it to gain more beyond the border expansion, because you know how the way tribal land works in BC4 is that you can't actually expand beyond one tribal land length unless you have the capital connected to them. 
Yeah, right. which they've, is they've, weird. So they've they've done a really good move here. I think if they move one more province after this war, they can do another chain war against Sevadia. <laughs> um, yeah. and get a load of extra land up there too. Yeah, basically, I think we're going to see a Coronite. And that's my yeah. prediction so far. Yeah, and the the other players aren't really... Yeah, Smallfellows has given up on the hope of Castaneth, and they've uh, started moving away. Uh, New Wanderers as well. Oh, they don't seem like they're... Uh... New Wanderers doesn't have much land at all, really. Yeah. And the only oh, yeah. piece of land um... they've got is actually squatted on by Sword Covenant against it. So should we see, see if Mountain Shark is dead now? Because oh, they're... that's a good idea. I think they're dead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they did. They're they dead. conquered it. They're, they're dead. Yeah. They oh were... no, the Mountain Sharkers, the rebels now. I don't know where they're going, but... <laughs> um, they're going back to their starting province, I think, actually. And Ernatvir is a vassal of Ruby Company and their liberty yeah. desires 48. <laughs> <laughs> they are much more compliant. <laughs> Compliance will be rewarded. Uh, but yeah, Ruby Company is actually coring this land. They're not. They're not. Uh, they're not purging it. Purging yeah. it. Weird. I mean, they're definitely going to purge. But so we're probably um... we're not going to see. Well, we might see an old clan formed through Greedy Grim, possibly. Um, Maybe. Yeah, but... come on. Purge War Bandits. Oh, no, it purged. It pur they purged. they cored it, and then they purged it. Purged it. Yeah, just to burn up. Yeah. Yeah, they had <laughs> a power to the spare, so they want to. Um, but yeah, I mean, if the... Oh, and... No, no, you... I, I can't believe what I've just seen. They were about 99% on hold restoration efforts, and then they migrated out. Oh, They amazing. didn't finish. They didn't wow. finish. They've just abandoned all that development too, so oh. what's the situation so that looking war like? was literally for nothing. That war was for nothing. They could have just waited oh, and then migrated no. to that war to get <laughs> Oh. I feel oh, so I'm bad. so mad. That's right. Um, yeah. Oh, apparently we're being shouted at. Uh, mm. Delhi says, my army is 27k and I got no comment. I didn't look at your army. It's all right. It's 27,000. That's fair enough. However, yes. however, you are halflings. So half of 27,000 is actually 13,500. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, <laughs> if we look at the halfling military now, halfling military is a lot better than it used to be. Oh, really? Like, well, they, it was they really good before, one? though. Well, they, they um, were actually. Like, no, they, 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 yeah, sure, but it's like literally the military. No, 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 so... it, was, it was all about their merc bonuses last time yeah. I checked, right? Yeah. Amazing merc bonuses. Yeah. Especially I, with I uh, EU4B merc ideas being so overpowered. Yeah. That's right. Mm. So I think, yeah. I think halflings, like, you don't build an army properly, you just have mercs, right? It's yeah. also funny, I, I looked first I really at their powerful. decisions, I was like, oh, they can form a Denica. A Denica's a really powerful tag, maybe they should do that. And then I looked at halfling military buffs, and it's like, yeah, maybe don't, maybe don't maybe do that, yeah. you're bad at cavalry. <laughs> Unless you change yeah, military. That... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should that say to people who don't know. It's like, some tags that are, you know, their racial military is really bad at cavalry, but they specialize into cavalry, like, um, Orzalam Aldir. Yeah, um, yeah. In, are they the yeah, Ram Dwarves? They're... Yeah, That's the Ram Dwarves is like, yeah. that's just one bit where it's just, I like that sort of style gameplay. Yeah, same. Mm. We should say too, like, uh, Adenica, if you don't know, is probably one of the mm. most fun tags to play in the region. They're sort of like, yeah. uh, horse, like knights based. They're Bretonia, aren't they? Basically. Yeah, they're Bretonia. Yeah, they are pretty much yeah. Bretonia. You know, the fun thing is with Adenica is that I think, remember, like, years, I think it was like a year or something ago, I tried playing Adenica as, um, the, the Knights of the Thor, um, Company of the Thor, and I basically kept my Company of the Thor and I ideas like when they do the formal, because this was like before where they locked the whole thing in magic. I was like, form that nation to get the national ideas, then form a Denica to get the mission tree, speed run the mission tree until, and then afterwards you finish the mission tree, and then Coronite spawns, you then flip Coronite. That's what I did. For As fun. a Denica, you're flicking Coronite. <laughs> That's yeah, disgusting. I flipped Coronite. My, my nation a is is named after a god, a yeah. Dian. Yeah, Dian. But yeah. you're, I mean, sure. If you want to do that, that's it's foul. fair it's enough. Foul. <laughs> hey, I I got all those bonuses, and I decided to go Coronite because why not? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Uh, like so basically, you can just complete that mission tree before Carnite spawns. It's insane. I, I will say one of the most cursed like formations to switching and forming new tags and such that I've ever seen is uh, Ibavar into Blade Marches into Sirenvar is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's it's Have... wild and yeah, very I powerful. Be before forming into Sirenvar and then you form Blade Marches, get rid of the awful Sirenvar government. Oh, doing so it the other way around? Oh yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> oh, the gnomes are doing... What? Red scale lost to the gnomes as well. Oh no! <laughs> Although maybe they wait. What did Gowad even originally attack for? Also, oh, uh, we're gonna have another player death. Maybe. Although, yes, let's go, it's an in independence war. They've got Laurent on their side. Red glades, Sorn cost. Uh, the player of Istralor. And you uh, know what? Maybe mm. Ruby Hold could, uh, you know. Estralor oh, they are to um, big mm. time. Oh, yes, so yeah. they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well, Estralor is. To be honest. Look, who... respect for trying. Estralorians are good at combat. Like, initially, like, at first glance, you say, oh, provinces are sieged. That means it's going well. But if, the, if, the, if any of these were a fort. Yeah, but they're not. Yeah, no. they're, they're quite outnumbered, right? Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't think Lorient's got their forces out and about since it's AI. It's just being a bit, you know... No, I think they've, they've only got 19k, by the looks of it. No, yeah. Lorient's got more. Lorient definitely has more than 19k. Like, well, we can't see because... No, Lorient has 19,000 oh, 19, troops total. Yeah. Whoa, well, my... Yeah, no, Lorraine has got 19k, it's just right there. Yeah, um, it's just yeah they've got the potential to build a lot. They've got 25, yeah. they've got a much bigger force limit, but yeah. they're not doing it. But Goward is here with 48,000, yeah. so... Mm, yeah, they've got the yeah. superior. Oh, Selmaldo is also trying to help, and failing. And they're invading the this universe's equivalent of Scotland. I'm very sad right now. <laughs> the Moormen. Oh, uh, it is all over. Gawed reigns supreme here. I wonder if it's, is Gawed a great conqueror then? Well, or a mythic conqueror because they're a great power. Uh, right? so... No, they're indulgent yeah, and well advised. All right, okay. Um, do we have great and mythic conquerors enabled for this? I'm like, I'm not... sure. I don't know, but Teladora should be one, if anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kavoria uh, is doing the smart thing uh, on a multiplayer game. Colonizing the coast to stop being cock blocked by someone. Well, Eberthil's yeah. not playing, so I don't think it was going to happen anyway. And um, plus, Eberthil's time in the sun has come to an end because they're being invaded by Bulusar. I mean, it makes sense. Like, you got you got to take Eberthil out as fast as you can. Yeah. Briar is being played. Briar. What's Briar? Hmm. Uh, Bri what are you talking Briar? Oh, Bizarre. Oh, Bizarre, Tez. You know, your favorite nation. Ah. Yeah. Talking about Wait, playing someone is Bizarre. playing it? I didn't even realize it was being... Ah, yeah, oh, you yeah, legend. Love is playing it. You yeah. legend. I didn't know it was being played by anyone. Okay, my new favorite nation. Uh, Well, not new. It's always been a favorite nation. My... I'm biased. <laughs> I, no, there is no bias in Basing Se. No. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite for this campaign. I didn't know it was going to be played. Oh my god, why is Ketaretta blue? What the fuck is this? Because Nirat won their civil war. Oh my god. That's what happens when Nirat natural. wins. I quite like it. Yeah, it's it's unnatural, but it's quite pretty. <laughs> You're also biased towards Karlov for writing reviewer rep reasons. I mean, yeah. it's just a really cool nation. It's the mm. uh, mission tree is really fun. The uh, incidents are really fun. They're all really well written. It's basically, mm -hmm. flavor-wise, it double dips, right? It's got its flavor from the mission tree, but it's also got the flavor from the religion. And not many other countries can boast like that much religion flavor in comparison to it. Um, yeah. 
the amount of the wealth of events, just the quality there. Oh, I just I love it. If you haven't played Broside Tensions, just just do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've I pretty much played a few different nations in that area as well. Um, although I will say this one thing is trying to grab the mandate of he well, you know, the mandate of heaven mechanic. Like it yeah. in in Abner, it does not change your government. You just get the mandate of heaven um, as whatever government you had before. So if you're like the Phoenix Estate, for example, and you take over Cataretta, you still get the Phoenix Estate stuff, but you just get the mandate stuff. Right. So you've got more flavor there. If you want to get pet some cats or something, cat people. I was going to say, I've never seen Ovdal Tungur expand, but it's being played by, uh, who yeah. is this? Uh, Unmortal guy. So that's why Unmortal. I really want to see Ovdal Tungur get a mission tree. Is it, it's in, yeah, same. For all of the dwarves, it is in the most <laughs> unique position, bar perhaps... I mean, the only other one that's in a more unique position is Verkal Ozovar, I'd say. Um, and Ozovar has a fantastic mission tree, they in my do. opinion. Yeah. yeah. Um, what well, I think there's like plans to make Tunga have a sort of a unique flagship, which get like you you do you remember like the April Fools thing a wee while back, like a year ago or something, where the um, you could play as the Fault Elves in the Yin. Do you remember that? I don't know. Yeah, no, but I think it's basically, like, the whole idea behind the, like, they got a unique flagship that could solo entire navies. Oh, damn. But basically, I think that there was a f an idea that Tonga would probably get something similar to that, like, not as overpowered, naturally, but they get a flagship that just makes it a giant floating hold. Well, you that can would have just... unique ships now in my latest patch, yeah. right? So that's yeah. modable. Yeah. So they could, they could theoretically be a way where you could make yeah. a unique ironclad ship for Hobble Tonga. Yeah. In the same way that in vanilla you get like VOC ships and what's the what's the one Britain gets? The Britain gets oh fuck. Um I mean I know they get a wooden wall in their naval thing in your bobs, but yeah, no, they get um they get a unique unit, right? Yeah, they do get a unique unit. Yeah. They're like the red uh what are they? Of course. Well I, I'm thinking of the red no, coats no. for some reason, but that's not naval. Not red coats. That's... Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about red coats, I'm talking about like the ship. Like, when you click on it, they're red in this panel. Yes. That's right, yeah, yeah. That's Wait, is it Ship of the Line? It might be called oh, Ship, of Ship of the Line. Man of War. No, it is Man, Man of War. War. Man of War. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. chat, yeah. chat is there to pick up the pieces when we fail. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh! Exactly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I just... Wait a minute. Hold up. Yeah, the, man, the man named Elephanta is playing the nation... That forms the Elephant Riders. Elephant <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. He he was so excited to play as the Elephant Riders, as far as I remember. It's just... I feel it's like this is it. rigged. <laughs> some some paid actors around here. Uh, but yeah, this nation, um, if somebody tries to seed here in multiplayer, uh, tell them no. Um, it's really powerful. It's yeah. so powerful. Yeah. Uh, their cavalry combat ability. I mean, he's already got um thirty percent. One of his uh, missions, I believe, requires him to have a hundred percent. So, like, you can kind of see where that's going. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go insane over the roof. Uh, wow. And his his ruler is a five shock. With cav flanking ability and cav to infantry ratio, I guess he starts the game with this guy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this is it is really really powerful. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I've ever actually played them. So maybe I should. I mean, like the usual ranch nations I play are usually um, like the Raganaga at the top, like yeah. the Rune Kingdom one, and then it's like the one that's you know the black tag nation right down there. Rabagekur. Rakabaka. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It, An attempt it. was made. Yeah. That's all we need. Um, but yeah, there's another um, mission or another another nation that, compared to the Steam released version, uh, has also been updated in this version. Uh, is Chien Bin Rung? Uh, they've got oh, a new yeah. mission tree, and the Amazons, I think like they are interesting because they're just they're just like a matriarchy nation. That's yeah, what it's Part another is... girl boss nation, and we hmm. we're all fine with this. This is great. More gold yeah. boss nations, uh, led by this woman who I'm not going even going to pretend to pronounce. Uh, uh, I'm going to try. Anorang <laughs> Nichratrang. 
Nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> nailed it. And this one's not even evil, like 90% of the <laughs> bosses in this game for some reason. Yeah, I mean, right, we've, yet, we've yet, to be, this yet to be determined. Um, <laughs> Underlying. But yeah, Underlying they're, they got a new mission yeah, tree. Sure. Apparently, it's very strong. Yep. Yeah. Play, oh, is it player war? We have a player war? No, we don't. Hmm. Somebody said player war. Well, I there's no blue flame, so I think not, you fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, a cow, oh cow, cow head is just, oh, they're so steamrolling. Yeah, when is the yeah. estimated date for release of Anne Banafa 135? It's November something, right? As far as I'm aware? Yeah, November. Um, I thought it was a, like the 30th, but I could be wrong about that. Someone's saying 20th? Two people are saying 20th? Yeah, if two 20th people independently like one, say 20th, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go yeah. with that. Sure. Yeah, yeah they're saying 20th. If, so it must if two be people say something, it's a fact. Three people say 20th. Look, three people. <laughs> Four! Wait, no. <laughs> so, yeah, December the 12th, actually. Yeah, oh my God. no, yeah, definitely, definitely. One day before oh. your birthday, you wasn't able to make them delay it one day. I mean, early, I mean, you never know. It's getting released on the 20th somewhere in the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah it could so be at, really at, late. Yeah, so it, it'll be the 21st somewhere in the world when it's released. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. It's your birthday gift, Ditto. You can have that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder good. what Shadow Dreamer's up to. They haven't escaped the cave or anything. Yeah, Shadow he's... Dreamer is... Who now? Um, over by Akasur. Akasur. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, just like... Oh, they're, they are doing stuff. They're yeah, eating. I, I, I didn't even I know this was a country. I thought they were going to go escape and become Karasha, but... They well, they're currently murdering the company of the Grudge Bearers. Yeah. And yet they're just clearing the way and then they're going to go to it? Well, I mean, Greedy Grin's already taken over um, the, you know, Verkal Gulen, so that's out of the question for them. Uh, further north, there's another player on Skewa Drake. So you're kind of stuck in this middle area and yeah, two people next to you may decide that you don't live so who knows yeah what they may no, be they're, doing they're is like time. migrating around building up their points um waiting for the mage leader to die on greedy grin and maybe they're gonna go to greedy grin, possibly potentially i mean 61 it's not not long for the world uh, what is the uh, FLI player doing? Are they still teleporting around? Uh, they're in the same place that we last around. saw them. But also yeah, but probably. They probably teleported around a few times. Yeah. As well. Murder. Why does this remind everything in this game for some reason reminds me of World of Warcraft now? Murderon. Murderon. Uh, well, there's a lot like of a things. Dungeon. There's <laughs> a lot of things that are based on World of Warcraft, right? Um, yeah. Uh, as, well as, yeah. as well as Dragon Age, as well as every uh, single fantasy setting. Yes. That's right, yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Wasn't this yeah. a player? There's not much yeah. of Discord. Um, oh no, it was Baharkand really, yeah. that was the player. I really hope yeah. they turn Ambencast into sort of Ankh Morpork at some point. <laughs> 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 I really want that. <laughs> oh, and Just any kind of reference you. to the Terry Pratchett, I'm in entirely 100% down for Same. straight up no Same. no arguments here yeah I mean you, you will find a developer in the server that will absolutely be a fanatic of any sort of fantasy series possible just ask out and then they will yeah just I really ahead. ank more pork up and then cost go message Hoya maybe he will well, well, my, my uh, favourite book of all time is Nightwatch like I've yes, reread that book yeah. about a dozen times in my life. I love it, like unironically. So yeah, if I'm, if I'm series is always pretty good. My favorite is Moist One Lip Break by by quite a margin. Going postal, making money, less raising steam, but I think it was, I think it was perfectly acceptable that raising steam wasn't very good. It was <laughs> completely legitimate reasons why it wasn't very good. Uh, I also like the We Free Men. When I read that yeah. book, I was like, I had yeah. no idea it was by the same author because I was like eight at the time. And <laughs> yeah, that We Free Men series uh, is great as well. 
yeah. yeah, unfortunately, my favorite series is literally just, it's not fantasy, it was like Mortal Engines. Do you remember that one? Uh, I have mm, read Mortal yeah. Engines. I, I remember, yeah. is that the same Mortal Engines that they made a really bad movie about? Yes, uh. and the movie is so bad, it butchers the first book. Oh <laughs> no, I didn't even realize that was, that was yeah. part of it. Was that Terry? I didn't know that. Me neither. Mm. It was, I loved that series. Ugh. It's a cool concept, but yeah, the movie was just yeah. terrible. Yeah, the movie was just terrible. And why the There's fuck two, two players in the lake fed? Did we really miss out the lake fed? I mean, like, it's by intention because oh, I hate yeah, the lake fed. Oh, yeah, there are players but... in the lake fed. I forgot about this. Zerkanre. They do it's the lake fed. Did either of them actually manage to take the Federation lead? Oh, um, Oka died. If when we did that turn happen? into them, we'll be able to find out if we go to decisions. If we go into the decisions of yeah. the, any of the Lake Fed tanks, we should see um, Federation standing. Ah, uh, there. Yeah. Federation oh. leader is Zorkanrek. Yes. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. When he actually goes, I've I've not played the Lake Fed. I've just had them in games that I've played in. Um, mm. but yeah, when they manage to do something in this. Holy hell, that's a mission tree. Um, yeah, the mission tree decides what sort of nation you're forming. Okay? Yeah. So you need to and do get all of it and... annexed in a tick as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Wild. Three cores and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do start as the leader. Yeah, but usually you can shift them off the leadership because, you know, it, um, if, if they weren't a player, the AI is quite stupid about the Federation leadership. So how, so. how would you be able to tell what Zerk Henrik has done? Like, which kind of lake fed are they going to form? Oh god, there's like seven different kinds of lake feds. Like and they all have their own mission trees and ideas. Um like it, Is it possible one... to see which path they're going down so far? Not an easy way, no, but if you know like the mission combinations, for example, if you have more of a military stance, if you take past more military reforms, you get a more militaristic flake federation, like mm. a gun federation, I think was one of them, for example. So Sodge Dalaset is the one that I've most experience with. I'm the most experienced with Skookakwoka, I can't remember what it was, I think that's like a middle ground one. Fair but, enough. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, Lake Fed apparently the people are all. bastards in chat. Dark Scale something happened? Is Dark Scale dying? Yeah, Dark Scale Oh, dead. I think Azra Expedition killed Dark Scale, that's why people yeah. don't like him anymore. Okay, yeah, no, absolutely. Fucking hell, they killed the Dark Scales. <laughs> Big black mark on their name. Right there. Oh wait, Ruby Company has returned to the province, oh, and they are once are again restored. Are they going to repair it again? <laughs> How long do you Please. think it's going to take until they re re move migrate you know, from that? Uh, well, you know, it's going to be finished in uh, the third month of 1457. So I'm reckoning around about January 1457 they will be uh, migrating away. Yes. <laughs> Oh no, please. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's it's just something funny about the AI. They yeah, just... I'd be dumb. Yeah. Oh, Gawed is fighting. Is this no, going to be all fighting. over or is there mm. a chance? Hey, well, it's a pretty no, close okay. battle. Um, yeah. Gawed has the flanking, but the shock Oh, Istralor is coming up. We got the wing to Sarge. Oh, it Istralor doesn't matter. Crusaders. No, they're... No, uh, Viswalov's won anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Halfling I think they might just yeah. pull through. I think Lorentz actually pulling its weight there. Look, they're building a lot of troops. Nice. Is Lorentz actually... You know, they're up to 26,000 men. Yeah. Gawed... Um, Gawed down to 28. Oh, 27. I think Hang this on, is, there, I think there is a blue this. flame in the yin, apparently. Blue flame. Um, in it? the end, I think Amanda's fighting someone. Um, like, no, no apparently not. No. Avarin is at war with. Uh, yeah. Adbrabovri? Sure. Oh, it must have been a fake war. That's what happened. It, it was probably like a fake war. They just, you know, sort of. Because um, the other players in the north is now a vassal of Avarin. Uh -huh. Ah, so it's yeah. Like, so yeah. I think it must have just been like a really short blue flame thing. Oh, look at that! Yeah. That is looking real sweet, isn't it? Sussurus. Yeah, yeah. Sussurus is now um, is now the subject. Ah. How is Amanda doing with? Can, can we have the? Oh, it does. It works. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah. Liberty oh, Desire is just a number. Yeah, it's just yeah. a number. I'm yeah, sure. Look, they've got the same color on the map as her, therefore, that's that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. That's, yeah, that's, it's it's, yeah, it's going great. Nothing could potentially go wrong with this. Great. Yeah, no, nothing at all. Um, are you getting the rune people in? Are you getting the rune scribers in? They need to be a bit more present in our region. I have no idea what that means. What's Escan well, like, looking been... like? No, well... uh, people haven't f uh, unified their regions yet, but it's looking like a fat Corin win uh, so yeah, far. I think it is. Yeah, That's yeah, so yeah, much bigger think... than the small fellows. Which mm -hmm. somewhere around here is his Wait, actual what? nation. Oh, yeah. Where, Where is, is he? Corrin there he is. To? Oh, I see, I see. Look at that. Now, there we go, small fellows. Is there a contender Raven Banner as well? Is expanding quite far? Oh, um, it's Gallant Friends. There's Raven Banner. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're doing yeah, all right. Yeah, they're doing all right. So that's, yeah. a, that's a nice, free, easy vassal for Corrin. Yeah. Uh, for uh, they're well, Forming their own country though. turns them into Raven March. But if they get to where is the province? Blades Keep, they might be able to form um, blade, marches. blade marches. Yeah, yeah I love blade marches. It's it's just, a, it's, it's, it's another one of those map. that's on the list to play. Yeah, yeah. It's like basically every time you ascend as a ruler, if you take up the blade and you're not worthy, you get your eyes blasted out because the sword doesn't says fuck you. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a sword? Yeah. Yeah. The trouble with magical swords oh. these days. Order of the Iron Scepter is another one that I I think yeah. here I love. I I have a I have a very hot take when it comes to Order of the Iron Scepter though, which I'm not sure many mm -hmm. people would agree with, or maybe they do. Who knows? I think yeah, Order of the Iron Scepter is amazing. I think Esthil, who they form, is amazing. Some of the best writing I've had uh, I've read in Anbanar, and I think as soon as you form Black Domain. Turn off and go find someone else to play because it's it's not it's not fun. Black but domain the, isn't fun. The only it's problem is the managing. Domain. Admittedly, the, the border gore is probably. Not it's not even the border, border gore. gore. It's just it's just not fun to oh go and Honestly, I, go and I, full annex another it. country and have fun. No, it's not bad. It's not good. Well, you don't you don't like raising an undead dragon to blast um, forth that, down. That's cool. That's not really what my problem with Black Domain is, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, the Border Gore is for me. I mean, it's yeah. the... <laughs> yeah, the Border yeah, Gore is definitely... Me. It's really bad. And it's yeah, also I why I haven't play. played as uh, Castanor. Is it? The, the formable is Castanor. is a lot of fun. It's pretty good. But yeah, they have the same Castanor kind of go conquer everything, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they but are you build roads and, and stuff, establishing legions. Quite... They establish a lot of legions, so you're just building roads with those legions. It's interesting. Oh, I'm just thinking. Castle Thank you very much, Flash. New, Appreciate that. The new like uh, mercenary ideas, because each legion is a mercenary group. Yeah, they are. Mm. So they're going to be so good with mercenary ideas now. Yeah. yeah Castle is fun until you start them. establishing yeah. legions. I'm, I, mm -hmm. I might have to play it just so I can like speak with experience rather than through my ass. Uh, um, yeah, really you have a sort of choose your own adventure every time you get a new leader, which is really fun because mm. the way they get a new leader is you have to complete some trials. Right. Um, and you have to yeah. defeat like, uh, like a dragon or do some magic or shout really loudly. And it's really cool. So every time yeah, you have a new leader orcs, dies, yeah, we have, an we have one game. player orc here in Clouded yeah. Eye. We yep. got a few orcs. In, well, we got one mount, one mountain orc um, over in Shadow Dreamer. Oh, are they orcs so. as well? I thought they were goblins. My bad. Yeah, Shadow Dreamer is orcs. Yeah. And Look, I just tend to think orcs. anyone that's in the mountains is probably a goblin or a dwarf. <laughs> and I mean, the way that, that you differentiate is: uh, is their flag very angular, um, like we have with Ruby Company, like lots of like shapes, uh, or is it made with crayon? Yeah. Um, Although I, I guess Shattered Crown is like, they're also orcs, but they're the they're the one they're these the only orcs in, in the Dwarvar. But yeah, I, this I, is I, canon now. There are no more orcs in the Dwarvar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, Crown. they all went oh, into Escan, all of them. <laughs> they left none behind. I, think, I was yeah. talking to Jay about the flags for like uh, goblins. I think he mentioned he just like made them 
originally an MS Paint like the brush tool. I yeah, no, so. that yeah. was the uh, perfect of it. Yeah, <laughs> which is a great thing because they turned out really, they look really crude, which is perfect. Yeah, my personal favorite has to be, of course, Snot Finger, which is. Oh, the they're over here it. somewhere, aren't they? They're dead, sadly. Ah, oh. yeah. Have but they cores anywhere? Good point. Let's have a look. But yeah, it's a, it's a finger of snot mm -hmm. on it. Not as much as Corrin's had, but... Stream no, has it's... returned. Stream has returned. Hooray! Apologies for that. Yeah, as yeah. I was saying, uh, I have no idea what I was saying. Yeah, small colours. <laughs> Check out small colours. They, they got a lot of uh, tribal land now. Um, they're actually doing pretty well. They're going to have a yeah. very ugly looking nation Long. when uh, when they unify. Oh, oh, actually, let's have a look. How yeah. close are they to unifying? Because obviously they need to get to tier six secularization. Uh, um, right I would now, say it's it's 1460. I think is usually the time when people re, um, sec, um, become an actual country. Well, 1460, 1460. Small fellows is like three tiers away from it. Uh, we've got yeah, but they do gain it really quickly if you look at the gain for the country, like. Uh, plus 0.83. That's not great. Oh, that's no, 2.8. 2.8 per month. Oh, where am I sitting? Where am I messing up? Oh, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. 2.8 a month. Is this good? Uh, we've yeah, also wrong. got new wanderers who are slightly behind them, but not that much. They're getting 2.2 uh, a month. On. What buildings do they have? That because they it they will be contrasting depending on what building they built. Like if they built Reform, the Reform Gu Guild Hall like for yes. uh, small fellows. And yeah. nothing for uh, well, yeah. Not that, that is why. That is why they're behind. Uh, Corinta, uh, they're on tier five already. Yeah, but they start on tier three, I think, at the start. That will explain right. it. Yeah. Um, they're on uh, two point two five a month as well. Oh yeah. Um, apparently, if we go to Azra. We can talk about the expeditions because the person who's playing Azra expedition is doing an expedition. Oh, beautiful! I love, I love these. Yeah. All right. So if we click on expeditionary party, oh, no, no, no! Yeah, it doesn't can't, show we it. Can't, as it doesn't appear. That's unfortunate. Damn. Yeah, it's all event based. So it's yeah. yeah. So there is a whole UI that you can open up, um, so that you can go and use these expedition targets. You get a bunch of really cool writing. Uh, it's basically like a D and D dungeon dive delving adventure, uh, yeah, where you get various events coming up. Um, there is a horde of goblins coming towards you. Do you want to um, pretend like your party is bigger? Like you, it's not four people. It's like you know several thousand that you're bringing with you. Do you want to pretend like you've got way more than you have and maybe scare them off? Do you want to hide yeah. from them and all this? And there's various like. Uh, I think I've actually suggested results. a few encounters for the expeditions back when it was getting start up. Like I think like I suggested the Mad Golem one, oh, right. as cool. well as the the Obsidian Legion. If they spawn, they will pop up in the expeditions. Oh, that's so cool. I don't remember. Yeah, but I stuff I really like when you pop up. You get unique uh, choices also. Yeah, and I think more unique little choices in most expeditions. Great. Yeah. Like, every time you pop up, it's like, oh, I've got so I can make gas masks. That's yeah. fucking cool when that pops up. There's uh, also yeah. no, like, this is the correct answer, because mm. every option has a positive and a negative potential outcome. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, yeah, I really like that uh, part of it. Albeit, that being said, there is a formula to um, how you complete the expedition based on what the difficulty ranking is. There is a set laid out formula that will allow you to get a victory 100% of the time. Oh well, that, um, that so need, it's disappointing that to learn that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about. Yeah. Would you I'll like to interview you... a dead player? Yes. Let's get yeah, and sure. leave in here, and um, uh, we can. Move to the general channel, and I'll move you in. Uh, oh, it's like, fine. I in... see him. I see him. I can drag yeah. him down. Oh, you see him. All right. Okay. Yeah. If you want to undeafen right. yourself, then. Uh... Yeah, undeafen yourself, my man. Hello. Can you... Hello there. Hello. So first of all, tell us what country you were playing. Oh, I was playing as Garsfulshim, the ogre minor tributary of Magharma, which borders the wild clans. Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And uh, I, I regret no it. We didn't look map. too much over here, but yeah, how, how did you die? Disappeared. <laughs> so, uh, 
I was doing uh, early wars against the northern clans because I'm the only uh, Magfarman tag which borders them, so I can just directly conquer into them without uh, bothering with like the alliance network of like the tributaries. Uh -huh. So, uh, what was it? I'm trying to think. Uh, I think I went after. Um, I forget the names. Suffice it to say, I expanded north. Uh, Centaurs conquered one of the wild clans instead of me. Then I fought uh, Frosthide, and yeah. I forgot that they had that a powerful mate. <laughs> yeah. Now, that wouldn't have been a problem if I also had not um, mothballed my capital fort. Oh. So they were able to siege it with a 3k stack instead of a 9k stack as they five would have been siege. required. Wait, no, it's not even 5 siege, it's 6 siege. You got. Box there. Yeah. Ten shots so, six ages, um, crazy. They were able to destroy me. And they wanted to make me a tributary, so I just accepted demands and then quit, and then the tributary to my south conquered the rest of my land. Ah. Are you gonna play as a different nation, do you think? Are you gonna take uh, I'm not sure. Or? I will leave that up to other people. Yeah, you okay. Okay, well it, was, we were, it we sounds like you've had a about... bad game so far. <laughs> Well, I was what expecting that I would probably... It was a good chance that I would die to AI. I didn't mm -hmm. suspect that it might be because of this. You weren't the but... only one, though, so don't don't feel too bad. No, that's fine. And it's a pretty yeah. hard start, too, right? Yeah, you're not playing as Magma Harma, so it is going to be absolutely difficult to play unless yeah. you were starting as a mage guy. Like, which, like yeah. Frost, Frost Tide or Magna? Yeah, but it's a bit yeah. too... I, I, like, I like Frost Tide. Frost Tide's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elemental yeah. ogres, you can't go wrong with them. Um, yeah. but as well, uh, what do you do with uh, inside Anbana? What's your role? Oh, um, I've been doing, I did a little bit of writing at the start. I assisted with, um, Miracle Ozovar. I wrote the entirety of Mulen, which is in the bit bucket, will be released. Mm -hmm. Um, I have an active mission tree proposal, which is encoding and localization for Begaston, which come out are formed by Shining Circle, which are an adventurer company in the Yin that spawns out of Dame's Crown. Okay. And to my knowledge, they will be the first uh, Peasant Republic mission tree in the mod. Oh, nice. Good. Everyone so that, always I've goes done... crazy over uh, the Peasant Republic that I forget the name of, just south of Denmark in vanilla. So I'm sure yeah. we could uh, we could get some equal amount of love for your um, for your well, new nation as well. Yeah, and no. also can we get a sort of Soviet Union analog to the end of that mission tree as well? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I've actually not played any um, vanilla peasant republics, so I'm not sure what uh, they're doing. It's it's just I remember Diff Martian having a sort of weird Soviet Union moment in the end of their mission tree, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll see. So along with I've also done a bit of art. Not much, though. Uh, I did the Yezlmora flag. All right. Uh, the hat and the night hags, the flags. The, uh, the oh, shadow yeah. trolls. It looks oh, I, I would, look, looks I'm really not going to nice. lie. When I was... When we were doing the... Initial look around the map uh, in the lobby simulator. Um, I was <laughs> gonna say that Yeselmore is my new favorite flag in the mod because it, it is just great. absolutely delicious. I love the the spiral. So yeah, good work on that. All right, thank you. Yeah, uh, it's kind of hard to see good. at this scale, but like the obvious oh, in inspiration is like a triple three, as in the three hags, which they used to be factions, but I think they're implemented dif differently now. And in their mission will be in their mission tree but yeah. it's gonna be like i think the flag is i intended it to be like vertebra but also like worm bit in the center and then in the negative space like thorns yeah very cool it's it's, it's hard it's to see with that compression looks, looks menacing it does yeah it is very menacing <laughs> thank you yeah. all right i like it yeah. you can definitely see the the vertebrae in it for sure Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good job. Oh yeah, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, like yes, to the I. Stream? Yes, apologize for dying as Garswolshin because I did want to show off the concept I had for them. Uh, they would not form 
uh, Magharma or Skirkokli. Skirkokli would be even wild clans anyway. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I've, sp I've spoken with the uh, Forbidden Plains lead about this, and they're on board, but there's a whole bunch of stuff which would have to happen. There's huge reworks all across the Forbidden Plains for the Lake Fed, for the Centaurs, which are going to do be able to do different things than just be a Karain Uleg and go wild across the world. Also, the Ogres are getting a rework where they will have a doom-based religion that has to go through reforms, reflavored to hunger. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Cool. And be whereas, like, this Krakokli... Yeah, Feast of the Gods does need a little bit more flavor, right? I mean, I definitely has yes. a unique mechanic. I honestly feel like it needs a reformation religion for itself anyway, but yeah, it's just lore mm. for me. Reflavored has a very different meaning in this context. <laughs> oh, yes. And especially with uh, Garsvalshim. Now, you can't see them anymore on this map, so you won't be able to look at their national ideas, but now all the miners have uh, national ideas. Some are shared, some are unique. I think slots yeah. 1, 4, and 7 are the unique ones. Okay, but um, the concept for Garsvalshim is that they will become a culinary theocracy and convert oh, that, people. That is a pair of words that has never gone together before. Okay, I, can, I, I hope there's some form of interaction with the halflings involved in this. Oh, oh yeah, well, that'd be funny. The idea the is that you're going to. Take control of the entire Forbidden Plains, convert people to Feast of the Gods as like, a, you're a religious tag. So this is representing your dining and etiquette, I guess, being spread more than your religious belief, which is not just to the so, Feast of the Gods, but to feast like the gods. Right. And you will want to collect in rare ingredients from all around the world hmm. and try oh, and grow some of them in the Forbidden awesome. Plains. That's oddly wholesome for ogres. I'm gonna be not gonna be one honest. of those ingredients is elves. So uh, I mean, have, you, have, you you, would... have you played uh, Warhammer Total War? Do you play much of that? No, but I'm aware of many okay, different there's, there's, a fa there's a faction called um, Gromba Paunch, which has a sort of mechanic where you have to go source ingredients from places. Yeah, I know. If it's part of the like uh, that, Reformation, I'm so on Sorry. board. It sounds that's part of the yeah. Reformation re reforms of the. Mecha religious mechanics hmm. would be um, reforming out of cannibalism into some kind of uh, transubstantiation where you can absorb the essences of other cultures so more spiritually, it, I guess. Is it going to be like the Confucian mechanic where you're going to harmonize, where the harmonization is essentially... I don't think it's... It, this is more like a localization thing. Got you, I see, I see. Yeah. Also, a Confucian mechanic can just is not well liked by the community. So, mm. don't see that going particularly well. I don't think anything's got a confusion mechanic in Amber Dark, right? Hello there. The thought um, does, the norms. The thought does, right. yes. Oh, of course it does. Lastly, yeah, right. uh, some kind of minor cooking mechanic where you, of all these ingredients, are collecting from around the world, mostly through diplomatic actions or through doing uh, specific humiliate wars, right. would be like every 20 years or so um, having a grand feast and choosing what ingredients to add to it to get some kind of uh, customizable temporary modifier. But this is all uh, far off into the future because the entire Forbidden Plains rework essentially has to be done before I would get to do any of this. And there's another mission tree which I would like to work on between that and Begaston anyway. Cool. Very cool. Well, thanks for, uh, uh, for enlightening us on what you've got going on. Appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Have a good yeah, day. Yes, pleasure. You. Yeah, pop back anytime. And good luck when they, whenever you get reseeded or something. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. It's round two. Save it. It's to re-release the nation you died as. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Get, wait, All right. Get, yeah. Let, let him cook, him. indeed. Let him cook. Let him Thank cook, you. literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of right. harmonization mechanics, I know I'm, I'm a bit of a goblin fanatic, but... I remember reading somewhere there was going to be a different goblin religion. Now, if there was a goblin religion with harmonizing mechanics, where you basically bastardize other religions into your <laughs> your, your fucked up goblin ways, that'd be great, right? 
Yeah, no, that would absolutely be interesting. I think they try and do that with Goblin Shamanism a little bit, but it's not quite there. Yeah, yeah. But you, you, mm. got, you do get that with Goblin Shamanism, right? You get really cool little events, really funny mm -hmm. events too. Um, for example, um, when you synchronize with a Jad, and it's all about tolerance and you know getting yeah. on with each other, goblins don't really understand that very well. Yeah. Um, so they've heard of a phrase like burying the hatchet, right? Um, and part of the cult, they literally, they have a fight about who gets to bury the hatchet, literally burying a hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> they squabble over who gets to be the hatchet burier. Um, oh God. I like uh, the concept. Ever, ever, so another one with, like, Dukan, um, where, like, mm -hmm. they know that Dukan is, like, chained up somewhere. Yeah. Um, so they find a big hole in the caves and we go, oh, Dukan's definitely down there. So we'll throw him a bunch of keys or something down there. And then we go, well done, we've unchained Dukan. We've done it. <laughs> and pat ourselves on the back. Get Dwarven Ancestry, one of the goblins says, yes, I am I'm the heir to this goblin ancestor, actually. <laughs> it's me. And everyone just say, oh, man. Very good. All restoration operations are finished in, oh. uh, in a month. So Are they going we're, to migrate? Let's, let's see uh, if they migrate. Uh, they've got uh, two weeks to migrate. I'm going to be very disappointed when they don't migrate. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, they migrate to an adjacent province. It's going to be really. I mean, I'd be pretty impressed if they migrated to a province they weren't adjacent to. I'm not going to lie. No, they can teleport, <laughs> right? Is yeah, that these guys. Oh, they did it. They did it. They've they've oh restored God. the hold. Oh, sorry, I, was, I thought you were talking about the... Oh, wait. Uh, sorry. Hold on, the Yunnik Empire has been restored. Let's go back to the inn. Have a look. Hello over there, let's Hello. go. New oh color. my god. It's... Well, I mean, that's... Yeah, there we go. The Yunnik Empire is back. They have their antler knights now everywhere. Do you, if I had a chance, do you, like, integrate these at all? Is that is that a thing? It's an eventuality. I <laughs> wish <laughs> I imagine I, you, I, you I kind of want I, that to happen. <laughs> I haven't survived this long. To, uh... No one has. This is the, this is no the, one has. this is an Anbana first right now. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Yeah. World first, fourteen fifty seven uh, Arbarian uh, speed run right here. Amanda, you are a champion. I yeah, I'm really impressed. I give you a salute really right impressed. there. Uh, we're and we're only in three hundred ducats of debt, losing ten ducats a month with a total Ooh, income of three. <laughs> Uh, actually yeah. quite good not bankrupt yet there there we go i mean so uh, what's it called florinomics just to sort this yeah florinomics yeah amanda has been studying underneath flurry's um economic theory and <laughs> she's been excelling with it <laughs> i suppose is it is it just like you know one more conquest and then and then uh, well there's still that middle tag that's not been integrated yet the difference uh, can work well yeah there's that other one as well I can't say these names. They're too Slavic for me to say. Uh, Drift Canoe. Um, Drift Canoe. There we go. We got a Drift Canoe. Drift Canoe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A canoe driven by a dude called Drev. Yeah. Yes. Although I think I was thinking of a drift, as in, you know, sick drift in uh, Johnny Hawk Skater. It's just a canoe instead of a skateboard. Has anyone taken early. Uh, exploration. Pearl's Edge have taken exploration early. Mm -hmm. Pearl's yeah. Edge a player. Yeah. Yep. They I'm are. Kind of sure. wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's that's, that's it yeah. then. Everyone started taking their ideas. So that's something we could have a look at and see what yeah. what kind of plans people have for that. So, not Boosla. Bursar Tenches, my beloved, hasn't yet. No. Okay, um, so the tech is what? only just really become relevant. Yeah. It's going to take a little while. Yeah, it's um, tech 5. I mean, Tech 5 is now, but obviously not everyone has the uh, the Renaissance. Hang on. Let's look at Adshaw for a second, because they might have the a national idea, or have an idea picked. No, nope, they like, haven't got the you know, no. they haven't got Tech 5. Have tech, yeah. yeah, they haven't they haven't had the Rebellion against Frozen Mall yet, so that's going to be an interesting one to look out for. I think that's in 1460 we get to see that. Well, the only the only people is uh the only players that have technol uh, tech Tell five em. is Tellum, which I didn't know was yeah. being played on Pearl's Edge. So let's have a look at Tellum. Yeah, let's have a look at Tellum. Tell They've got espionage. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. 
Um, but yeah, tell him... 666 ruler. I mean, you can't say no to it. And... No mission tree, but aren't they like the... The town crier kind of meme nation put there because people yeah, kept asking are, for uh, release dates or something? Yeah, now don't, don't tell anyone I said this, but... They kind of worship some unsavory chaps, let's say, in the void. Okay. The, the Dark Descendants are somewhere related. They but worship that's, Jay. That's the whole community meme thing, but... Yeah. They are just town, town, town criers. It's got a little Cthulhu-esque inspiration for it. Like as it. As I Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. For whom the bell tolls. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's achievements, we should say, too, in this day. We can't see it in observer mode. So yeah, it's... unfortunately, we can't see it in observer mode, but we do have an achievements menu. Yeah. Uh, one of the ones that I've seen for achievements is if you're playing as Bursartensius. Uh, or, mm -hmm. I mean, you could play as one of the other ones, but why would you? Right? Phoenix <laughs> Empire. One of the achievements is to conquer basically all of Jahur's empire by the year, like, 1600 or something. And I don't know if you know this, but that empire stretched from, like, Anbancost yeah, to... Um, wait, actually... Tianlu. So... It, de it depends right. which um, Phoenix empire you're talking about. If you're talking about Jahur's, he didn't reach Anbancost, he reached Corburia um, to um, Tianlu, but he got murdered in Tianlu, I think. Right. So... And the Empire got I'm, I'm, so, I'm and... sorry, I missed out yeah. about, yeah, like... you know, 100 kilometers yeah. of his of his 7,000 kilometer wide empire. Yeah, I know, it's only 100. <laughs> no, sorry, it's only yeah, Jahar's like empire, basically... so it's Corvuria to Teanuk, okay. Yeah, but his daughter, Jexus the Burned Empress, who only had half the empire from around, you know, where Sidan sort of ends to um, Abincos, that was her um, length of the empire. Um, I think the the other son, Jeriel, uh, had the eastern part of the empire, and he was just generally chill, and but still got murdered. So yeah, I mean, it's it's just what was. happens. Yeah, they hate elves in in a Halus. It just happens. It does. That's why they all yeah. went to. Oh, they're dead. That's why they all went to uh, live in Asgare, uh Into Asker, the. Asgare, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what their f little fortress is called. Um, that's why there's such a high percentage of elves here mm. uh and then also there's quite a few elves in uh Arachlin as well Arachlin, yeah there's a lot of half elves primarily there as well but, yeah but everywhere else in that in that content let's just murder elves okay you elves can't really cool. blame them when like you know, big empire just straight up murders a ton of you it's, you know <laughs> you're inferior to them so, yeah, it's, no. it's, it's it's understandable elven imperialism at work here Oof. I mean, I am certified elf simp. Can't can't be denied. Also, sad oh. times for uh, fighting, dying to break yeah, to gong. Poor Zeppelins, Zeppelin people are just yeah. gone. Exactly. Break to gong is a, a, a fun uh, nation as well. Really, really interesting mission tree and a long one at that. Yeah, yeah, and they're they're supposed to be integrated a little bit with the Lake Federation trade fleet mechanic. Yeah, like, I mean, they oh, come yeah. from the same people. Are they actually the same? Culturally? No, they're not the same culture. Like, but they, um, I think they're they have some settlers there that were from the Lake Fed. Yeah. At some point. Something I think, along but those it's like lines. they've integrated in local culture. Um, yeah. The, the, the other thing that's quite interesting about this region is uh, Nuktansari, like the faceless queen horde with bird riders. They're really interesting as a mission tree. It... Um, and their religion is very unique as well because you need to, you know, form stuff to get more deities. Oh, that's it looks cool. like we might be gearing up for a oh. a, um, a showdown between Shadow Dreamer and Greedy. Oh yes, yes. They're heading oh. to the. <gasps> they want to rob the bank, the bank of um, the Goblin Run uh, Greedy Grin. I don't they know might. if I think I would do this. I'm just... It's its a tough one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's an eight shock general versus a three. I don't you know if that's know. the, the most intelligent thing to do. They got a maybe, military Maybe advantage. they're too 
maybe they're too greedy with their money. They're just too busy staring at the money to notice they're being attacked. That well, could the be alternative it, that they might be doing, they might just be doing. Oh no! Here, look. Them. Look at this. Yeah. Sidan yeah. is his ally. Yeah. They've been yeah. allies for a while though, because Sidan uh, used him to Jari. That's how it's for Jari. Oh yeah. Um. Since we've got a ranting channel on the Discord now, there is this big statement is um from the leader of Greedy Grin. We don't offer loans to fallen empires with untrustworthy payment ability. <laughs> <laughs> so they will not be giving the loans to the Yunnik Empire. I mean, I'm not sure that uh, they know <laughs> the Yin exists. Yeah, they can. They, only they know of Viacock, and they know of their own Viacock. mountains. Oh yeah, because they're in the team, right? That's how they know where Viacock is. Oh right, we actually have the team mechanic being used. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, how else would they be able to see Firecock? Uh, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Just one problem. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I don't think teams are going to be playing a huge role. I, I they no, never I do. But it's yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah. I, I like it when nations are just, they just look out for themselves and only look out for their I team. Think that's, I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's the general gist. Yeah. You might see something interesting. Maybe they'll go around Greedy Grin and Maybe. just gun for Vehicle Kanzad, which might be an easier target. Um, yeah. Although that's being played by a player, so it might not be that easy. So, because a player for um, for Echo Kanzad, oh, I'm sorry, Kanzad, sorry um, is just immense. Oh, wait, he's saving up his development. He's, he's I mean, why would. His... Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't take it yet. Um, yeah. Wait until you've got some kind of, like, Dev rush. Maybe he's waiting until he can also own yeah. uh, Grozum Deer. Maybe he also wants to Ovdol Azan, and then getting that. Actually, no, that that's a local no, no, dev no, no, There is another mission. There is another mission, like at the top tier, that gives you more development cost. I believe. Um, if we yeah. look at the reclaim of Outer Kanzad, I think I think it's somewhere around there. Outer Kanzad. I'm blind as bat. No, it's like it's net. It's on the same tile as oh, begin right. pop repopulation. I don't know. It's, yeah, that's got the. That as yeah, well. I suppose so if you if you stack both of them, then it's thirty percent. Yeah. So it's just is they're just trying to wait to sort of sync it up a little bit. Yeah. Which admittedly just best the best case I mean, scenario. Oh, defensive Uncle ideas. Can't say it's not very powerful at the moment, right? Mm, I mean, no. like it takes a while for them to get going. They need to get their yeah. ideas. They need to get their missions done, and then the cannons become powerful. Start yeah. of the game, they I mean, obviously, cannons. they don't have cannons yet, so. Yeah, so. It, it a bit shit at the Wait, hang on. I think the leader of Byzartes is kind of role playing to um, another nation. I th Good. I'm trying to remember what nation um, Lian Tian is playing. Do, do you remember? Like, like uh. they're just having a role play. It's like they're talking, but they're writing to each other with letters. Uh, Wish terrible news on behalf of my late husband, for he has passed. The war remains undecided, but on his legacy, I will fight on. Stuff like that. I have no Great idea. My dear, dear lady, Callis Weir, I write to you to express my condolences for the death of your husband, my dear cousin, Dega Kiron, whose life was one of war and strife and aimed to perturb elven kind in Bahar. Her aid extends to you as it did to him, my lady, for though he is gone too soon, your daughter carries her blood as well. So there we go, we're getting a lot of roleplay here. Yeah. We, do, we do enjoy the LARPing. But yeah, let's yeah. see. Who is Liam playing as? Uh, um, yeah, I think he's in Bahar, like somewhere. I'm... No, he's he's the Bahar Kant. Uh -huh. Okay then. Yeah, that's why. Oh, in yeah. Bahar Kant, do you mean the Bahar Kant that's about to not be existing anymore? Yes. <laughs> that's 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 that one. Yeah, I think that's Liam. Wait, no, they're not being played. Never mind. Um. Oh, they on? were. They are. But they're being played by. Oh wait, no. They were, because yeah, they're on the... Wait, no, Baharkand is a vassal of Asga Evren. Asga Evren is being uh, played. Yeah, it's Asga Evren. Yeah, okay, yeah. there we go. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I got a bit mixed up there. All right, well, they're having a lot of role-playing, sort of intermarrying politics there. That's fun. Asga Evren is one of the fun ones to play as... You know, if you're wanting to do Phoenix Empire as well. They have a whole... Uh, Deal to do with like the the Jahur's spear, I think it is, um, mm. and uh, yeah, 
reforming the spear and all that kind of stuff is is really cool. Nice. But still, Versa Tangents, I mean, you know, you can't... <laughs> yeah, no, naturally. Just, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, let's. If we go over the different elves, right? These are girl boss plus, uh, like, uh, administrative elves. Erlium is mm -hmm. Pope elves. Uh, Varamhar is I want to be a god. Magical elves. Academy God Godhood Ascension yeah. elves. Um, Sariand is I'm just gonna go fuck up these guys elves. Um, aren't these like the most racist elves as well? I feel like that's the case. Uh, yeah, Elisna no, there's, is... There, there's Eleanor, uh, if we're going to have racist Well, okay. <laughs> That's also something separate entirely. Racist. Yeah. Uh, Elisna, boat trade elves. Um, and then... They want to pet cats, elves, yeah. Yeah. Or murder them, as what is currently happening. Uh, and well, then Jadari yeah, no. is love and cuddles, elves. The Jadari are the only elves that actually have a standing military that's proper. The Phoenix Legions. Uh, yeah, Fenil is about, not those, played, no. about those. Yeah. About those. About those Phoenix Legions. <laughs> yeah, they kind of lost their holy sight, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's. Is Saidan actually Jad then, or is he still Hunt? Uh, They are oh, still the Hunt. Well, oh, yeah, they're, they're being syncretic with the Jad. Okay, that's what they're doing. Like the Tangri mechanic. Right. That's what they're doing with the... So, being so, syncretic yeah. with the Jad is giving them. What now? Part of the true faith and missionary strength. Bad one but then local missionary quick. strength minus two, so it just flattens. Yeah. Um, um, but they could instead yeah. choose no syncretic to get the shock. Choose high philosophy for the reform progress. Could be really nice at the start of the I game. I would definitely go for high philosophy, honestly. Ick Magthal, which is going into like the Centaur. uh, centaurs uh, for cav yeah. combat ability. Um... Goblins give looting and fire damage. Good late game. Ancestor worship. Cost of advisors with ruler culture. Quite nice. It's always the cost of advisors. It's ruler culture. You just get really cheap advisors with the yeah. ancestor worship. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Yeah, yeah just get, get level fives for like seven gold a month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But now that North Viswall is free. Are North we going to see free. them try and form a small country? Yeah, that that's uh, Gilgamesh's game plan, is to form a small country. He wants to make the halfling nation of the world the biggest halfling nation in the world, so he's going to expand. And well, I mean, if he wants to make that biggest halfling nation in the world, he needs to ignore that this exists? Yeah, yeah. no, just this our halflings aren't halflings anyway. They're just... Yeah, different culture group. There. Well... We've got loads of people who are gunning for Laurentland, right? So I think yeah, yeah, they're definitely they've be got able a to good do. opportunity to get lots of land from that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know what sort of claims Viswall gets. gets um, they have a core claims... on South Viswall. Yeah. yeah, they do. And they've That's made cool, a claim yeah. on the Strip, so they could get themselves a little bit of a power base by taking this. Yeah. Well, they have to go into the Empire first. They have probably joined the Empire, though. I would. Yeah, they have. They have joined the Empire. Just, That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, that would be they, the biggest they, problem. They need to. Yeah. And There's also Ulair that Kingdom they can take. Defect. Yeah. Ulair is actually an interesting tag because I think they worship the old primordial of the sea. Like, I think that's their whole deal. Um, like, they don't have a mission tree, but I think it's in their uh, national ideas. Like, they... Well, they don't... Well, like, they have the old primordial, which is part of the region court thing, but this, they, they have... Because the... Aleos, I think his name, is the primordial of the sea like, that they all kind of try to compress in order to get the Regent Court religion to thrive. Ah, and if anyone was wondering, <laughs> this, this is the reason. This is the reason why Findeth is here. Because he knows all of the things. <laughs> He's very good at the lore. I love it. Yeah, uh, you, it's primordial from God, yes. I was I was looking through their ideas, and then you're like, I think his name's Uleos. It's like it's right, yeah. No, you didn't see that yet, and it's it, yeah, it's right there. Like that's a tag that has no mission tree, so very yeah. few people really care about it in comparison to the people mm -hmm. next to it. And you're like, yeah, I I know this, I know this tag, I know all about <laughs> it. That's impressive. Yeah, I'm not I gonna lie. I them as the racist gamer people that hate halflings, but. <laughs> I mean, if we have a look at halflings, right? One of their 
big things about them is they're, you know, with their the military, they don't have much shock damage, they don't have much morale damage, they, they don't have very good cavalry, yeah, but what they works. have, that Merc maintenance, oh, the Merc yeah, cost, the merc yeah. considering yeah. the fact that Merc ideas in the current game are so unbelievably yeah. good. They're down there, yeah. Um, and being pecking at a small country is like the sorry. best Merc nation in the game. It's basically Switzerland on crack. Yeah, yeah. No, Swiss, like, Switzerland is Switzerland better, on crack. Yeah, it is kind of Switzerland crack, but I think there is one that's even better. If we go back to Halis, um, there is a nation in sort of that's a south of uh, uh, East Halis. It's called um, Lot de Kang. It's the best market nation in this game, in Avenar. Right there. Lot de Kang. So if you click on them and look at their government. Government? Yeah, look at their government. Templiblibdip, Merc Maintenance minus 10, Merc Discipline is nice as well. Yeah. Their Ooh. government is... Uh, and this as well, if you take Merc, Merc ideas, then you will be able to take Elite Mercenaries and get the yeah. um, Mercenary uh, Militarization ability that the Swiss have. You know, yeah, they do. You know, I think... I think Halflings are better. Was it 7? It's... 7.5 discipline on the yeah but you if you can become this nation and then just have your hat so well, there's five percent here and five percent from the government so that's ten yeah. percent and they for, also have oh, more the um, tax specific government ones like the what was it the download system download system yeah there we go that I mean, is another five percent so fifteen percent by the time you get to the second. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we, it, yeah. yeah, look at their estates by the way as well, because they've got a unique mercenary nobility estate as well. Oh, okay. Um, so well, it's like the damn off. <laughs> as long as they're not it. dumb. Uh, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> they also have the uh, adventurers, so they also have the discipline. So yeah, like a very state situation. If they're AI, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they can get monthly mill power here. Can they also get it? Oh no, they don't have the other one. Yeah, they don't have. If you look at the monthly and marina matches, you can just keep looking up and up, and they, basically it's all about becoming a strong mercenary military at the cost of your production. Um, yeah, so cool. So, it's yeah, funny they're... because we we seeded a lot to Kang in the multiplayer that I currently got going, and the player hated it so much that he or uh, he fled a war that he knew he would lose, and then switched over to Bimlau. Because he thought they were a more interesting tag. <laughs> well, he's wrong. I he's love wrong, yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think he. Wrong. I think he dumbed it. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's really cool. Good. I might play Lot to Kang at some point. Yeah, Lot to Kang. Command <laughs> yes, is indeed. amazing as well because they have the free mercenary company thing in Magic that basically allows you to spread a uh, hobgoblin populations around. Like yeah. that's the little sort of interface thing that they have. It's amazing i love the command as a mission tree and they also have culture conversions so they culture convert everything with a state edict to their own commanderized human cultures we had a player in in the zia didn't we there was somebody mm -hmm. who was leo Lloyd's leos was playing as feng Zhuobo. Mm -hmm. i i think he died oh oh we got right. Uh, uh, Bianfang does the culture by edict. Oh, well, perfect. We get to see that in action for Bianfang mm. as well. Oh, I like that. Oh, the Eunuch Empire has balanced their books. They're no longer losing money. Oh my god, that is actually a massive achievement. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's... she's Amanda is certainly not gaining money, but she's not losing money. So... Yeah, that's an achievement. achievement. Yeah, yeah. I, I, will, I will point she... out... I, I, Edge panning in uh, in Paradox games, I hate. So I've made it the slowest possible, which is fine for the vast majority of the time, unless we're waiting for a hot join, because it's the only way you can move the map around. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very cinematic. Though, it's, that is the fastest I can move. It's very aesthetically pleasing, though, just seeing it slowly pan. It's literally <laughs> the fastest I can move it while we're in this screen. <laughs> Oh, all right, oh, crazy, there we go. Crazy. Let's look at the Yannick Empire. Um, the Yannick I mean, books are. I mean, it's oh, all. Never mind. Yeah, uh, I mean, if no, even if you got rid of the loans, it's close. 
Oh, maybe maybe honest. if you didn't have to reinforce, if you took no attrition and you didn't have to reinforce your armies, then then it'd be fine, ish. Oh, yeah. And she's she's plowing through the missions too, which is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, how's the authority fantastic. growth looking? Uh, you uh, like Dahui? Pretty good. Pretty good. Dahui, the United um, Yan Shan Tag. They have a fourth New Yun culture for cultures outside of Halo. So, ooh, nice. Uh, it's Bian Bian Feng that forms Dahui, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they do as well. Like Dahui, anyone can form Dahui, but right. Um, Bian Feng, I think, is the primary tag that aims for it. That well, being see. said. I'm not a fan of Bian Fang because um, I pl I play as the Oni and the the city of generals quite often Shangdu and the uh, Demon Empire Akshikumba. There's I've not I've not played as Akshikumba yet, um, but they yeah, they've done really well of, in most um, of the games we've played. Yeah, no, they literally have um, a lot of power cost uh, modifiers stacking mm. on the there so. And their religion it basically allows them to keep doing that so you can just have such low development costs i think i had 90 um power, oh, power cost we also reduction. do have verkal ozavar which is one of the most unique um dwarves probably the most yeah. unique dwarf yeah, in the game they're opm until they get to 2 p.m status and it's like just literally they only have two provinces and it's yeah. entertaining they have yeah. one province right now but yeah they have this right amount vassal of vassals yeah. yeah the vassal swarm yeah. run in uh in a game that i was playing as one zia in a multiplayer the honsai mm -hmm. player uh went to war with uh verkal Ozvar, and he won the war and the the peace deal he made was to vassalize verkal Ozvar. but all of yeah, the vassal swarm thing. went independent and it ruined it oh. couldn't fix it after that just yeah, a, no, a big fail is... on honsai yeah, it's like basically whenever I'm playing Honsai um, and I, I get the mission to vassalize uh, also while I'm just like, okay, I'm going to vassalize them, but I'm going to integrate them as soon as I can so I can put my capital in the Dwarven uh, Hold. Because always move your capital to a Dwarven Hold. It's just better yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah. Then you can just keep digging. For sure. Oh, uh... apparently Qianlu got sacked. Rest in peace, Chanlu. Got sacked by Beikdugong. I can't say the name. Beikdugong. Beikdugong. They got. Because that's why it's at fifty devastation. Yep. Well, at least it wasn't Fighten that did it, because they would fire bomb it. <laughs> yeah. The uh, looks like uh, Greedy Grin have started colonizing into the caves now. Yeah. Oh, they're trying Which to get all their gold caves gold there because they get a mission. Yeah. yeah. They took and turn those into gold. It's really good. And uh, Shadow Dreamer is sitting on twenty-seven thousand troops. Mm -hmm. He can That's migrate, so if he just like migrated and then attacked, that could... might be his plan. He might just surprise attack, migrate, it declare war instantly, and then just. Man, I think I... Greedy Grin would be such my perfect nation if they. Mm -hmm. Change for localization a little bit. I think that's all it needs. But mechanics. Wait, you don't really like good. the localization of Greedy Grin? It's like... too uh too the goblins are too like organized and empathetic. <laughs> <laughs> like 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 it says like how to feed millions. Goblins don't care about lots of people, right? Or like being yeah. empathetic. Goblins nope. should fail upwards. They should try and like reward <laughs> stuff and by this accident. Ultra capitalism. Yeah, they want yeah. To become the ultimate capitalist. Like there a good way go. to phrase this would be like, you know, the upper goblins uh, are having massive banquets. They're eating so much that they can't finish it all. There's a lot of leftovers, and accidentally they create a welfare state out of their own greed. A failing upwards is the failing key. Upwards. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. Good. But, but apart from the mechanics and stuff, the greed grid, great, wonderful. Really, really Wait good. a minute. We had. Oh a, my god. We had someone playing our Goldstone. And, and they lost against the Max Butcher. Masked Butcher won. Jesus fucking Christ! How did this happen? Oh, mm. hello. Yeah. Saving yeah. Arrow Vassal. But yeah, there's yeah. no there's no players now in Serpent's Reach. 
is kind of wild. Oh, we got some blue uh, blue flames. Oh, oh, we do. Um, Corintar. Oh my God, it's the S Gani <sighs> showdown. Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. This is a. They're fighting Raven Order of the Iron Scepter, and Raven Banner has joined. I don't Wait, think Raven there's Banner's really the anything in this. No. I don't think that's yeah. a real player war yeah. here. All right, sad. Uh, but there is uh, one in the north, potentially, with Adshaw is sieging Selmaldor. Yeah, they're trying to do their mission tree stuff. I love Adshaw. Adshaw is a great nation. Or uh, for siege on that general as well. Ibavar is coming up to help. Yeah. Death, Death to, to the, the Selmaldorians. Oh my god. Yes, there we go. We got elves helping elf haters against other elves. Ibavar, is, there's, there's clearly some, you know, espionage going on here. The Adshaw has, like, got these paper points to put on their ears. It's like, yeah. look, we are actually the elves. Yeah. Yeah, no, of course. And the uh, Dayland Lone guy has decided... Please attack Salamandor. Reclaim my ship, please. Yeah. That's just. So uh, this war, Adshaw and Ibavar together got thirty-five thousand. Uh, Salamandor is aided by Istralor and Pearl's Edge and Portnam. Four players um, yeah. versus one, because uh, I don't think. Two players. Is, is Ibavar players. a player as well? I, wait, I thought Ibavar was a player. Is they Adshaw are indeed. Yeah, player? I was totally wrong. Yeah. yeah. Death Adshaw to the false Elphara. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is actually a pretty fat player war. It's spread out. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only people with anything to gain or lose here is Selmaldor and Adshaw. So these extras can really commit without really any fear. Yeah, or not commit, in this case, maybe. Mm. No, yeah, maybe but, not. Maybe but the thing not. is, it's, it's, like, it's like that scene in the first season of Game of Thrones... What's what's a, the bigger number, five or one? Like there are more nations involved for Selmaldor. There are more numbers involved for Selmaldor, but those numbers are stuck Way here. Too spread yeah. out. They're yeah. over and here. Also, oh, they're over here. They're it's questionable how much Fey actually care, right? Yeah. yeah they're not not taking part. Part. Whereas Ooh. here, Adshaw and Ibavar together, there's thir they have thirty five k total, and they are all. Uh, in now in the exact same province. What's bigger, five or one? Clearly the one, or the two, I guess in this case. So in war, it's now going to be canon that um, Ibafar has decided to raise Salamandor to the ground and give it back to the humans that lived there. Well, because... clearly it's um, yeah. it's a fake health nation, obviously. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Check out, uh, yeah. Astra Expeditions, uh, Milte. Hmm. It's not like six. <laughs> well, that's there the power we go. of migrating, that is. Damn. That's very yeah. impressive, yeah. 240% on the next one. Ah, oh, it's crazy. I'm not sure what's better now with, um, Dwarven migration and the Dwarven. Like, do you want to just form your nation straight away, or do you want to get the tech and ideas first? Like, I've never... It depends, I, I, used, I think. Yeah. I, I, I often... It depends. I sometimes beeline for... Yeah, it takes Amaldir, six. depending. Yeah. It depends, because yeah, no, like, Amaldir is obviously the, the you know, seat of the old Dwarven Empire and all that, but it's mm. also a really kind of old mission tree, and it's apparently it's not, not very good. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, I it's hate just that mission planes, tree. I always it. make it my capital, though, but I form something else. Yeah, I've heard it, over yeah. here, Mithridum is, like, probably the one you want to go for. Um, or the Orlam Aldir Mith as well. Mithraldom is my, my favourite out of those ones. What Their about the really scientist dwarves in the north? They've got a very interesting mission tree, like the telescope yeah. dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. And I've not played yeah. them, but I've heard... I've the only reason I would say not to form this one is because their map colour is brown. And <laughs> okay, I don't know. Enough, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that one, fam. Uh, brown's just... No, not really a map color. I feel like a dwarf no. could, should lower himself to. No, no, I, no. I totally agree. They, they need, they need and some kind of it's, regal it's why map I've, color. That's why I've never played Krugdia either. Isn't it so, blue? Uh, is it really? Oh, well, who, which one over here is brown? One of them over here is brown. Don't, don't Krugdia is brown. Uh, yeah, yeah, Krug, is yeah brown. but... Yeah. It's royal blue, apparently. All right. Is it royal blue? Okay, well, I take it back then. 
Yeah, Royal Blue's pretty good. I then I take it all yeah. back. Go go ham. Go ham fam. Yeah, I've never played them both. I'll give them a go. <laughs> it would yeah, also yeah, yeah, yeah. be a cool idea, I think, if mm. no matter which tag you form as an adventurer, you have the oh, option of fucked. keeping your map colour. Oh they are? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, the ambush fun. and. Ooh. It's yeah. exactly as I said. Exactly as it was going to happen. They migrated and attacked instantly. Rest in peace. And they don't Alex even. Oh no! Dead. No! Uh, uh, oh. Don't get stack wiped by navies. I beg. I beg. beg. They're, I beg. The they're, gonna, they're gonna get stack wiped. Bank went 16th. Bank oh went. my god! They they can retreat on the 16th. No, I think they're actually going to win the fight anyway. I think they might win it. Yeah, they yeah, will. They got with Mage General so. still. Mm-hmm. Also, they, someone they, in your chat has just said the bank keepers. went bankrupt. The bank went bankrupt. Oh, no. The, uh, the bank is, is Greedy Grin, isn't it? I was, yeah, so, the bank is I was greedy grin. so gunning on them. We're not going to see an old clan. Wait, are they actually the... bankrupt? Like bankrupt, bankrupt, or no? They're not bankrupt. Okay, they're just, like right. basically they're going to get they're getting ganked, so they're yeah, going maybe. to. <laughs> oh they, no, they've lost they're, their colony. They're gankrupt. Yeah, well, gankrupt. I'm, I'm afraid if you want to see old clan, you're going to have to download the bit bucket or wait for the release because mm. that stuff is yeah. amazing. Really would mm. Is it? Is it? Is that the, literally the only options? Can Skewer Drake not do it? No, they're no, not they're, goblins. They're not goblins. Oh, yeah. They're orcs. The only um, goblins left alive are, uh, well, Rail Skulker. It's True Dagger that can only form the whole plan. Yeah, yeah True Dagger. Rail Skulker, the loyal, loyal vassal of yeah. uh, <laughs> the fucking dwarves that genocide them. They, they 14% like they... liberty desire, might I add. <laughs> it looks like they had an attempt to go independent. Look, they got a truce with... Uh, Ruby True. Ruby, so. And they got so, slapped. And they got shit, shit on. Wait, well, yeah. you know, isn't that truce um, related to the annexation, though? Like, really I don't think oh, so. I think that's mm. maybe it's too far uh, away, I think. Mm. Where am I looking spider for? Spider-Wretch. Oh, you forgot about Spider-Wretch. Spider yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they're but they're not a player. Yeah, well, no, they're, they're not, not the player. No, but... um, yeah, no, they, they this, this is... this. They haven't had a, a fight since. Actually, that unless, that unless... might be the original truce because oh, okay. yeah. they don't have the. They could do it now if they were loyal enough or if they liked yeah, we... them enough. Unless We've been we get stuck somebody's... on one and two speed, so. Oh, that's... But yeah. Um... Unless we get uh, yeah spider wretch or true dagger seeded, we won't mm -hmm. see all them. But so you're yeah. saying there's a chance. There's a chance if a yeah, player a chance, is, yeah. is willing to step up to the mark spider -Wretch. somehow. Defeats Spider Expedition. I mean, it has a mission no, tree. I, 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 we stand it's, a Spider it's a Rider. General Goblin one, I think. No, no, well, they, they have a right hand side path. Yeah. They got a few yeah, unique ones. Oh, yeah, they do. Not many, but a few. Mm. Yeah. Spider Wretch is just my favorite because I'm um, one of my favorite Goblin tags because they ride spiders as their cavalry. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole thing, and they also throw bombs and uh, poison. If only, yes. if only there was a unique model for them for spider riding. Well, I mean, we never, we never know. There might be at some point. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, we live in hope that that happens. Yeah, and you know, they're next to the Forbidden Plains, so they could be spider riding oh. on the plains. This, there uh, is a Tenches has gone after Elisna. Ooh, elf on elf islands. Let's go. It's not the Summertime Masquerade already, is it? No, no it it's isn't. not. I don't think it's too early. Yeah, there's a possibility that Greedy Grin might be left to live, but as a vassal. Yeah, and they they reside in the sort mean, of side caves to gold. I don't know if be. I if I was if I was Shadow Dreamer, I'd full annex. No, no. What I would do is ask them to put a colony down in the southern caves, and then full annex anything except the colony, so they just move their capital to the colony. Uh, yeah, true. That could yeah, work. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, and then they get to colonize more gold mines. <laughs> look at the uh, missions. Yeah. Um, yeah, shall we have a look at um? That. Can we have a look at Fro Frozen Mall um for a second because there's uh there's going to be the whole thing soon, like the whole foreign smart rebellion thing. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because it's around that year, I think. Yeah. Like 1460, I think is when it happens. Might be in the end of the year. Yeah, like, all, these, all, all these little vassals will go 
and start a rebellion against Frozen Mall. I think with well, I mean, actual only help, a right? Soul that's guaranteed to rebel. The others can join the rebellion, but sometimes they don't. Right. Adshaw will definitely help, though, because that's their opportunity to get a personal union over all of Frozen Mall. And it's just good. Hmm. Rosmo's done really well, though. I mean, it's AI. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they're not going to do well against a player, I don't think. Um, I don't think they're oh. capable. Oh! The comeback! Oh. Oh. Pearl's okay. Edge actually made it up here. Portnam made it up oh. here. Ooh. And oh, my goodness. Did... Wait, Adshaw already got the event to prevent it and get Krovis as a giant and, instead. Well, that's and boring. Istralor has gone for actual Ibavar proper. Yeah. With Ooh. tell them help. Oh, damn. And so they're losing on all fronts. Because that, wow. you know, they were united and strong. But then they Ibavar has back. returned yeah. home to defend himself and, uh, you know, Wait. failed. What? Ibavar has human military? No, he doesn't. What? No. Early check, not. Check the... No, they have Elven military. military. Elven military. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. Have Unless they swaps, yeah, no, they have it, yeah. Yeah. Are we are we they just looking at the model and thinking that's it? If you think about it though, yeah. they have it independent army and company of the Allen. Yeah. These are humans. Yeah. Uh because they're only mercenaries. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be it. Believe me, there I'm it is. There it is. You, now we see the, the elves. Devs to add um, unit pips that are localized to the cultures. Yeah, there's so, the elves. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's the company of the Allen with the general, so they yeah. get the unit model. Oh, have mm. they changed the unit model slightly? They're not samurai anymore, is that? That's well, the samurai is the elven one, but these are the mercenaries on top. Yeah, they still oh, have the same yeah, yeah. elven ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah I see, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure he's just moving them here just so that we can see. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We see Thank them. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Actually, perfect. <laughs> Legitimate. We take it, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they made a deal. Uh, made a deal I mean, to... they're still there. Like... No. Ooh, this is not good. Why does elves have samurai models? Because they have katanas. That, I think, is the only reason. Uh, it's not my favourite model. It doesn't seem very yeah. elven to me. Like, horns on the helmet? I, I just... Please. No. no. Not. It's the worst part, Wait. I think, about playing Burst Artentias. Obviously, I'm going to bring it back yeah. to Burst Artentias. Well, the worst yeah, part of it is I don't like the unit model. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it's it'll probably too change human Japanese. Yeah. Well, it is literally just for Japanese model. But, that, so. What I'm hoping for is, uh, you know, the first Lord of the Rings film? I want that elven armour. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For all Wait, the elves, because that that just, it looks so good. Oh yeah, you mean like the prologue battle yeah. thing? Yeah, 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 that exactly. was a good elven armor. I actually got kind of disappointed by the elven armor in the second Lord of the Rings film in comparison to that. The like, ones for Helm's Deep. Like, yeah, Helm's Deep. Yeah. Mm. I kind of I kind of imagined a more like high elf armor from Warhammer. Mm -hmm. Personally, that's mm. that's how it's in my head. Like the conical mm. heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big stupid the tall helmet. I mean, it's not a stall, yeah. it's not a tall helmet. They they have to be that shape because that's where their head goes because <laughs> their heads are so big. It's been years they pulled them up to the top. Of yeah, it was it was Andrew they... that declared the war, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yes, it might be. Yes, it yeah. Was, yeah. I wonder, did these alliances pop up after the declaration or not? Um, no, no, Corburia, uh... Corburia got added. Yeah, they literally allied Corburia that. That was not before the war. Taters has joined in. Yeah. Oh. That's why they retreated. Because Corburia got involved, and Corburia is a nasty, mean beast. With a two siege general. But he could. I mean, yeah. he could. He could make the vamp. He's not a vampire. He's just a. Yeah, I know that. Iron deficient human, vampire. right? Um... Iron, yeah, iron deficiency, yes. <laughs> it's a real problem in that area of the world. Um... Uh. But still, I don't know. Thirty-five thousand troops arrayed here. Uh, there's oh, about 35,000, 40,000 coming up. Okay, cool. Perfect. Oh, I think I think, vampire, I think we know we know what's what's going to happen here. They're going to try and collapse on the sixteen k in the south. Yeah. I think that's. Oh. General wise, a two shock. Mm. Oh, okay, they've got a four shock versus a six shock. 
Uh, looks like Isterlor is trying to head them off, though. Yeah, no, that's that's a suicidal a attack there. I think. Yeah, Isterlor. Although, is lose why is Ibavar so bad? Ain't no way we're seeing Ibavar getting dunked on this hard. Morale. They have one less morale. What the hell? How did oh, this come to be? Reformation. They haven't gone out of the initial disaster yet. That's oh, why. For real? Uh, yeah. Their in uh, first disaster is just, it starts literally a month after you start. Morale of is minus where... 10% rough. Yeah. That's a bit And they rough, have to, but... what, convert all of their provinces. Oh, they're, they're on the last yeah, one right we... now. Yeah. God, I just get annoyed with trying to convert those provinces. I'm just like, okay, this takes way too long. It's 1460, yeah. because that is actually how long it usually take, takes. Oh, there's also just... a small fellow's Korintar War. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, uh, Korintar oh. has attacked everyone. It is the, the answer is everyone they've attacked. Arguin. Arguin is being a warmongering cat boy again. Small fellow's has attacked... New Wanderers. Yeah. Oh, it's the other way around. Oh. New Wanderers attacked Small Fellows. Small Fellows allied Corinta, and obviously their whole yeah. um, what do you call it? Fact, not faction. They're friends. I don't know. Um, yeah. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, this seems like a Small Fellows is in a lot of wars too. Oh, Clouded Eyes. Yeah. Okay. But do oh god, what's that? Why would they pick horses? It's not a good military for horses. Small uh. fellows are second you wanderers. Corintar has taken up the mantle to Oh no, it's separate. Cloud to die I say it's a cloud to die. Corintor's going for cloud to die. Yeah. God. Mm -hmm. This is this very is... complicated. This is Small Fellows has actually got his army board. over here. <laughs> This two politics of Escan is this just is Escan, too yeah. beyond us. <laughs> it's just it's just a fucking clusterfuck as Escan always is. And it's wild that's though because Escan's so good. Small fellows has yeah. twenty seven thousand troops. They got ten seventeen uh, k in their own land ish. They got also some troops over siege in Clouded Eye. Um, yeah. Council League is being sieged by Corintar, and despite all of these armies all the way over here, No Wonder is still lost a battle. I guess to Sword Covenant? I think yep. what Small Country's gunning on is they're going to take out Clouded Eye, then Corintar's going to be able to send their entire army to help bash yeah. New Wanderers. I think yeah. that's what they're gunning on. So the aggressors yeah. in New Wanderers, who they, they have actually taken the, the war goal as well, I will point out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, since their players are holding the peace deal back, they're probably just set, sending a lot of peace deals and then just rejecting it. Oh, Smallfellows actually has a bunch of provinces colonized as well. Yeah, yeah they yeah. do. Yeah, wait, they have, wait what? that's a bit of a waste. You don't need to colonize that many provinces. You only need three, like three, and then the rest gets auto-colonized. It's just inefficient use of um, your tribal development. You yeah, they've gone with the uh, stake our claim well. instead of end the green tide. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, they're going for Danica. That's what they're doing. They, oh, have they got Tarantin? No, they haven't got Tarantin. No, they can't go for a Danica, yeah. Uh, I mean, this this can be taken. Yeah. How many liches do you think we're going to get? Oh, a lot. Everyone loves a lich. Everyone wants a mortal ruler with a 666. Who doesn't? Yeah, I mean, Corvary well, doesn't need to be lich because they've got, they got vampire. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a powerful mage vampire soon as well. So that's the best kind of vampire combo. We don't have any like natural uh, liches, like lich discrimination. No. Right? Well, apart from you, Estel and stuff, but yeah, they're not. Well, yeah, not being played. played. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, vampire lich. You know, there was funny enough. There was a there was a sort of event that was added in when the vampire system got first introduced, where it's like if you try to. Ascend to lich them by the same time as being a vampire, it would just say, well, nothing happened. What the fuck were you doing? It looks like just the like, intervention of Corvuria no. actually worked as well, because uh, Pearl's Edge, Selmaldor, Tellum, Portnam are all here licking their wounds right now. Yeah. Ah, uh, Corvuria. 
bloody Corburians and the Corbararids. They have. Like, that's... I think they actually do have a culture. We look at the culture map model Corburia, they do have, like, two different cultures there. Um, Corburian and... Uh, uh, oh, you... no, no, they don't. Never mind. There, there was, like, Corabids, I thought, in the north. Nathalair's in there as well, and then yeah. Ordia. Ordia, yeah. Hmm, maybe I was wrong then. I thought there was a northern oh culture goodness. thing. Oftal Tunger is allied with Corvary as well. Corvoria and Corvids. I just fucking realized that. It's Ravens, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Led yeah. by Corvus yeah. Corax. Yeah, God. <laughs> yeah. How I just... Corvus Corax. With the Raven banner. Oh my God. Yeah. No, it's it's on. Um, I it's... not realize that before. <laughs> That's uh, and, so on my nose. <laughs> and their flag. What, what bird do you reckon this is? <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously a crow, not a raven. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it would really annoy me if I was Corvary right now because be like, okay, what can I do to fix this? Enjoy your reading frenzy. Like, that's a lot to look to look at to think. Yeah. Oh wait, I know how to fix this. It requires a bit of uh, help <laughs> to to get through it. Um, the instance they are practically hungry, I think it's the Matthias Corbian insurrection. I think that's part of it as well, but it's mostly on the whole vampire stick of ravens being tightly associated to Romania as well. Like, I don't know. Mm. It, it's a lot of different references all piled together. That's Avenir for you. Bit of, bit of Edgar Allan Poe in there as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Covid. Do, 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 do. Anyway. I'm trying to think of what other references there are in Abner. Like, I mean, we got the, we got Dragon Age for Deep Road sort of thing within the Dwarvar. We've got. I think um, there's too many to mention. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's so many. many. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the map itself is somewhat of a reference. Obviously, we've got the Vikings. We've got the French. We've got a little bit of Spain. We've got um, Spain. Yeah. Spain uh, <laughs> and India. We've got Italy and Fern. Fern is kind of Italian. You think? They're right. supposed to be Italian city state sort of uh, unified together. Like that was their whole stick, I think. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, um, it's obviously not a one to one, but obviously India, uh, obviously China. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah, China is like... complete without the Mongols to their north. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or well, actually, I think they're the Manchu more than Mongols. The Mongols are not the yeah. forbidden place. Yeah, Manchu. Yeah. 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 There are some underworld reference. You know what? Another hot take. This is a day of hot takes. I think the Underworld movies are all pretty good. I and I and I and I'm not just referring to those black lycra pants. I'm not even referring to those. Just in general, they're good movies. <laughs> in more than just the costume department. <laughs> but God damn, the costume department. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so just think, right now, Salamandor is going to lose their only elven culture province, and it's going to be turned into a human culture, so they're going to lose all culture. Did somebody like, just die? Uh, did, did we just lose Greedy Grin? Um, we lost was, Greedy yeah, Grin. Greedy That's Grin. what that pause oh, was. Yeah. yeah, Greedy Grin. Rest. Wait, no, they might come back, though. <laughs> no, they might. No, yes. gone. You're saying there's... Oh, there is the... This is the last of Greedy Grin. <laughs> yeah, the last so of Greedy sad. Grin. So Rest sad. in okay. peace. Um, Our only hope, we need to get a goblin seated in. <laughs> uh, you know what the problem was? They'll he was wielding back. his weapon backhanded. That's, we'll that's, get to see yeah. the, the best content in the latest release, in my opinion. Like a new old clan. Someone okay. pick up Rail Skulker? Yeah, they need to do it first. Someone. A war of uh, independence. We need to showcase the content. Hashtag content. I'm going to try and see if we can get Greedy Grin to explain what happened. Yeah, bring him in. Yeah, for sure. Although Absolutely. he probably shouldn't have said the word failure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit mean. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, there's been more than just one failure in this uh, so far. Everyone has yeah, failed yeah. in some way. At least it yeah. wasn't, uh, it was a player kill. Yeah, he didn't like, die yeah, to fucking AI. Way, it wasn't AI, so uh, that's a more honourable death. Yeah, for sure. So. Hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, I should probably actually use the proper channel for asking if they want some interviews. Oh, Bob Diltunga just gone to war with Elisa. If you had fun, you didn't fail, yeah. Yeah, the, uh... Proper conquest of Ray Well. Bob Diltunga is doing really well. Mm-hmm. It is, um... Do we have anything else happening in the world right now? I mean, have we looked at Lentier in a while? Because I don't think we have. Have we looked at the migrating people in South of Lentier? Uh... They seem what to. What are they just, doing? They're still there. Yeah. They they're haven't moved in a while. <laughs> and they're still. That's paying. because they're AI now. Oh. 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 Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Yeah, yeah, hmm, yeah. What? River doors turned into. What? Camaraca up in. Uh... Wait, River Doge is now playing this guy. He's playing as the leech man there. Leech man, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a leech man. Um. I th no, no, we know. It's not. No, I thought not that was friend. that was illegal. You're not allowed to do that yeah. anymore. Yeah. Wait. I actually don't know. <laughs> God. What culture uh, is this? What culture is this? <laughs> La I is ruined. Bork. Okay, so it's not Leech Man. <laughs> sure. Sure, it's just an FLI tag. Sure, we're on to your game, Doge. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, the one who brings back the Leechmen is surely the one that's going to get the love. Uh, oh, it looks like a oh. they've, they're they giving it a go. Yeah. Oh, those poor elves that don't know how to fight anymore. Or, oh, I, yeah, I no, don't... They... Everyone break waves about Leechmen. I want to see fucking mm -hmm. Ice Sleepers. I want right. them. Oh, an ice sleeper yeah, animation. you want the ice sleepers. That would yeah. be interesting. Nortiel Chand ex pretty much interacts with them quite a lot. All right, okay, I'm gonna bring in Callet to do some interview. Like, yeah, uh, pretty great. Hey, I just need I need to find him in that <laughs> list. <laughs> that uh, um, where is he? Uh, hold on. All right, Callet, can you get in the voice channel? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna channels. make a, a a channel. Yeah. Just make a channel that says waiting room for... Oh, that interviews. would be way more intelligent than what I did call it. <laughs> I can't talk to casters yet. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 if, casters. and if we get, like, a bot to play sort of, like, elevator music in that channel... Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. River Doge is the dev that made the Leechman sub mod. Yo, we're smelling your game. We're smelling your game right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I see your game, and I'm in favor of it. Okay. What is going on with this war? It looks like the Tel Maldor has like pushed them back. Yeah. And now there's a it's fat retreat, a or it's not really a retreat either. It's just like a. It's um. I think what's technically called a bit of a clusterfuck. Because I don't know if I would go for the siege right now. Because no. there's still way more, especially you're spread out. You're over here and on the sea. Okay, I think I think Salmelto is probably listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> although in fairness, seeing the 30, 45, 47, oh, thousand. Here he comes. Hey, hey. There we go. Hello there. Hello, hello. Go so... look at your corpse. Yeah. yeah, the war could be winnable if I didn't do a very a very big blunder at the start, and that blunder was uh, not preparing for it. <laughs> but the thing is, I could win. Did you drill, did you drill your units and then just get declared war? And they just no, 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 no. I had blunder. my I had my units split between I had my units split between my hold and the Ooh, province I was colonizing. Uh, I see, uh, I see. My main army was in the province I was colonizing. So when when I was uh, when the war was declared, I attacked my enemy uh, who was playing orcs in uh, Dwarov Road, right? And oh, the battle I was see. very close. If I didn't do that, I could win that because I had powerful mage with uh, legendary illusion. Yeah. So we basically, were, we were assuming. So basically, that they were, not illusion, uh, transmutation. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, what ha what has so basically, to your bank? if just, my bank, bank currently is led, 
currently my bank is led by the glorious uh, chronicler Kaletri and Lysia, who together with other members of Order of Chroniclers have moved in, uh, back in time to repair the damage done by the time anomalies of uh, 1444. As far as uh, it goes, many of us have failed, but we are going to re regroup and uh, rethink our strategy about that. Kaltri and Lisa currently is, uh, is uh, advising with uh, their best friend, uh, Bepat uh, Yorkad. Uh, sorry, Bepat Yer, uh, Yen Rogai. And basically, we think about two directions that both of us can go. Either the great uh, free city of Bayvek, led by city goblins, and then uh, follow, uh, uh, follow up Messicardu to Haraf and form Triarchy. Or we can go to Axbelu Cartel and fund the uh, reclamation of Eastern Holds by Amethyst Dwarves. Oh, no. Don't go back. No. You have to be the last bastion of Goblin Kind. Like... Dak. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Father Loris is begging, begging for a goblin yeah, to I stay need, alive. I need he goblin wants goblin supremacy. I love, I love my goblins. I need goblin content here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Real Skulker is in a is in a position, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's got four troops. He yeah, they're yeah. a subject of a dwarf, and they're somehow still loyal. It's amazing. <laughs> I do like I mean, that there is some <laughs> ruby hold troops just here, like just to keep an eye on them. You know, True yeah. Dagger, I think, may yeah. be able to make some sort of fight of it. Um, yeah. Where is True Dagger at? <laughs> I mean, with how many with how many players there are in Harles, I could as well play as Jade March. Yeah, you could. Because be Jade uh, Command is so fucking dead that Command is so fucking dead by, uh, that Jade Mines uh, could easily just go free. Yeah, no, absolutely. Jade March as well would be fabulous and you could also switch to the command religion or maybe not you could stay as a goblin shamanist we're not gonna push for it i mean jade, jade march yes we just do uh god loss i mean the chat the thing would is, be I, re I really want to i really want to continue my uh, banking uh, experience as uh, the free city, uh, city of bayvek and then yeah. move my uh, operative uh, accounts to uh, Haraf and Mesticardu, because Haraf and Mesticardu are kind of rich, oh, and I could also know. just. Uh, I endorse that. I could maybe. also just absolutely decimate the natives and steal all their money, like uh, every single colonizer does. We might have some. <laughs> and also, Amadia is just the next door. Front is yeah. that it's surrounded by Adshaw, so yeah. you might not have a great time. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know, but uh, the thing with uh, Canorian play is that in Canor there's much more Chronicler players. Yeah, no, yeah that's mm. true. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, yeah, also someone said in chat that Dak would be pretty cool, like if you wanted to play as Dak as well, just be the undead scourge of the underworld. Ooh, I think, uh, I think Undead Army is uh, actually prohibited from this uh, death class. Oh, oh really? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Sadness right there. Yeah, the, oh, well. uh, we don't like undead armies in death classes and I'll, in uh, any multiplayer. I'll just uh, I'll, I'll put out True Dagger again. True Dagger. Let's, uh, I think True Dagger is going to make a game of it. We're pretty close <laughs> to, to Amaltier. I just want to see the old clan content on stream. No, I'm no, no. Sure the right, the real player and my actual... my. As a developer of Anbenar, I must say my actual favorite uh, goblin yeah. is not Finger. It's not Finger. Oh, oh my god. They are literally yeah, yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm so looking forward to the localization being fixed on Salt Finger because it looks really good. Recently, I have seen a player fucking decolonizing all of Gerudia because it was held by Grombar and they just occupied all provinces of Grombar as uh, Snot Finger before they completed the mission. <laughs> so they decolonized all of Gerudia and allied and guaranteed Bayvek, which was full of city goblins. And Amazing. city goblins uh, colonized uh, Vroren March Amazing. and all the provinces in Vroren March. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I know that is yeah. absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Is there anything you would like to say to the chat in the stream right now? Um, is there anything you want to say? Any last words or anything <laughs> in Goblin or wherever? Niż najkorwesto najlepsze jest. That was fully Goblin. That wasn't uh, that wasn't any other language. That was Goblin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> Everyone knows Goblin language is just English, but yeah, it's, it's just bad it's English. Just, it's it's Burma. Yeah, it's bad English. No, actually, actually, gob Goblin language is uh, just broken Polish. <laughs> if you it's look through bad our Polish. dictionary. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's very <laughs> broken Polish because you've got things like. Uh, the Green Clan, which is uh, Zealous Clan. You've got uh, Under Kingdom, which is Nizne Kurvesto. So it is just uh, that goblins are Polish. I, you know, I can take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of you have they are the Eastern Polish people. Uh -huh. While Western Polish people are in, Sar uh, are in Sardine and uh, Rezenta, because those regions are full of fanboys. Fair enough. <laughs> So what is it that I you mean, have been it, working on in Anbanar as well? Like uh, a list of the... Uh, I, am I am currently working on the mission tree of uh, Mogvare. Mogvare is a country in, uh, in River Valley. And I recommend you playing in, in River Valley because it's amazing. Where is River Valley? In the Bitbucket version of the mod and in, and in November uh, release, there, will be, uh, there is a mission tree for the country of Brelar. Brellar is made by my dear friend Sasrus, who is also the lead, uh -huh. uh, the lead of in uh, region, and <clears throat> and it's a uh, two thousand uh, like not two thousand but one thousand four hundred years old uh, republic that is still keeping on even though they are surrounded by monarchists and uh, uh, very traditional inix. Uh -huh. <clears throat> they are keeping their tradition of ironworks and uh, uh, mountain uh, homes and republicanism. Very cool. Their goal is to create the glorious republic of uh, Veliki Breluslad. <laughs> and uh, they might be the hardest country to play in the inn currently. Wait, more than Avarin? Yes. Oh. God, what is it? Much more what is Arverin. it about people who Arver make Arverin content for the Yin easy, actually. who are like complete masochists? What? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Amanda, Amanda Avarin might be say, this easy to I, people I who play there. Uh, it's just a, it's an amazing mission tree. You just need to not get a skill issue moment. Fair yeah. enough. I guess. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Like, it's it's <laughs> yeah. a very it's actually a very good mission tree. It's just incredibly hard. Lucky, and lucky. the thing, why is it that hard? Is that you must play around the mechanics of in, because every single person in the in except Bosan Kovac, once you uh, make them a, rep a republic, hate you because you are a republic. Right. And as as long as you are a republic and you don't switch to a special monarchy type, uh, I mean a special republican monarchy uh, that is just a dynastic republic, and uh, you proclaim that you want to form an Inic Empire, everyone will hate you. They will absolutely despise you. And to fix that, you need to play around the mechanics of uh, Yosar and just simply take land. Very cool. All hey, right. Remember the Yosahar uh, mechanic? Don't use it. <laughs> I mean, use it, but uh, remember, remember what uh, uh, liberty desire they will have. I said liberty desire. They're going to be plus a hundred, won't they? Yeah. There's a but lot of, talking lot about of my country, here. Mogvare. Oh. Mogvare is a country that. Uh, recently lost war to the battle kingdom of malaknar and they are locked yeah. in, uh, they are currently locked in their swamp next to two big enemies which are the mm. dragon worshipping resentur and the battle kingdom of malaknar 
Yeah. They lost their capital, which was Amachepet, and thus uh, lost the right to call themselves uh, the Eastern Castle, as Amachepet means Eastern Castle. Uh, sorry, Western mm -hmm. Castle. Eastern Castle is Amachimst. And also, they are currently experiencing a very weird cult that is happening in the swamp that is worshipping a giant alligator which where, seems where? to have a sword stuck in its head. Where is this on the map so we can have a gander? It's right here. This is the alligator. This what? This is the specific alligator that is being talked about yeah. right now. Clearly. Yes, it's in a, <laughs> It's on the map. Perfect. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. The, is this the alligator one. is named Malenvier, and the cult and the cult that is worshiping him is the cult of Malenvier, which is actually a very old cult, and uh, we. We know that they did a lot of uh, shady stuff in the inn. Like, they are the guys who are responsible for freeing Drozmagog from the cages of uh, Arverin, which caused the Great Fire of Arverin and the uh, uh, creation of Drozma Turfeith in uh, Rizenta. Very cool. Well, I hope wish you the best of luck with uh, your misery. But we've got to say, the, uh, the session is over for this week. Yeah. So, um, I guess, who would you say is the big winners and, and losers of this session? Has, oh, the big um, losers are me I mean, and... Well, yeah. The big losers are me and Beppa. <laughs> okay. Other than the ones that died. Uh, um, yeah, uh, Yin, but... Yin, I would say, would be mm, the number one winner. I'm really impressed by Amanda. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Really impressed. Yeah, I am I'm also sure really that. impressed by Amanda. I'd say the big, lo the biggest losers of all. She did a great has job. All been the, every single goblin tag so far. <laughs> the biggest die. loser is goblins. Just, yeah. just goblins. And was, it just goblins. breaks breaks my fucking yeah. heart. That's what it does. Yeah. <laughs> it really yeah. breaks. The big my winners heart. are so the big winners are cent certainly the Inic players because yeah. Amanda yeah. was playing her own tag. She yeah. made the mission yeah. tree. She made the region as well as Sassarus. Sassarus was yeah. also playing his own tag, Brelar. And he's also sub and... subjugated to Amanda. Yes. Yeah. Um, so my... Other big winners actually might be uh, North Wiswall, uh, Wiswall. Becoming independent for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, no, it's right. is, is it's a very it's small impressive. winner, but it, it's a very small big winner. It's an because important win. They got freedom from Gawed. They got. Uh, they were. Uh, they joined the uh, Empire. Yeah. And they are also on their way to form Visual. Yeah. Yeah. They'll do well. I would also say that a good winner is Bian Fang. He's kind of expanded a lot. Yeah. Um, Wag, he is expanding hard and he's made. He's made, put people into a position where they have to, you know join up, subjugate themselves to other people to fight Biang Fang. Yeah. So, yeah. And he's done it without allies as well. He's completely I... alone. And he's doing oh, really well. Oh, yeah. I have other big winners in my mind. All the right, players so... of Aska Evran and uh, uh, and Biri Sartanfes. They did amazing right. job role-playing yeah. uh, uh, role playing their, uh, their uh, uh, conversations between uh, Kaledora and the Garion. Saladora. So I, we, yeah. we, we don't I we don't recognize the K. We don't recognize it. I can see yeah. them as getting uh, some rewards for role playing that oh, match, I'd but like I, al that. I also want to see them struggling through uh, Samartal when there is just gonna <laughs> be a very bru a very much just they a bit bloodier themselves. game of Among Us in the in Bulwar. For sure. <laughs> anyway, thank you very oh, much, Callis. Appreciate uh, you coming to chat with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, thank uh, you for your insight. And uh, we'll see. We'll and see you another time. Yep. See ya. Yep. All right. So, All right. yeah, I guess just to close out, I would say I really enjoyed uh, casting for the for the Anbana developers, and yeah. uh, to remind people that. This will be happening every um, every week, every Saturday at the same time yeah. uh, throughout the month of Saturday. September. So uh, follow, uh, and so you don't miss it. 
and uh, we can we can uh, do this again. Yeah, um, next week I should get my desktop back, so I'll be putting up my streaming perspective as well for perfect. this as well. So well, we, yep, and I won't. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> but yes, bye bye. Join next week too. But I have been joined <laughs> by Father Loris and Finn Death. Thank you very much for casting with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure yeah. casting with you. Yeah, it's really just... chill. It has yep. been. Well, not not for the goblins. Um, no, no, no. Oh, my heart is in <laughs> twain. My poor little green boys. It is. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna end my stream now. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, we'll be doing this every week, so hope you will uh, stick around and we'll have more, um, more Anbanar Dev Clash fun. Uh, but until then, uh, I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>